Hello there, everybody. This is your oh. free 10 minute please check in warning. We just like to yep, do this as have... a ceremonial thing because we've got a decent amount of teams, don't we? Yes, we have 30, uh, 11 teams that are currently checked in. There's, I think there's one team, or a couple of teams that don't have enough people. Which, uh, but all the teams that have the, the are, all complete teams are checked in, actually, so that's quite nice. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much. Clap, clap, clap. Um, yeah, welcome to the the tournament. We'll we'll do a bit proper intro in a moment hmm. instead of like when the when the I guess in six minutes and twenty seven seconds when the when the stream starts. Yeah. Yes. So brackets are not seeded just yet, but that's because we still got check ins to do. Uh, let me actually pull up the uh, brackets on stream, which is the thing I can do. Let's see what the participants that are in right now. So everyone. All 11 teams are checked in, thankfully. That is good. And we've got two more still pending. That's Shockers and Entropy. Yeah, a couple more of the Nova lads alongside Space Messer. So it should be a okay time all around. We've got five minutes left. Uh, any final announcements or anything, Spaniard, in regards to any last-minute changes with prize pool, rules, anything? Well, unfortunately, we, would. we did have a uh, donor who said he would want to donate an extra prize pool if we had more than eight teams signing up, but since so many of them signed up uh, last minute, unfortunately, we have not been, I have not been able to confirm that with him, so that's a bit of a shame, but maybe he'll show up mid-tournament and, um, and give some more money. Woo! But no, the prize pool is currently $500, which will be split between the top three teams. I've got the seeding is ready to go. It's based on the current points in the Dominion series. So, um, well, you'll see when that, when that goes, goes off. But essentially, many of these teams have had players who participated in the Dominion series, and they will be getting... Um, they'll, be, they'll, they'll be seeded based on 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 that that performance essentially um and yeah that's about it really i'm excited I'm looking forward to it gotta make sure i turn off my oh i've got my game still open <laughs> don't need that um yeah oh yes i should also make sure you what verbal what your you your you play is verbalosity right yes just verbalosity universal branding is a yeah, wonderful so thing so make sure if you are watching and you're got uh, and you're playing Make sure you've got somebody on your team who's got Verbalosity on their friend list so that we can spectate you. We should be good because many of these teams have um, players that we know of. Should be good. But on the off chance we don't, uh, you don't, yeah, add Verbalosity. Felt like his, well, I was, I was yeah, even Twitch, My Twitch name, my Discord name, it's all the same. Even my in-game name. It's all, it's all just the same. But yes. Um, Let's, let's, let's shut the timer. We've got three minutes left, so we're just gonna vibe for a bit. Yep, sounds good to me. Wait for the um, countdown. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to add last minute. Everyone's checked in, so no need to whip the proverbial mule on that one. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're um, Daijobu. Lovely. All right. We'll see you folks in a few minutes when timer is up and the brackets are seated, and we'll tell you what the first matchup of the day will be. Yeah. See you in
All right, we're live now, folks. Just wanted Hello. to let you know the timer is now at zero, and yep. registration has, is over. I'm going to see the brackets, and then we will be go. Happy days. So let me flip some various things out accordingly. But timer is gone, Crabrave. <laughs> and where is my obligatory blurb text? One, two. Ah, Daddy Law's raiding and co. Hello there. Nice to see you oh, all. Thank you for the raid. Yes, so the check-ins are now over, Crabrave. We're currently just vibing, waiting for the first teams to be announced. Is essentially the gag right now. If it, people want to see the brackets or people competing today, we'll have a quick look at the participants. We've got Mini Meisters, RMG. Saucy back is like, well, I'm gonna have to. We have to say these names. Nam Gloria, Participation <laughs> Medal, Super Bash Bros, Mistake Correctors, Biocat, CSA, Inconsistus, and Team B. Mm -hmm. All the people up. It's gonna be a decently hearty bracket, and the prize pool I do believe is a 500, is at least 500 dollars right now. So nice. It? So happy, happy days. So, apart from that, yeah, we're just gonna vibe for a little bit. Show oh, some fashion while waiting. Okay, fine. So, bit, yeah, we can do that. I'm getting, having a difficulty with the proceeding thingy. Just being it's all good. It's for honor tradition. The moment the timer hits zero, everything starts to break. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm doing okay. It's just, I always get the, how the seating, seating. Yeah, so here's my gladiator fashion you can look at for a moment while I too also start fixing things because I need to open up Ubisoft Connect without my entire computer breaking. What comps are we going to see in the tourney? Uh, I will tell you in a moment. I need to figure out why Ubisoft Connect is being very mean to me. Ah, here we are. Right. Now it actually wants to open up. Accept, accept, accept. There we are. Four people added to the ever-growing list of... People that is known as my friends list on Ubisoft Connect. Raider four stacks. Yeah, I've got 255 crates because I'm lazy. Is essentially the gist there. We aren't going to see any shinobis? Oh, that's from Tebow himself. Uh, well, maybe you might see some eh. shinobis. Um, yeah, I know Shinobi wasn't exactly blow out of the water insane, but he's decently good now, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean... I just got to see the rest of these manually because then I bother with random things with the last one. All good. Um, Eleven. Generate bracket. Team B. Yes, that is my placeholder text you're seeing. Very profane things. Normally, you're all supposed to see either this or the main screen. Okay. Um, I think that looks good. Let us start the bracket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Bracket is live. Bracket's live. Things should be going. Um, yeah. I guess you can tell me on the... You can pop it on stream and see if we can see that it's refreshed itself appropriately. Uh, sure, yeah. One moment. Let me sort that out. Du -du 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 -du. Right. Okay. Participants. Brackets. Let's refresh. Yes, we have a bracket. Marvelous. Oh yes, that's another thing. So now that we're, we're out of administrative hell from the commentators, he, there's been rumblings <laughs> of Kyoshin from Clutch. Well, do you, good shout. We'll see him today. I think. I mean, they were. He, he's been scrimming with him. I think he. I think it's quite likely we'll see Clutch um, playing Kyoshin. He said he'd be, he says he's been loving playing the character. Um, I think it's also there's also a possibility that Tetsuo will play um, Shinobi because he he's been enjoying that. Well, we will we will see. I mean, it should be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. Um, oh, that's exciting! I have got last minute news that. Oh. Um, I sorry, I'm just gonna. Yeah, with the, the uh, mystery donor, hmm? there may be, um, maybe has just has just messaged me back, so we might actually have a last minute prize pool increase. Oh Woo! shit! Nice. Um, Okay, so we've got a couple matches we could target. We've got three. We've got Sussy Backers versus Super Bash Bros. 
We've got Inconsistence versus Biocapped. And Participation Medal versus Team B. Now, all of um, them are equally... And we also good. have Namgloria versus CSA, which I think... Did I miss be... them? Oh, yeah, they're in the uh, uh, round they're, two. They're yeah. Round two one, because um, they've gone... Oh, yeah, the 11-man bracket kind of makes it a little bit awkward. Yeah, so we have... Um, I think probably one of the most interesting will be Namgloria versus CSA. Hmm. Um, Unless those you've... are the two highest-seeded teams that have... Uh, playing against each other. Yeah, Nam Gloria versus CSA. Who's on their rosters? Do I have anyone to target? Most likely, I've got people to target. I've got a pretty extensive friends list at this point of people in the scene. Let's open up the in-game. Unless chat's got any more different ideas on who to spectate, I'm not necessarily averse to having chat select. Oh, uh, yeah. Herman, I mean, Herman. the Sussy Backers is quite a great name. Um, and we're going to have to say that repeatedly, and chat's going to giggle. Yes, it is, yeah. I do love. Um... Don't say what you were about to say. That was going to go out of context. <laughs> I... Sorry, I'm getting messages from this side. Oh, good. So, you um... sort out of admin. I'll sort out stream stuff. Oh, good. We'll take take a, take a moment of break. So, chat. If unless you've got any preferences for who we should spectate, I'm thinking. Actually, it helps if I put the thing on stream for you. I'm thinking something like this. Maybe Sussy Backers versus Super Bash Bros. I believe I've got people to target on both teams. Yeah, Shugoki, Fern. I think I've got Fern. Although I'm not seeing too many eyes. I mean, Antonio has an eye, but I don't think he's actually playing. No, they're not playing yet. Yeah. Um... So yeah, I think teams right now are currently assembling. So yeah, you know what? Basically, Don't. in case they haven't been aware, I'm going to pop a little ping in the tape to the thing. Um, so they all know. Oops. Are all the teams playing at the same time? All the teams play at the same time. We just spectate what we can spectate. Sussy backers have a dude on the shitter. Give us a second. I can appreciate that. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Thank you for your honesty, Curvaceous Triangle. Extremely sus. I'm not sure I believe that. We need an invite from Inconsistence. Yeah, any, uh, like, organizational stuff, please uh, keep it to the Discord if yeah, possible. we have a channel in the Discord, so that's the best place to ask about these things. Hmm. I have added... Oh, why is that good? Oh, yeah, I wondered why that wasn't. Chat a different window, so I can see. So, so I can see that chat, and I can see your screen. Let's see, it's mint the actual doge. Okay, using the line. Life. There we are. Waiting for the eye. The classic store for time thing on these. Waiting for the eye. There we are. Wow, well, we have our mystery donor, who is, like, now reveal is, um... Actually, I'll just check who's okay with <laughs> Before I can reveal yet. He's no docs. <laughs> Gotta get that sort out. Don't worry, folks, this is just the Ferrana tradition of... The stream just kind of waits for seven years before we get a first match going. We are trying to target an actual game, don't you worry. We have brackets up. We've got a couple options. Team B will go for it. Have fun and win. Yes. <laughs> Was it? What? It, let's see. We've got some Team B guy, fans in the chat. Who's on these teams? So, participation medal is Kanamura, Renown Mommy, Mo, Celtic, and Factor. Team B so that, and, um, is... Cam Kamiyu is Egg. Egg. Um, okay. And then we got Fleabe, Manic, Cecilia, and Thierry Boudet. Boudet? Bo well, I... Uh, yeah, so I don't know who Team B are. I don't know who anybody in Team B yeah, is. I don't I do actually have who... anyone added from there either, so I should probably at least add should... one person. You probably will have Egg. Um, I'm not sure what his Uplay name is now, though. Yeah. He's changed it to Kami... Kami... Kana... Kanamamuna... Celtic... Mo... They have their Uplay names there. 
Yes, I can announce that we now have a prize pool of $750. Oh, nice. The last moment, we've had an extra $250 donation from the wonderful Alec. So, yeah, we are now at $750. So, thank you very much. Like, big, big thanks to our donors who are Egg, Setmix, Grin, Strawberry, and Alec. So, thank you very much to you guys. Can we have a hyper clap in chat for these guys? And they're big donations. Big thanks. Bloody hell, that prize pool's getting spicy. Yeah. Very exciting. GG. Stop. All right, so I'm not seeing a huge collection of eyes yet. Not from the likes of Hiran. I did get a few more people like Shugowoki. That's going to be a fun one Shug to say. Shugowoo. Shugowoo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm doing on purpose, by the way. You know, I hope you know that. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm certainly not. I'm just the <laughs> names are my kryptonite. What <laughs> make that? Oh my! I'm gonna resize windows so I can see everything, all the information I need at one time. Oh, good. It's not gonna work. All right. Yeah, you know what? I think we should go into the unless. We can keep blagging for 20... Actually, yeah, we could just vibe on stream here for a bit. People don't seem to mind while we're getting things set up. Yeah, um, any game we are interested in. Um, oh. I mean, they're doing the... they have to do picks and bans on maps as well. So oh, yes. Be a, there's, a, there's always a little bit of a setup time. Um, these are all best of three, so we have two bans and then um, three picks. And we have a slightly reduced map pool this... I'm a bit around because we this is a testing ground Dominion tournament mm -hmm. and in the testing grounds there have been some changes to capture speed and that unfortunately has mean that the <coughs> pardon me that uh, the beachhead is now not really a viable map to be played in competitive because the attacker side home point C can be contested by a fast character or Shigoki, I guess it's a fast character as well now, um, from the defender's side before they can get a cap. Mm. And that means that the it's very much defender side side favoured. So because they won't have a one hour place to go and heal from the mid mid fight. Actually, Freeze did a little bit of testing and it is possible to contest A point as well as a if you're an attacker before it's capped, but the window to do that is incredibly tight. And you need to have like a perfect spawn, you need to have perfect characters, uh, fast character in that spawn location, and you need, to, you need to have minions not get in the way. So it's still a very unbalanced map, even though technically the attackers could do the same. The same. It's just way hard for them to do it. So Beachhead is out of the map road, map pool, unfortunately, for now. All right. So that's it. So a little bit of a... Oh, everyone's piling in. I'm seeing all sorts of people. Hello, Govs. Nice to see you all. For those of you just joining. Oh, oh. I'm the, in chat. Yeah, Tetsuo, Kintama, everyone's bloody here. For those of you just joining, I'm Verbalocity, one of the community producers and commentators for this game. And alongside me is Spaniel, uh, a resident, well, number head, I think is the appropriate statement right now in terms of everything yeah, you've got under your control. The right, the right word. He's going to be on the ones and twos with me. We're currently just waiting on the first map to be, or the first game to be decided we're still figuring out what game we're going to watch first. I've put in as a tentative uh, shout Participation Medal versus Team B because they have the most stands in chat right now. That is my <laughs> professional deciding method for what goes on stream. So, um, CS, I think quite a good match will be Nam Gloria versus CSA. But, I mean, I always like seeing the new... We can always spectate some of the newer teams. Um because they are more likely to be knocked out. Yeah. Um, Yours is the so... much more logical and reasonable thing to do. I'm just doing it because they there's some ye la yelling stands in chat, and it's like, why not? Yeah. That's fair enough. Um, and we have we should have somebody. If you have, you haven't. Do you know who got an eye? Oh, I've got Flea B. Yeah, I've got him as a friend. We got oh, an eye. We're in boys. Got an eye. Woo! Let's do. It. Let's go. Okay. Do you Let's have go. clean feed Spaniard on our end on Discord? I do. I can see see it very nicely. Thank you very much. All lovely, I jubbly. Can tell you the map order. So the bands have been. There's a lot of memes in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> Me 
memes. Okay, so the maps that have been banned are Sanctuary, which is banned, and then Overwatch has been banned, and the, the maps will be Temple, and then... Um, oh my goodness. High Fort, hmm? and then... <laughs> And then harbour. Okay. If we, if, so, so the maps will be, yes, Temple Garden, High Fort, and Harbour. There was many. The, the match chat has a lot of memes in it, which is mm. definitely, definitely helping. But you know, it's entirely expected within the Fortnite community. Yes. There, so there are traditions of the Fortnite community. The, the beginning of the tournament is always delayed, and it's always horrible to happen. But we're here now. We have Shinobis in chat. So uh, someone wakes simply Timo from his slumber. We have a Shinobi on screen. Uh yeah, is playing Shinobi. So. The competitions we have Mo on JJ, so Mo, JJ Kelter, um, Celtic playing Raider, Goki and Orochi. That's probably probably considered the optimal competition at the moment mm. because uh, with the, the recent reworks from Raider and Orochi, they are both very powerful characters for very different reasons, which we will see. And in Team B is running JJ Raider again, better characters. Centurion, who's a very strong ganker but is quite lacking in the team fight department and the testing Garen Shinobi who we don't really know how testing Garen Shinobi will play out because yeah there's ideas now. going around um, everyone's got a, a, there's a, there's various opinions and analysis however this is the first tournament in TG with money and that changes things that dynamic that massively changes so I think we've all been saying that they think he's not a top tier character but he certainly could do some. He certainly can make plays and has some good aspects. So. There's been some sus clips that have been shown of certain ganks that could be done with him and other characters recently, right? Yeah, yeah. He's. I mean, his. Uh, in particular, he has good gank with Orochi, um, because you can pin off Storm Rush. All right. So rotations. Are we going? We're having a three to C from participation award and two to split from Team B. All right, as we get into the fight, folks, by the way, I'm Verbal, and I'm actually also doing the production for the stream, so if anything goes funny on stream, just at me in the chat and yell at me. I'll fix it as quick as I can. But into the fight itself, we're going to be starting off with a 2v2 on C-point. Fleabee and Thierry Henry versus Mo and Celtic. Celtic getting stuffed already hard. That doesn't ledge um, um, anymore, by the way. Not... Oh, and he just... No! The... This is bad. Oh, that was... So we saw he didn't get ledge because Testing Ground Shinobi has a bug where he doesn't, his kits won't ledge. Hello? Um, ledge right there, Celtic! Okay, there we go. New heavy. There we go. New Raider gets a, gar gets a heavy off a guard break, and that is a. These two 1v1s have turned out into two uh, in favour of participation, but it look, yeah. they were actually both really quite close. And um, we have a t an early team wipe for. For Team B, which is not a good start, but with the changes to Renown, um, they won't be getting the ace bonus, which you used to get an ace bonus if you got all four opponents dead at once. So even though they are, you know, have a nice big score advantage, mm -hmm. currently sitting at 300 to zero points, um, they won't. If we look at the Renown, the Renown differences probably won't be as dramatic as you would expect, given yeah. that. That, but beforehand, we'd probably expect that everybody on um, defenders would have had maybe like 100 renown, mm. and they're a bit below that now. And there's a big difference in terms of contesting renown, so the uh, team B is still in the fight essentially. Yeah, so, Flea B, gonna be mixed up. Gotta be a little bit careful here for Flea. He has been very heavy on the button pressing. Mo could take advantage if he gets one correct mix up. Gets Flea to blink, which he does. Top heavy. Guarantees the kill. But now we can assist up Celtic, who's trying to deal with his opposing number. Almost got it. There we are. Nice and dicey. We're spending a lot of time over on C. Let's flip on over to A point here, because there is still some stuff going on here. There's the 1-0. Uh, to zero. He's a well-executed Goki gank there. Um, Orochi can confirm a second hug with his finisher heavy. Um, and for an infinite looping gank, so very well executed by Egg, and who's playing there? The Orochi on their team. The Orochi on their team, that is... Da -da 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 Factor. Factor. Right. don't know who they are, so... Mm. Oh, yes, is that XC not enough? from Egg there. Oh, on yes. That Shinobi mix-up after the kick is completely unreactable. Mm. Nobody's reacting to that forward roll kick. It is 400 MS, and 
definitely a reactable, but so it didn't read an egg to get a garbage there. Hmm. Got to be a little bit wary. The Centurion could put the Shigoki right on his backside, which he does. Unfortunately, does get the revenge pop after him, so Manic does have to watch that he doesn't get dropped on the floor. Kanamura doesn't opt to go for a throw for a guaranteed kill. Perhaps Paranoid gets interrupted by the majority of, of Team B, which he will end up getting interrupted to a final end. And just to answer... So uh, one sec, Spaniard. Oh. Just to answer something in chat real quick. Uh, that execution is allowed. It's only event executions that you can't get anymore physically that are not allowed. Yes, the the lantern one, anyone can purchase. So it is legal. It's just really long. Which is why it's used. Yeah. I'm missing. Oh no, he got his guard break punish incorrect. That would have... That is a... You don't want to have a radar with revenge. Oh dear. And Manic goes down. Here he takes a z zone into zone. He's gonna. Get oh, doesn't get the the yeah, summoner punish. Interesting. I guess he opted to not throw, mm. um, not risk taking damage doing it. But nice confirm there from Egg. That is again another another team wipe. So we should probably go back to your point, Spaniard, about the TG changes because that's the point of this tournament is to see yeah. how competitive Dominion plays with these new changes. So what is the TLDR of the changes to expect to see today? So we will expect to see significantly less snowballing of Renown because um, the change... So the Renown gain has been standardized across all classes and lots of the quite opaque bonuses have been removed. So we've had a lot of fights on points now where the uh, attacker team died and this would in the past have given def big Defender Renown bonuses to their opponents. But as we can see, those have been removed. So. Yeah. Everybody on Egg's team, the, the blue team, they they haven't got their tier fours. I think they got their tier tier threes and tier twos, which would not have been the case pre-testing grounds. Pre-testing grounds, this level of a stomp would have given them all their tier fours, um, probably halfway through. So that's what we can expect to see is slightly less. Is more this more. an infinite? I'm seeing an awful lot of confirmed hugs. Oh yeah, that is that is the the Goki JJ gank. A very very strong gank together. You get you land your unblockable heavy off the as the Goki hits them, drops on the floor, and then they all get you can come another hug with it there. Thanks. And that is a true infinite. I just want to get that confirmed for the stream because oh yeah yeah. For those of you just coming in after perhaps not watching for a little bit, uh, Shugoki's gone through a mild power spike as of his rework, and because of that. Well, mild is me being absolutely sarcastic. It was huge. You've seen him pretty much in every composition since the beginning of last season. And because of it, you can see a lot of hugging. Yeah, he's uh, got a very, very strong gank now. Um, I mean, a strong everything, really. Strong team fights, with rotations, incredibly powerful feats. But as you can see, if we look at the... the only one tier 4 came out from um, Mo's team. Hmm. I don't know if you, we'll, see the, we'll see the leaderboard coming up, which is not what you'd expect pre-testing grounds. I mean, this was a very much a stonk match. They didn't break 100 points. But if you look at the renown differences, this is what you'll see the biggest change. Only Mo got his tier 4. Celtic um, didn't get a tier 4. They were on tier tier 3s. So that's a big change. Um, and I think it makes the game... I mean, unfortunately, they were very clearly outmatched here, so they were, weren't going to be coming back from that. But they weren't at a gigantic... Renowned disadvantage the same way you might have expected um, with a live game. At least. Hmm. All right, let's see which other maps we have. We can either stick with these guys or. or let's keep running. This is best be of three four. after all. Is it, it is best of three in round one, right? It is best of three. So we're best of three until the um, winner's top level. Um, let's check, actually, that is the. Oh yeah, uh, for those of you asking what's the name what? of the winning team, that was Participation Medal that won that map. Uh, the names are at the top of the screen. I will do my best to make sure they are correctly updated live, but results may vary. Ooh, we got a comp swap. Is that a Kyoshin and a Berserker? Kyoshin, Berserker, they just- And a Chendi! I didn't characters. notice the Chendi too! What? Yeah, yeah they, they're literally not- they're, they're trying out a different comp. I mean, power to them. This is not, I would say, rate it as a worse comp than before, to be honest. But let's let's see what they can do. I did um, not got... actually notice that, Chidi. I thought that was actually like someone else because of the helmet. <laughs> okay. I like it. I enjoy this. I'm enjoying the variety. This is a lot. This is lifting my spirit from the days of 
Warlord Black Prior Shaman Flex. Or like uh, yeah, Gladiator or Scent Flex. As we go through the rest of the tournament, I'm sure we will see similar the the, um, the picks going down in terms of um, variability because you end up with the, the better teams who tend to pick more closely with the meta, which I mean, Barak made put out a new tier list just yesterday, and he would rate the top five characters being Shigoki and Raider, who are both kind of mandatory, and then JJ, Orochi, Janhu, and I mean, that, that, those are the other characters that we'll see a lot of. And we have a th three split going to C. Four split! All, okay, all four going to C. Well, this is not your normal... Uh, this is not your normal... Um, Rotation. This is not a normal start. This is the sort of thing... And without Warlord, which is... Uh, you never, We haven't seen... Mm. This is another big change. Um, Warlord has really fallen out of favor very strongly. We get the um, white camp. There we are. So we're not going to see High Fort Warlord C shenanigans, although Raider can do similar stuff with his Stampede Charge. Um, Warlord, as well as having uh, his Crashing Charge very strongly nerfed at the beginning of this season, now it doesn't interrupt Hyper Armor. It does, sorry, it doesn't have uh, Super Armor anymore. And there we go. Another almost team wipe for... Yeah, this is unfortunate for Team B. A couple times now, they've had any sort of full momentum charge completely shot at the knees. Perhaps yeah. it's down to them not having a Shugoki initially. I could see them maybe flipping to a style that relies more on split pushing. Of course, mid lane is worth more to the assassin class now with testing grounds. And they have multiple assassins on their team, so perhaps they could leverage that to try and get better renown game. But of course, I can try and be, you know, as mathematical as I like. If you don't win your ones and twos, that happens to you, and there's not much to yeah. be done. The, at the end of the day, uh, in Frona, like you, you still have to win fights. Yeah. Um, we had there. That was uh, was that an attempted zone option. Very nice parry there from Celtic. Probably a nice, good prediction about option um, select, Chief. Hmm. Yes. So I think he tried to option select. Um, which may be why he ate the heavy beforehand, because you can no longer option select, and that's partly another reason why Warlord has fallen out of the meta so hard. His defense previously very strongly relied on option selects, um, either bash selects, GB select, and, and of course the classic zone. But with that being out of the way, he doesn't have a dodge attack. Oh no! Is, very hard. Does Shigoki have no, an infinite no. with everybody, Spaniard? Yeah, Shigoki has an infinite with pretty much every character. Um, Nice light parry from that, so you, you got to... to uh, and it's executable to... too? Oh, uh, well, I mean, yeah. That's <laughs> if you it. Hit them, okay, who's if you hit it spawn? the right time after... If you perfectly time your... Any attack. Oh, they're fighting in Mo. spawn. Oh, Stop. no. <laughs> That's just a bit mean, really, isn't it? Um, <laughs> nice. So you saw that the zone getting superior block allowed... Um, JJ to dodge out of it. I mean, I think he also delayed it into a lot. Um, I, Mo, Mo's just flexing now, I think. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Revenge pop, and we get a heavy into the light. Oh, we didn't get the light. Didn't kill him. Nice superior bot from the Kyoshin there. This is Will not Mo normal, Mo by the down. way. Having this happen in your spawn is not standard procedure. No, this is. Uh, they are memeing a little bit at this point. Um, clearly, I mean, this happens in, in every tournament in the first few rounds. You're going to get matches where there's a new team going against an experienced team. And I don't know I don't know who um, Factor is, but I know that the other three players are very experienced. Comp players Mo and Egg have been in the finals and the Dominion Series, in the Dominion Series Majors. Um, Celtic plays with them a lot as well. I don't know who Factor is, but he's been doing good Shigoki, good mm. Shigoki Orochi ganks. And I'm going to go and close my window because there's a okay. child outside just screaming. It's okay. Hey, again. it's a surprise for the man on the commentary desk, a three-year-old. We were actually <laughs> yeah, hearing that the whole time. Did you hear, did you hear that the whole time? No, oh, we didn't actually hear anything. It's fine. I'm, I'm pulling your leg. <laughs> but what we are hearing is some absolute disrespect right now from Participation Medal. The score is 978, all points included, to 121. And Team B can't even get out of their base. In the words of a certain Toby one, this is soul-breaking. 
What? At least there's a double elimination bracket format here. So, I mean, at least you've got loser's bracket to come through, I guess, P Team B. I appreciate the gusto. I mean, yes, what can I say here? Can what can we say? <laughs> <laughs> Manic going for that clutch revive. Will that let them? No, it won't. No. <laughs> the moment you try to <laughs> get any legit play-by-play, -play, it just go completely to shit. <laughs> I mean, good, good luck for these guys in the lower bracket. Um, I mean, this is this is the kind of thing that happens quite a lot in uh, early on in team fights, well, early on tournaments, as, you, as I said, when you have. Uh, experienced players going up against very new teams. Um, sorry, I've just got a few disputes. Bashboro are not responding. It happens. Hey, there are enough stands in chat to influence my decision to pick that series. Well, thank you very much, Team B. Thank you very much for coming along and like it, and trying and doing your best. Like, it's. It, Fortnite is a very difficult game, and it takes a lot to reach the level of competitive players. So, I'm. I hope you had fun, and it's, your tournament is not over because there's still a lower bracket, and yes. I hope to we'll hope to see you coming through it. So, I'm just going to go and deal with some. Okay. You need to go do admin stuff. I can carry the yeah. thing for a bit if need be. Cool. So it. Let's have a gander on stream, shall we? Let's see what the brackets are looking like so far. Now that we've seen the first. Right. Yes, we appreciate all people who play, Ooh, by yeah. the way. Yes, we jested on stream about this, but we like to have a good bit of fun here where we can before we enter the more serious stuff towards the end, you know, where the big money starts to be. So. Hey, so Super Bash Bros are not responding. How long has it been? Um... Ah, one team is not responding. That is not good. Yeah, so that's a 2-0. Team B goes down. So it's Mistake Correctors versus Participation Medal. I'm not seeing updates to anything else on the brackets right now. Yeah, the, we we still like all the people in the game. Don't worry. If anyone in chat assumes we were dunking on them to be mean, no, we are not. No. We love all the teams so, equally. I, mean, I very much appreciate everybody who participates in and joining in the tournament. And if it's your first tournament, which it often is for some people, like, big props to you to joining in and playing. And, yeah, thanks. For, I mean, hopefully you will take this as motivation to improve and see how, how far you have left to how far you can improve. There's lots lot of space. A lot of players think they're really good, um, but they haven't had a chance to prove it, and now I guess you've had a chance to find out how you weigh up against a competitive team and work work on improving yourself. Right. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with this. All right. Go do admin stuff. I'll sort things out on Street Spaniel. Don't worry. Um, is there anybody in chat from Super ba Super Bash Bros? Um, ah, yeah, because you mentioned something about Bash not Bros is up. not alive. Hopefully there's no DQ issue, but of course for those of you, like, if you if there is no one responding for a while, yeah, we do have a tournament to run here. Yeah. Ah, okay, so participation medal is going up against mistake correctors, and that's Legion, Toet Mind, Franz, and Set Mix. Yeah, that should be a really good match to watch, so I hope you can watch that one next. Yeah, and um... that we get a guarantee of all of the matches on the stream, so that's what we will do. Mistake collectors. Okay, so nobody from Super Bash Bros has shown up in... Let me just check the... Um, if I have any of them who I can ping in... I don't know any of these players, so... And they're not showing up. I'm just going to have to give them the... Give them the okay. All right. It's been 25 minutes now, so I'm going to give them... Yeah, like, we will try... And be generous, but if you do not respond in the bracket for like 25 minutes, come on, chaps. Yes, next next game on stream will be Mistake Collectors versus Participation Medal. And we will be able to observe that as soon as an eye appears. Oh, 
Oh, I see people in chat talking about not knowing the meta and needing to know, like... This, this tournament does have a decent bit of money on the line. The point of that primarily, though, was to make... A to get a little bit more of a sweaty style of gameplay out because that allows us to see what this new testing ground is like in a competitive format. That was one of the primary ideas for this tournament because of how substantial the changes are to renown gain in and also the renown thresholds for gaining the different feats. That could potentially shift the pacing of tournaments, like how long or how short they are, this, that, and the other. So having the extra money on the line Having the pot grow to as large as it is, it is. I really am looking forward to see if the and if the new testing grounds opens up different ideas for teams to implement when there's actual legit pressure. Is Kyoshin actually a competitive pick or is it being played for fun? Uh, it's fun to be playing Kyoshin. We will see if he plays Kyoshin in the in in these matches. I mean, he's been really enjoying it apparently. So, um, yeah. Kyoshin underrated, potentially. Yeah. There are people coming at it from both ends, because on the one hand, Ultra Lars in chat just mentioned he's playing Kyo they're playing Kyoshin for fun. However, we got Clutch Weister, who is legitimately giving Kyoshin a run. So, the answer I can give you, Spartan, is to be decided. Both? Yeah, it's... Neither? I mean, I think, I think the character does have potential in... He has those full block punches are very very strong. Oh, well done, well played. Uh, oh, your Thierry Bidet. So. Ah, thank you, Ultra Lars. I yes, appreciate so, the GGs. I hope, I hope you had fun, and you will still have another match to play yes. in the lower bracket versus um, whoever loses match C nine, which will be the it's Mini Mices versus Sussy Battles. You see the the one who POV because I fucking can. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we appreciate right. you, Team B. You're in our hearts. So Nam Gloria beat CSA 2-0. Uh, ah, okay, well, we're getting played. updates on the bracket. Let me actually pull it up so everyone can see real quick. That is... I'm looking at the scores here. Oh, do they have a disconnect? Unfortunately, they might have had a DC, but they didn't flag it at all. Might have been. And I have your DC voice I want to cast. I, I, I need my voice to do things, Sweaty Kintama. I've already had three other people say they they want to try and seize it by force. Looking at you, Danko. Yes. Rip. When is loser's bracket? Uh, whenever another team gets knocked down to your bracket and it'll start, Fleeby. So right now you're in L8. So whoever loses in C9, which is Mini Meister, Sussy Backers, whoever loses there will come down to face you. And then you play in that way. That is, that is the loser's bracket. So, I'm assuming Picks and Bands is going on right now for the match we want to spectate, which is Mistake Collector's Participation Medal. Yes, I will get that up, and then I'll hopefully be able to see who it, which teams, which, sorry, which maps they're picking. Hmm. Oh yes, Jasta. Uh, this is a Ferrata tournament. The names are always ridiculous and silly because then the commentators <laughs> have to say them. I... So we are, oh. have. <coughs> pardon me. Um, High Fort is banned. Sanctuary Bridge is banned. Temple Garden will be the first map. Overwatch will be the second, and the tiebreaker, if it happens, will be Citadel Gate. Ah, lovely. So what was the thing I was going to next? Lots I, I, I dread not issues. to bring up the days of Mistress Mayhems and other various 2v2s where players were, teams were literally naming themselves the two names of their opposing, you know, counterparts on the yeah. other team. Moo and Excelion, yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. there was literally a tournament where there was a team called Clutchmeister and Setmix, who players were Pete Moo and Excelion, and then there was a team called Pete Moo Excelion, who was, like, Clutchmeister and Setmix. That was a legitimate 2v2 that went all the way through a bracket reset that I had to commentate at one point, which was fun. Yeah, FH Arenas as well. There was all, like, that name gimmicks have been a thing for a while. Also, hey, bot is cleaning up people. Allowed. There we are. Should have named one of the team's heavy ball sacks. I, I mean, please no. 
I'm not sure if there- I'm, I'm sure there are rules for, like, complete nonsense in the names, but... Please don't. That's just- that's all I have to say. So, I mean, there being- unfortunately being connection issues with... Um, connection issues. Bio Couch versus Inconsistus. So we'll see. They've- they've had a bunch of... They've got- they're bringing their sub, which apparently not working, but... Ah. They will try to peer to peer. And unfortunately, if that doesn't go to plan, I will have to give them... Uh, yeah. Give one or two. W, which is always a shame to do. I don't like to do it, but we should probably. Ex done, uh, done. I should probably say real quick for those on stream. Uh, peer to peer, specifically, you, uh, teams can elect to do it if they're having connection issues. It'll make the the issues go away. However, it means we can't spectate them, so it's yeah. a little bit of a, a trade off for what one has to do. And we're not getting mistake correctors versus participation medals. I to appear just yet. Oh wait, I say that it just appeared. I am... Hey, I just have to curse go. it. There we go. <laughs> I mean, that's the strategy, isn't it? You say what you don't... You say what you don't want to happen. And it happens. And then it will immediately happen. It's the opposite of what we predict. Okay, so composition-wise, I think we're looking at a mirror composition. Yeah. I love Raider. the fashion all around. Raider, yeah, I love the yellow... yellow lots of yellow yes. going on. Um... Aside from that, oh, Battle Cry being run by Set Mix. It's been a little bit since I've seen that feat. Yeah, so that's an interesting, interesting debate, to, and it's being run by Celtic as well, actually. Oh, um, have I missed something in the community debate recently? Well, I mean, there's, I think that. So I remember. Uh, oh, I just sorry, just one to oh, give good. this. Um, okay, yeah. We're doing our best, folks, but. We, li we are pulling double duty here on the desk. One of us is doing production and commentary. The other one is doing the admin for the tournament and commentary. <laughs> um, just... Okay. So the split's going to be a 1-3 by Participation Medal, and it's a complete force, uh, a 3 stack onto C by Mistake Collectors to meet them. However, they're going to opt to send their Orochi to mid to clear that off real quick. But we're going to be having the starting Gambit be over here on C. We'll see how this goes for the time being. Everyone from Mistake Collectors has rotated over. Yeah. Meanwhile, I think we're still missing one player. No, we've got a 4v4 here. Hey, 4v4. Now, now, what we'll see here is the biggest, one of the nice big changes from the testing ground is that in the, in the most recent patch, there's been a, there's been a, it's been updated midweek, is that mid now generates an extra extra points, essentially. Hmm. So it's about, it does the same points as a boosted zone. And so we can see that even though the blue team, who I'm, what, what's a... Blue team is participation medal right now. Participation, participation trophy. Even though they got A beforehand, you can see how much, how many more points the um, orange team, uh, mistake yes. correctors, have, have got from having B. But actually, they've managed to get a, a, a whole, the whole team has take, has gone nice. down. Nice. So mistake collectors... We lost that team. A very close team fight, really. Look is at it collectors or correctors? Oh, it's correctors. I put collectors into the overlay. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Oh, it's all right. It's, they are not collecting them. Uh, they are correcting them. Correctors. Um, but if you look at the points total, actually, mistake correctors are Thank overall in, in the lead on this because this because of the, the strategy of leaving mid to to the mistake correct, so they've given them a significantly more points than the holding A did to start off with. Um, probably a bit of mis miscommunication there with that gang. Toti went into a... Oh! oh ledge! Ledge! A ledge! Hey! Let Happy days! And being ganked on C. Again, so this is like... I don't know if this would have been different in... If this had been playing out in pre-testing grounds, but... This... Again, very well executed. Mm. Go to bank there between Mo and Egg. They've, they've practiced that a lot. But if you look at the hard points, L uh, mistake collectors are in the lead by a significant margin, and they're not too far behind them right now. France Bonaparte is, is really getting mm. stopped in the round, but Semi's going to come up here and contest the very low health of Rochi, who is making a good 
play and just getting out of dodge sensible Attackers um, captured zone A. yes we uh to answer the question in chat we may bring some guest commentators in later but right now we're just keeping the production simple while we get the beginning of the tournament going once the tournament gets in swing we may bring some extra people in but thank you for the offer we'll keep that in mind back to the game though just eight more extras thank you daddy he had <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell we don't <laughs> please don't bamboozle me with different names i'm going to fall for one eventually Another very good gank there, mid fight gank between Franz. Franz, Franz is get revenge. Oh, very no, close to revenge. His, his tag ran out, so he didn't get revenge off that garbage range, but I thought he would do. He's not, not careful to go down to a minion. Those um, minions are really helping Franz right now. Nice interrupt. Aww. And then he goes down. Zone didn't come out fast enough. What's going on over here? Oh, this well, violence but... in the bushes. The bushes. And how many of those scoreboards have that? Oh, sure. Scoreboard? One takedown from to Toti's managed to get killed. This has been, like, surprisingly one sided. Toti gets demon ball, do only gets takes one hit from it. Let's go back to the. There we are. And Solot's chasing Egg off the point. We I think Egg is egg's very low now. Solot has got his tier two, so he can take. Well, that's a forward dodge kick mix up in with forward dodge. Or four dodge light, egg goes down. And actually despite the the you know the team's sort of like number of kills and takedowns being massively one sided really. I think we've got two kills now on the side of mistake correctors. The score is really very close and the renown isn't that far off either. Yeah. So in a temple I mean, I don't, in, a, in a temple garden setup, sorry to cut your spanny there for a second, this fight's gonna be end up happening here. We'll talk about that in a moment. Set mix might try and swing for something. He does have the debuff on him. He needs to be careful that he doesn't lose too much HP. So if he wins this fight, he can go and assist, which he can successfully. And now he can help out in a properly productive way. Celtic, 1v3. Not too many revenge tags on him. 1, 2, 3, goodbye. Don't need to go for anything in set. And mistake correct is now in points advantage on the map. And can you see the, if you look at the Renown, Yep. Incredibly close. Even though they fed in on the points that were owned by the defenders, the removal of Defender Renown has been, like, really dramatic. Because they would have been, I would expected from the, those, like, the number of kills that they have tier threes um, on on the defenders team, but they don't yet. Um, and again, this is the change of the testing now. There. Oh, totally went for guard break then. Hugged for it. Oh, revenge, that's Ooh, bad. Dang. Oh, dear. But Very angry Orochi it. here. <laughs> we see Legion pop up on Orochi. Orochiro. Nope. Do oh, he didn't quite get the kill with that Kunai, which would have given him. Oh, look how much health eggs on a one. Mm. One, literally one health. Oh, a roll caught by the. Oh, hello there! Suddenly, <laughs> JJ. <laughs> so, this is a strategy you just would not see. Free testing ground, running into a point where all four of the enemy are on. Um, It would have been insane. Yes. But. but because, I oh know, they don't actually own this point, so even then it wouldn't be Defender Renown, but, like, it is just so much more safe to try and contest. Okay, Spaniard, yeah, you should probably, light. we got caught up in the fight, you should probably explain, pre-testing grounds, why is it insane to run on a defender's point like that? So, yes, if you die on a live game, if you die on a point you, you don't own, you get, the opponent gets a massive Defender Renown bonus of 20 Renown, normally, depends on who gets the kill, on for everybody in the oh I'm sorry, I'm just leaving getting beaten up um, gets e uh, you know twenty renown on everybody who's on the point. So if you if you went an, into an opponent's own point and you died, all four of them were there. You could be feeding eighty renown to the entire team, or even more if it's um, a vanguard who gets a kill and gets twenty five. Mm. So it could, you could be feeding a hundred renown. In total to the enemy team. Semik's getting longbowed in the bum from somewhere. Yeah, um, he got hit in the back. I believe that was by someone who is dead. I, that was probably Setmix, I believe. <laughs> Who's got a longbow here? Uh, let me... Setmix. Yeah, let me. We'll pull him up in a second once he comes back into view. So, Mo might need Toki to. Popping jug, trying to make himself part of the gang. Yeah. Although the choke doesn't care about Juggernaut. Now, it's a very good way to time out um, Juggernaut, actually. Just look at one parry, and it's going to cost him the half of his Juggernaut pop. So, whilst it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, um, you know, it's really good for beating out that kind of stuff. 
Pretty well played from Mo. This is a very close match. Indeed. Even though I would say that... Oh, do you see that? That was mm. spicy. Target swapped the four dodge heavy, dodged away. Target swapped back to land it on him. See, uh, totally thought he was safe. Totally was really good pop of the tier four feet from Mo there. Phalanx comes out and really that's oh mistimed. Safe. Okay, they still got the kill anyway. Well, it's fine. Like it's absolutely fine for them because they managed to France again coming in. We might if he's lucky he'll get the kill on Egg, but should use the the zone parry then that would have. Egg. There's Toe with the flank bow of his own. Hits Celtic in the back. I, I like think it's going to be a. Yeah, uh, they take the point back. Well, they, they didn't lose the point, in fact, so they just kept kept hold of it. Mm. That was a real, a real struggle there. Um, so, something we've seen here, I mean, I've not mentioned it a few times, but the cap. Nice play from Slots there. Dodge cancelling the one into one uh, Storm Match into Pillars, another one. Lamau. Yeah. Pillars. Something we haven't seen much of, although it is <laughs> relevant. <laughs> There's a itself in the background of 1v1. And Legion gets the kill on Baxter. Really well played from Legion there. Pillars um, are fine. 1v1 against the opponent Orochi who had Fear itself on. Celtic goes down, low health, that's not where you want to be in breaking, but they've managed to rally because they catch Defenders mid back. Rallied. So we see we're seeing a lot more really aggressive play from these guys running in on points where they're like have bad you know, really unfavoured fights they're running into, but they're much more it's much less risky given how renown has changed. Um so we'll see if they can if they really need to cap this zone here. All right, let's go to the Toti's white cam here for a moment as the final fight possibly of the match kicks off. Possibly. Kanemura does have tier four ready to go. So if that single heavy hits, we see there. Big damage on the France. Knocks him straight down to the corner. Perfectly timed. That's a three piece. France is almost 100 to zeros by oh, a very angry I Japanese never... man with a stick. And France is still alive somehow, though. Absolutely grotesque. He got three heavies off one knockdown. That is... Another longbow comes out from Egg. Kills, finishes off Solips. There's Fire Flask. Oh no, but only hit to it! Oh no, it's a disaster! I mean, but it's absolutely critical they don't lose this point. Because if they do, then they'll be breaking. Yeah. So, really good, really well timed Semix is so low health. I think the chip damage from that enhanced yeah. dodge light is going to kill him. And. But they have. They've stalled for long enough to get points to not be breaking themselves. Um, but now, now oh, I guess now they are. Wait, back to why was there scenario. a bear trap there? <laughs> oh, this is this is a scary situation for Egg here. Mm. Like, and there we go. Like, fear itself is just such a big damage boost. It's already at half health, and we are now double breaking with one permanently dead. From egg, yeah. Egg's participation team. medal. Look at that poor dodge heavy doing so much damage with the fear itself. It swaps again, running into into fight where he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, another use of that tier four from Mo. So, we, so one of the things that they expected to change was to see only singular uses of tier fours, but we have actually seen a few double tier fours, hmm. and. Celtic goes down as well. C is being capped. No, it's being contested. Mo in the 1v2. He doesn't have any backup because his only other alive teammates currently alone on C. Mo recognizes that and he's trying to retreat, but he's got an Orochi and a Jang Jung in his face. Good luck getting away from that scot free, yeah, and he won't. Cannot run away from Orochi. Orochi and, the, and we see a ledge go down. Well played from Mistake Collectors. Because that correctors, because that was a really bad start mm. for them. They had a terrible start, and to bring that back is not what you'd predict at all. Um, and maybe that's I, I maybe that's a, a factor of the testing grounds because because previously that would have snowballed so hard with the renown advantage dying on points. Yeah, um, would have given um, Mo's team. So, I mean. That was exciting stuff. Indeed. All right, we folks. Go on to map two. We're gonna chill. I'm just gonna quickly check. There's no, um, 
We're gonna BRB for a moment on stream, folks. We just need to quickly sort something out, and we'll be back in. Rest our voices when we get the next game on stream. We are back. Alright folks, match number two coming in, let's get ourselves a little bit of high quality H2O. Compositions have not swapped too dramatically, however, team sides have swapped because this game is wonderful in that regard, so let me swap the UI on the screen accordingly. And we are in, it's going to be the first fight on C point, as is tradition on Overwatch. Yep, and we've seen that Solips went down to catch mid. Again, so hmm. the same thing we saw in the testing ground in the previous match, where they got big points gain from having mid instead of A, we're probably going to see the same thing happen. Um, we'll see if this, how the team fight plays out, but that I think is probably the strap to go with for the testing ground. Mo getting out of dodge. Yeah, he's gone. And yeah, we'll how this team fight is going. I mean, that's smart! Setmix gets a parry on the stunning tap and just leaves. He's done. Yeah. That's actually really smart. I like that. And comes in back with a running attack. <laughs> so really well played there from mistake correctors. This team fight went very strongly in their favor and with mid as well generating a lot of points for them. Um, I think, I mean, a big advantage for them to start off with. Mm. Should we check the Renown quickly? Because I think we we'll see that the Renown isn't a massively in their advantage. So... Yeah, I mean, they've got their tier ones versus not having any tiers, no feats yet. Yeah. So uh, this is nothing to do with testing grounds, but for those of you who are new and just coming in and saw what happened there, once you're parried, that you c you are basically stunned long enough that you can just leave. You Set Mix wasn't given a free out. He got a great parry, and then he was able to leave safely. That is not like a weird gimmick that wasn't the person on the other end just asleep at the wheel. So that is something that players will do sometimes to get themselves out safely, and you saw that expertly done there. Yeah, that was really, really well done, because Raider has a lot of range on his four dodge storming tap, so... Oh! So, yeah, you can't get away from him if you are if you haven't got an opportunity there. Really good read. The peel! Ah! Oh. So close. Toei almost managed to save his teammate, but uh, like, nope, you're not getting anything there. And now he's in a 2v1, unfortunately. Gonna try for the headbutt. No it. dodge by Celtic, and don't even need the Shugo hug. Goodbye. I think he might have body blocked to get the to guarantee that Raider um, Raider chain zone then, actually. Hmm. Well, Semix gets revenge. Um, so, yes, if you dodge into an opponent. Um, you lose your iframes on your dodges, so that might have been why his, 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 he was caught by the zone. And actually, oh, wow, this is really going from a from a starting point in very much in El, uh, mistake corrector's favor. It's, it's completely swapped over now. Um, after that one big team fight, just went completely a pear shape for them. Now we're in a is this a three v three? No, make that a two v two now. Mo is going to retreat over to A and go heal. I like. I'm noticing that Mo is really uh, up to really frequently rather going to A to heal. Is that a good idea to do in this sort of scenario, Spaniard? I, mean, I think so. The testing ground changes the renown have made that kill streaks are quite important for getting. Um, that they're a good source of renown. So you don't you don't want to die. Killing is getting killed is more important in testing grounds versus like Defender and Alan on points, for example, mm. which doesn't exist anymore. So I think it is sensible to protect yourself from losing those killstreaks by 
going off to heal. But, I mean, that's always been a strategy in general, but in particular, I think it's good for the testing ground. Kanamura, aka Egg, gonna try and go for the predict. Toet goes for the roll select to get away. Cog doesn't connect. Goki a little bit too fat to fit through the gap. However, he does have a factor there to pick it up to the 2v2. Make that a 2v1. Egg may get splatted here if he's not careful. He's out of stamina and maybe out of hope. Yeah, we're going to see the infinite Goki gank come off. And Celtic didn't get there in time to prevent it. Really good um, arrival from Franz Bonaparte to arrive just in time to save his teammate from the hug that was in beforehand. Um, and we saw how that then... Man they then managed to... That um, egg was out of stamina, allowed uh, Toti to get the kill, and yeah, then a well executed gank afterwards. So, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, Let's get a wider shot here. So, we've got one, two, three members of Participation Medal, make that four, versus the three of Mistake Correctors over here on C. Toet Mind is rotating back through, so it's going to make things equal in a moment or two when he's able to get in. Set Mix, however, very low, so it's Franz. We're going to see the first fatalities actually seen. Set Mix is down. Franz is going to join him, taking this to a 4v2. That's a big advantage for Participation Medal into C's advantage on this map. Yeah, um, but we've seen, again, a, a very different strategy to what would have been the case pre-testing grounds, because this is currently, the point is currently owned by um, the Orange team. Like, by uh, particip uh, Participation Medal. Yeah. Absolutely, and we've seen that they're just piling onto it, even though dying on point would previously give them a massive Renown advantage. But look, the Renown totals on both teams are about the same. Hmm. Um, which I think, I mean, personally, I think it's mo more exciting to watch to see people coming into these situations where they are unfavored, but they feel like they're going to stall that out and, and try anyway, is much more exciting to watch for me, um, at least. So I'm, I'm thinking is a, fa a fan of this change. Nice light parry from Mo, and there Toti goes down. We do see Bonaparte still trying to defend as best as they can, but Shugoki is Shugoki. There is a reason why he is rated so highly. Of course, there is the valid idea of a lot of Shugoki's strength came from bugs, which are actively being patched, but I mean, that ain't... That ain't no bug. That is a fully formed mood, I think. At this point in the testing grounds, correct me if I'm wrong, Spaniard, the only bug right now that's really giving Shugo any strength is, like, disguising his heavies with target swapping, right? So he, he has that, which, so as you mentioned, there's a bug where if you target swap your chain heavy after partially charging it, it, you, it will have the wrong animation and it will play as if you are um, targeting a different opponent. Um, so it'll, it's still parable by the person you target switch to, it just won't have any animation. So that's mm. one bug, but he does have another bug which improves his ganking, which is that dodging a uh, hug doesn't feed any renown, doesn't give renown, uh, sorry, doesn't feed any revenge, doesn't give any revenge tags, um, and doesn't give any revenge even if you have revenge tags. So that is another bug that is improving his abilities at the moment. And, we, and here, we'll pass over to you because we're seeing the state correctors come back really strong here. Hmm. The state correctors are cons trying to barrel their way through for a match equalization. They are ahead in soft points, but hard points they are not. Of this little standoff here, there's a fun point to be made. With the both teams sitting on this point for so long, actually, we'll talk about the numbers in a moment. Factors stormed back in, ends up hitting the uh, <laughs> hitting the feet, which is the bear trap. However, a bear, a, not a bear trap, an arrow launched by Kanamura, feet for feet, murder for murder. Set mix gets caught, gets interrupted by the kunai, which actually opens it up to a hit from Egg. He gets uh, completely minced. That's a neat little bit of tech deployed there. Yeah, I didn't know. It was, it was too fast for me to see. Yeah, that was a kunai that opened really it up, underrated. I think. That was a kunai, right? Yeah, I think that was a kunai, yeah. The sorts is kunai. That's One, cheeky. It's a, it's a really underrated feat, but as you can see, both the roaches on the team are using it. I mean, partially because Smoke Boy's banned. An execution on Solix just as they are breaking. That is not what you want. <laughs> nice try, oh. to it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> back and takes loses almost his entire health bar and he's gonna oh. that is really, it's such a big mistake you don't he's got they they really need to be calling out those um drop attacks and mm. making sure they're guaranteed because if you do that you just well that's what happens you die when you just throw and break him because that's that's bad 
Yes. Um, so there is a reason we call that maneuver high risk, high reward, even though you essentially lock onto a person when you drop attack. You get a little indicator, an exclamation mark that tells you, hey, you're about to get bodied. You need to leave. So if you don't, like Spaniard said, lock the person who's being plunged down with block stun, hit stun, whatever, they just dodge and then you're sat there with almost no HP going, well, guess I'll die now. I was actually saying in chat that he wasn't locked onto a player. He, he oh. actually wanted to plunge onto a minion just to get down there faster, but... It the game decided over. instead to target a player in the distance. I mean, that could, that can happen with drop attacks. Yeah, it's okay. It's just unfortunate. Um, yeah, that is... Th those points are really, really tricky to deal with. But we're going to... It's 1-1 one, one now, right? 1-1. Yeah, one, one. Let me um, correct that on stream. There we are. We'll be going to... Citadel Gate is the final match. And again, really close. I, I think... I don't know if this is like a... Is luck just luck of the draw, or particularly to do with testing grounds? But these have been really close matches so far. Well, the um, first match, let, let, the first match on stream, let, let's not pretend that was close. This, this. Oh yeah, set, sorry. I meant. I meant. Uh, sorry. I meant. Uh, this set. The, uh, mistake collectors versus participation award. They yeah. have both had really close matches, despite having the first fights go really, really one, really in one direction, and you. I think we'll say Overwatch in particular is an incredibly snowbally match mm. because you, well, if you lose the first fight, it's in live game at least. That's it. You're probably going to lose the whole match. But we've seen in both of these cases the team which lost the first fight actually ended up going on to win the match. Mm. Um, and maybe that's testing grounds thing. We'll when this this one is when this set is over, we'll try and ask see if one of these guys can come in to chat and tell us a little bit what they what they think yeah, um, yeah. nice thing yeah, about I'm, I'm just talking for i mean this is all oh yeah. sorry to, side uh, note yeah, though I, is... it's nice to have players in chat occasionally even though we in my personal preference i prefer players to concentrate on the game they are able to come into twitch and sort of correct like things going on like i thought toet was actually going for a player there and just missed turns out he was going for a <laughs> minion in the game screwed him over like fair play well that's what he says <laughs> I I'm willing to believe it when someone says For Honor screwed them over because of a bug. We love this game to yes. bits, but it has some grade A spaghetti in it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not sure if you can say necessarily it's a bug. It's just very hard to to, sh to choose to target a minion if you want to. Because you know, a player can dodge in and, and become and get close enough for you to target a player. Here we are. See what happens here. Citadel Gate's going to be our third and final okay. map for this best of three. And let's see if the save swap sides up. Already pre dreading playing Live Dominion when testing grounds ends. I I imagine this testing grounds may get put in decently quickly. Like they were already pretty fast on the last testing grounds implementation, right? Yeah, they were. I mean, I feel like will they put it in before the next season and the Dominion series Defenders starts? Is the real question. Point. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's. I think it's possible because I don't think the Dominion series next major will will happen before the well, very yeah we've got at least one more major this year right yeah there's another major it starts in october and mm. in and then the grand finals are in next year so yeah. they, i think if there's no major problems they find with the dominion series uh, sorry with the testing grounds we will see it put it in sooner rather than later and i think it's possible that, that could be before the next major starts yeah. So, I could also we'll see a reasonable out. argument for testing grounds not being put in, but we'll talk about my thoughts on that in a second. Celtic on death's door, and the majority of mistake correctors, oh sorry, the majority of participation medal may be joining him soon. Set mix does drop over mistake correctors. Factor Solips Orochi on Orochi violence. The only one makes it out alive, and now. He that, the fact is actually going to start running. Let's go to the wide shot, or the map wide shot. Fact that was considering running to C to back cap, but he gets chased away by Franz and Toet, choosing to instead retreat and protect their home point and give themselves a place to heal. And looks like participation medal like take that the rotation from Factor there. Hmm. I thought he was going to go to C. Yeah, like you said, to he contest got cut off. instead. Well, if but but he went around the back essentially and forced the these mistake directors to not finish off clearing minions in mid and go and protect their, oh, their home. Oh, okay. I mean, maybe that was his thinking. Maybe he just thought that was the best way to get out safely because he was at that side of the fight, but it was impressive anyway. 
Um, and you can see he's running through the back now. Is he going to go for another back cap? Maybe. Let's get the white shot going here. I think here. he is. Oh, is oh, oh, he's let's considering see, it. Oh, let's see Edo actually 1v1. Yep. Why not? Let's get the card over there. Legion versus Factor. Let's get some reads. Get him in the mix-up. Fantastic read! Factor parrying Legion's, uh, Legion's follow-up light attack, but the counter-parry on the Storm Rush! Oh! Dash, round the top. In the mix. Bash. Light. Heavy, but it's parried. Factor's still going. He's not giving up just yet. Kick gets dodged again. One, two, and that's it. Legion defends the home point. Very nicely done by Legion. As we saw then, so a lot of people have been saying that Orochi's kick is not punishable, but Orochi is one of the few characters that can reliably punish it because you can dodge and delay a, an undodgeable, undodgeable dodge attack, and that will catch the Orochi after his dodge cancel window ends, but before he can block. Hmm. So if he... And you can't dodge cancel out of it because obviously it's undodgeable. So that was really well played from Slugs there. And we, they, what is going on here on C? They just have traded po traded home points. Yeah, we've got fights going on both sides of the map right now. Just confirming with a wide shot there. Mo gets murdered by Architect. Just shout out to Daddy Law. He's having some fun with that on stream earlier today. <laughs> you you got to love architecture in this game. Yeah, fun. walls are the biggest enemy. Uh, after gravity, of course. Naturally. Mo is chasing down his opposing member. This is a full mirror jewel over here next to the bonfire. Make this a 1v2 now. Legion does have revenge tags on him, so participation medals A contesters have to slow down here and see if they can get the full gank. No! They needed to slow down, not speed up! Oh, more architecture. Trying to keep Legion's lights off him. Factor comes back in after waiting. But some good dodges by oh, Legion. Cancels. Great stuff! He's actually delaying long enough for teammates oh. to get back in! But that's... Yeah, well, I mean, he almost won that anti-gank, but he delayed for long enough that there's no possibility of healing. I think they got one tick of healing, and has one. Mo already dropped down? Yeah, Mo is already down. So, that was a really, really good stall. We saw him making excellent use of those dodge cancels to avoid being punished. He dodge attacks and dodge cancels the dodge attacks and not get punished for it. Kunai attempt from Factor there, no dice. Franz has got his head on a swivel. Yeah, sorry, I just drop out. I'm like looking at, <laughs> yeah. looking at the crazy plays going on, you You've know? Got, I do love the fact that between Raider coming back in, Orochi getting the huge changes. We're seeing, and now Jang Jun's in consistently. There's so much flow in these fights. What was that roll cancel? Okay, he got punished for that. If he got out of there clean, I would have been pissed. <laughs> what was that? that was cheeky, cheeky going on, cheeky goings on there. And Semix trying to stave off against Revenge. Uh-oh, this is... Oh, Semix has already got out of there. Yeah, he rolled he, away. If he had stayed in, he would have probably got a, a full punish on with the Demon Ball. Because obviously Demon Ball still has He's super He's fishing armor. for a drop attack, I think. Let me get the camera yeah, I think on him. he is. Yeah. Any second now. Get him in the hit stun. Don't even need it. It's just going to watch. Yeah. yeah, that's fair enough. Um, we're not playing Overwatch, but he's doing the Overwatch. Indeed. Terrible. I'm sorry about that. This is this is why you commentate your information and not a stand-up comedian. We leave that yes. to Norcos. I actually did do stand-up back at university, so ah. um, I could never do stand-up. I would have one joke bomb and then just curl up to a ball on stage and die. Yeah, you just have to forget, just not have a sense of embarrassment. And if you know what I look like, you can see that's something that I do quite. <laughs> oh quite no! We appreciate you, Spad. You don't do yourself in like that. Although well, speaking of death, Kunai there. Speaking of death, B point being cleared away from the minions quickly. Set mix, Franz, 2v3, heavy feet deployment. Franz is weakened, hit with the kunai as well from Factor. Factor keeping Franz on his toes. Celtic is very low though. One more keen um, attack thrown in by mistake correct. This is all they needed to kill him and they will get it successfully. Let's try and get Great the- Great peel from Franz there on mm. Set mix getting uh, the out of stamina punish. I mean, I think, uh... Really, what should have happened with Celtic had gone for a, like his guaranteed heavy and not gone to try and punish that out of stamina punish. And they, we, they've they managed to get a back cap as well. This is a, the map's gone heavily in favour of mistake correctors now. Here is points for you, sir. Oh, yeah. They've got, well, they've got a big, they've got a decent renown lead. They've got a big kill lead. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um... Egg is down in breaking. That's not a good start. Toti holding on with one bar here. But 
and needs to hold on to this point because this is where if they lose this one they'll be unbreaking. Mm. I'll hand it back over to you to come take this. All good. All right. 2v2. Heavily wounded toe at mind. Let's see if he can put his mind to the matter and actually bludgeon some enemies and get this point secured for his team. Allow mistake correctors to take this at a 2-1. Great a longbow deployment. Celtic not fast enough on the draw, ironically enough, to actually stop that use. And now this is turning into an effective 2v2. Mo, Celtic, Toet, and Legion. Decent low, but never mind. Legion gets the kill. That's going to heal him up with his perk. And that's a full clear on A. Enemy home point secured. Multiple people down. And this is going to so be I a 2-1, think... I think. Yeah, I think it will be. Did you see the, the really, really strong feat usage then mm. from... Um, but that was the ba the buff damage buff coming in was from Battle Cry from Setmix in mid, which gave uh, Legion's Kunai enough damage to do more than to, to kill uh, Egg, hmm. who was sitting there just above the 15 damage, 15 health that would have needed that Kunai normally does. So that was a really good use. That was the, how useful Battle Cry is, especially in the end game. Hmm. Gives you a free mid capture because it makes all the minions run away and gives you a map wide damage buff. So. Some people have been saying that Fury is still beneficial because obviously you can use Fury Flask and it allows you to stall very well yeah. because of the, the heavy damage reduction. But we saw good use of Battle Cry there. And kill wise, this was a very dominant match for for um, mistake correctors. Yes, I but keep trying to say collectors renown... with that first. Yeah, I know. Is there L collectors normally? Mistake correctors now? Oh, come on, guys. They just do this just to mess us up, don't they? Agreed. Absolutely. Yeah. What do we What do we ever do to you? Exist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right. So big win there for mistake correctors. I'm going to see if we can get Egg or somebody from their team in to come and join us for this. They have still got, and they might want to refocus up for their losers bracket. Yeah. They're going to have another. Oh, okay. No, they're going straight to their losers bracket match actually. So. All right. So looking at the bracket will. now. Just to figure out what we're going to be doing on stream. We've got Minimizers and Amgloria. After Namgloria 2-0'd CSA. Sussy Baka got 2-0'd by Minimizers. So that's currently the winner's semis. And Mistake Correct is going to be facing whoever wins at a RMG and Consistus. And then in Losers, we've got CSA waiting for the winner out of Team B, Sussy Backers. Shall we stick with the winners and try and get RMG and Consistus or Minimizers and Amgloria? Or hop down to Losers? What do you think? Um, I'd say stick with the winners. Stick with um, winners? Alright. Yeah. Check if Mini Weiss and Nam Glory are up, I'd say. Oh, uh, yeah. Decent shout. Let's have a look, see if we can get an eye. I, I appreciate standing your own team, Fleeby, but we normally prefer to stay in the winners' side for as long as we can. And we actually do have an Overwatch game here. Uh, let me get the names updated on stream, but we're going straight in to round three. Nam Gloria versus Mini Meisters. Okay, round three. All right. And team side should be as on stream. Yep. Okay. So Clutch is running the Kyoshin. This is something he advertised he would be doing. Success rate. We'll see how he does. Now, there was also uh, points made up by, by Clutch to do with the feat choice for Kyoshin. Whether you run the native tier 2 and tier 3, or do you run the arrow strike and the other tier 3 for Kyoshin, which I think is Longbow? No, he does rubbish tier 3s. He's got... What's, what's um, Kyoshin's tier 3s? He's got a thick... What's it? Tough as nails, which is on him 100 is is like 12 extra health. Yeah. Um and uh, fast uh, protective revive, which is just terrible. Mm. So you would you would not want to run either of those. I mean, I mean, I guess tough as nails is some benefit, but it's min mm. um, small, and I feel like Clutch clearly thinks that his unique tier three is superior. We're also seeing Shinobi, which is exciting. Tetsuo, as, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is a big fan of Shinobi. Yes. So he's playing. We'll see how things go here versus the Nova boys. Nova, of course, no strangers to both fighting at high levels in For Honor and success. This will be a jolly good example of what things are going to be looking like on a traditional Overwatch match in testing grounds. 
And we'll be seeing possibly the first fatality of what cares. Try to get away as quick as he can. Yoga completely mullers what cares. He's gone. Clutch is extremely low HP himself. Has to try and move away strategically to cover Antonio in the back, being harassed by Obu. And Quoco and Flux are having a little bit of an argy bargy on C point, but things are starting to scatter now, Spaniard. Yeah, um, and, and we see Clutch and Tetsuo. So Tetsuo, what cares is Tetsuo? Okay, um, good to know. Both of the both of these characters, which we've said are the the low tier characters or the less likely to be strong characters, both getting taken down very quickly. But well played from Quokka. This is normie here. That's gonna be not death, but close. Oh. Does Mina know that there's reinforcements? Oh, oh he tried for oh, the zone to I'm... save himself. Me to try so really to well themselves. played from Normie there. Um, really well played from Normie, coming, uh, managing to to anti gank essentially until until Clutch came back and and got the kill. We're seeing, we're seeing you're going to see a lot more unblockables landing and parry. The parries that happen are going to be a lot more hype because option selects have been removed. Oh yes, topic. that's not a testing ground exclusive thing. That is in the live game now, by the way, folks. And I found that out the hard way when I tried to play Conquer and Kensei, option selecting everything on the planet, and I got my backside handed to me. I I use option <laughs> yeah. selects as a crutch for such a long time. Yeah, it does take some unlearning. We saw then a really nice Shinobi Kyoshin gank. Mm. Both of those characters have unblockables that lead into like triple light pins. And they pull them, pull that off really nicely against. Um, well, Waco's got some good parries though. Credit to them. Oh, and headbutts. That's gonna kill Mina. Mina on the floor for the time being. Opposing Shigoki are back in. So this is gonna be a full bar brawl. Mina yogurt down as well. Clutch gonna get the fastest execution he can. Get him off the board. And go back to assist with his teammates. Obu tried to swing, and that will be missed. Quoko dodging strategically on the left-hand side. Arrow strike. Heavy strike. chunk of 60-ish damage. And that's going to be good night, Irene. Uh, there is a question in the chat here, Spanny, that you may want to answer here. Someone asked, why are people running iron lungs on Shugoki? I mean, I, I just, like... I <laughs> I was hoping to go with know, the more polite answer from you. That wasn't because of Shugoki's rest of feats are trash. But I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, the rest of Shugoki's tier ones aren't very good. Yeah, you get, you have the 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 other choices are fast revive, or speed revive, which is I mean, it's fine. Mm. You just don't often get opportunities to revive, and revives aren't necessarily a good thing to go for anyway because you're at half health, um, and you need, need a place to heal when you've been revived. Mm and uh, throw further, which people don't like because it ruins methods of your out of stamina punishes. Um, and also your punishes from throws when you have <laughs> knockdown, staggering blows enabled. So it's just in general, in general, I mean, iron lungs let you run around even if you accidentally overexert when you're doing your super sprint. Um, so maybe that's why. In case you didn't I'd know the... That's to ask Antonio. Yeah. Kyo has an infinite with Goki and Raider as... What?! Kyo's got Kyoshin's got in for the two. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing some of those. Got new tech being. Yeah, he yellow. does. Um, his he can get infinites off pretty much anybody with your like the um his unblockable into triple light. Oh um, yeah, the uh, the Kaze slashes. Yeah, yeah. Fu uh, Fujin strikes. An arrow strike misses. Uh, yeah, thinking of Fujin cut. I think Fujin gets cuts. Kaze slash and Fujin cuts as well. I'm mixing up the with. stance with the cuts. I think names. What are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. I've, none of us speak Japanese, right? No, <laughs> no I don't speak not. Japanese. Oh, what? Hello? Why didn't that hug So land? that was there a failed Goki gank then. Garbreak didn't confirm. Spin! <laughs> Indicator ganks! <Hey>, Dodges! <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> so we saw there a failed Goki hug setup with a Garbreak. If you don't time the g hug correctly from the counter Garbreak, you will bounce off the arm, which is what happened then. Ah. Um, and then we saw some nice indicator ganking. His zone, Vader's zone, neutral zone is only 20 stamina now, so you can feint it over and over again. And, I mean, spin around looking funny. And really big damage on the on those get Goki Raider ganks there, because he's getting his Inspire buffed chain zone, which does 38 damage on its own. It's probably doing, what, 45 damage off a hug. That's just crazy damage and really big um, ganks there. From, well played from Nova Crew then. Back here we see another gank. 
Revenge is a, revenge can be held here. If you listen, if you listen carefully, you may hear Daddy Law raging in his chair right now. As more revenge being held, Yogurt try to do what he can. He pops the revenge there. Finally, not being held. Strategic removal of presence by Antonio to stop any extra revenge stacks. Oh, he's back in play. Antonio able to get the one tap. Stomp. Oh no, not the full execute. Mina's able to rotate back in. And, and gets Mina the full kill. Get both kills, and he's going to get the res. Nice play from Mina there. Good rotation. Valley Town. Something I actually did want to note when he was saying, you were talking about holding revenge. Mm. And we saw the Shinobi came in and kicked, and the revenge pop didn't knock him down because Shinobi's kick goes into a range, ranged heavy, which counts as a bash. Yeah. Doesn't get knocked down. Whereas, so it's quite safe to attack opponents who are holding revenge with Shinobi, Shinobi's kick. Although, what the JJ could have done was guard break him. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> he should have done that, essentially. Um, and that would have got the knockdown punish on Yes, uh, yes Timo, do not adjust your Twitch settings. That is a Shinobi being piloted by Tetsuo. Who unfortunately was having to clear mid, so both of his team's various assaults on CNA had no success and died. Feels bad. You know, you do what you have to do. Fortunately, assassins can get an okay amount of minion renown on mid so he gets some profit out of it at least as he comes over to see to help out his team oh those are some really no wait what what, what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, did he get oh, he rolls off the get rolls off the grate and gets kicked back into it that <laughs> i thought it looked like he got the drop attack animation i thought we were about to see some old school like insta kill warden level stuff there what <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god, that was gross! What is he going into on? Longo. The trades! Really disgusting! Oh! <laughs> that, that feet combination, my god. You got the knockdown into fully charged heavy, into another knockdown, into longbow, into. <laughs> Breaking news, Shinobi can iframe trap openings. What the? <laughs> <laughs> That was that was hype, and we saw the amazing like mobility that Shinobi has, mm. um, doing his backflip, and and I think even though it's got iframes now, he was getting out of he was seems to be like moving out of range of the Shinobi's, of the Orochi's undodgeables, and wasn't being caught by them. Yeah. So I don't know what was going uh, on there. Let's let's get our like field side reporter Timo in the Twitch chat. Uh, Timo, explain why why Shinobi sometimes avoid undodgeables. Help. Yeah. Information, we crave it. Yes. We, we we have an entire chat full of fieldside reporters who can tell us things. This is nice. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, okay so well, it was another factor. I don't no one knows. Uh he doesn't he doesn't get fucked, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, fair play. <laughs> I think what's likely is that his back foot was moving him out of range of the tracking of the undodge ball. And that's why it was um wasn't being caught by the unbelievable dodge tank, but pretty pretty kind of crazy stuff. Map um, number two though, let's let's attempt to chill, center ourselves. Hopefully there's little shenanigans. This is nice, clean, super serious for honor on harbor of all places. Um Side swap has occurred. Let me go ahead and change the names around. What's the split gonna be, Spaniard? It's an equal. Sorry, sorry, I was just looking at the matchup to see the match. Yes, we're having 2 2 on A and C. You no longer, on this map previously before the testing grounds, you could send a fast character over to um, C as attackers, and you could cap C before the defenders would get there. So people tended to go, like, just donate C and go. Oh, that was slick! Iframes really go like burr! That. Yeah. But now, with the changes to testing grounds, you can't have faster cap speed, so you can actually send this 2-2 split is something you will see a lot more of. Oh, that's absolutely. foul. That is. That was a really good That's a lot there. of revenge, though. Like, look how much revenge Yogurt revenge. got there. A lot of revenge, indeed. Um, but still, really good. This is, this is what we see with Raiders <laughs> ganked here. Are, because Raider does so much damage, any character that has gank, that has batches that can chain, like, shortly one after the other, you can like repeatedly bash and then confirm a heavy which confirms the next bash which confirms the next heavy over and, and over and over go on until death or mm. revenge that's what we saw um so that was a really nice gank there yeah we... Um, and we saw also well you could play from 
Tetsuo using his kick to interrupt the JJ's throws, which you can interrupt revenge throws with a kick. Hmm. We're seeing now a fight on the other side of the map here on C. It's going to be a 3v2. The advantage does go towards many mices in terms of manpower. Oh, sorry, towards Namglora in terms of manpower. We'll see how well the, the clutch does kill Flux. So now it's a 2v2. Commentator's curse, question mark. We'll see. Clutch using some externals. Kaze stands into Fujin cuts. Gets some okay damage onto Ovu. Yogurt, meanwhile, hasn't been able to come over and peel. Having to deal with Quako. Oh, no, he tried to peel for his teammate, but he was out of stamina. So he wasn't able to. He was too slow. Yeah, yeah. And, and we saw, like... Oh, is oh. Gonna... Ah. Ah, there we go. Oh, and Yoga anti ganks really well done there. So there was a there was a misplay there. There was an out of stamina attack thrown that instead of Clutch getting the parry, um, we had <laughs> he can get the knockdown into the kill. He that was messed up. So um, bit of a mistake. Done. I Four love iframe exchange. I'm sorry, but Jang yeah, Jun Shinobi so cool. is my favorite thing to watch. That they just look looks so, so cool. slick. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Right, I've just had to go and deal with a... Uh, oh, good. Do admin match. stuff. I'll just keep fanboying over iframe exchanges. So, oh, right, that's the wrong button. Here we are. Back on the C point hit. I'm just pressing the wrong buttons on the keyboard. Spectator, go burr. Antonio versus Cl uh, Clutch versus Obu. 2v1. Going to be considering his next options carefully as he gets Demon Ball for full damage. Obu. Yeah, nice carry there from Obu. Not uh, just as the hit stun ended... Allowing him to avoid getting uh, into another gank. Big guard break then from no yogurt. Um, and but actually, if you look at the the score, is really not is really is actually really even. Um, Renown is very close. The score is not. It feels like the game's been going on for a long time, hmm. but but the overall match score is hardly moved. We're, like nobody's got 400 points yet. Yeah, that's. That's a good thing to point out. At this point in the match, like, my brain is starting to think, okay, let's start talking about T4s and let's start lining up the end of the match. Like, but we're still fighting on C for Dickens' sake. Like, look at the yeah. overall, like, map presence. You know, we've got one person boosting A with uh, Tetsuo over there. And with, meanwhile, we've still got a giant bar brawl on C. I mean, this has been going on since the beginning of the game, pretty much. I mean, it has been capped, but... Oh, now Yogurt's still managed to... I mean, this is something that you would not have seen beforehand because C is is currently owned by the Nova team. Yeah, Namgloria. And, and, yeah, Namgloria. And these guys, and uh, they would not have wanted to die on this point for the amount of renown they were feeding, but they have been allowed to have this team fight even on a defended point. That's dead. dead oh. you know. um, but they've just been able to keep up, keep at it because of like not worrying about being defender now and they've kept on being able to come in and contest the point because the capture rate is so much slower now you don't have it's always five seconds. just interrupt obu stampede charge answers in the chat please that's just what it looked like there 2v2 now however on the point here mina b has some of it oh, stylish bro mm. did you see this uh, flips into into <laughs> shooting stars i got both of them i mean i like i love watching shinobi what was that guard break stylish tracking stylish. answers on a postcard please I think it went round the... <laughs> Tetsu on one HP in a dream managed to stay alive that time. That... I mean, I hope Shinobi does get considered, like, more as a, a, a meta character because he's so stylish to watch. And yeah. now that he's not, you know, a horrible AIDS fl mosquito at the back of team fights throwing ranged guard breaks, um, I don't feel bad about him. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, I should probably remember that something that Timo said earlier in the chat. The backflip is so vulnerable to guard break, it's not even funny. So that probably explains why you saw Mina B, or sorry, the opposing Orochi's... Yeah, no, Mina B slide so hard with the guard break. Because, you know, guard breaks track dodges, and the backflip is just a really elaborate dodge with extra iframes. So that's probably why he slid so far. Okay, it's probably not as miraculous as I made it out to be. Fair point from Malaria. Yeah. I've always said, I've always said to no Shinobi's being stylish. It's just, he's off, he's always been horrible to, to deal with. So, like, like, he's always had the style. He's just stylish, and I don't feel bad about enjoying him. Um, stylish, and you're not possibly throwing a comp game. Defenders yeah. Rally. And get, managed to clear mid enough to rally, but immediately breaking again. Um, 
We've seen Renal wise, I think we've seen big advantage for the attackers, but they haven't all got their tier fours. Only Antonio and Normie do. Mm. So, oh, uh, something, a change I do want to mention there that would have killed Antonio pre patch, although they didn't survive yeah. too long, because the headbutt used to be confirmed off the four dodge heavy, and they have fixed that at the beginning of the season, so that is no longer a thing. Yes. Um, so even though it didn't save him in the long run, it is still a save. Now, then Clutchmeister, 2v1, gonna get caught in the vortex. Teammate has to come bail him out. Good thing he still had the revenge shield to give himself an extra buffer from his ally's attack. Heavy assault onto the Clutchmeister, the number one digital athlete eats the floor. And that's gonna be a 1-1. One, yeah, one. The win. One. Uh, no, they, they, attackers won both of them. 2-0. 2-0. Yeah, 2-0. Yes, uh, Mini Meisters with the, the team with the uh, Shinobi and Kyoshin won both of them, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I got confused because Clutch Mice was on the floor, so I thought his team got white, but no, only him. Never yeah. mind. Commentator, bring go burn. 2-0. And Tetsuo goes 9-0. No, no deaths there. Ooh, it's quite unusual. Nice. Yeah. Surprisingly, without much in as much in the way of renown so i i mean maybe he just got mostly got assists rather than kills because i'd have thought that nine zero with kills would have given you um significant renown but tetsuo I mean, has also been diligent in clearing mid these past two maps so possibly an extra bit of chunk of change related to that yeah i mean assassins now can clear mid and, and shinobi has a big hitbox on his own so that does does go um a long way oh yeah just hearing news from the bracket team b has has dropped out well Aww. Thanks for playing. GG's, guys. Rip. Um, I hope you come back and play in future tournaments. Yes. And I hope you learn a lot. Remember, the, with this is we're doing this tournament out of the dojo, and we do all kinds of teaching stuff. So come and join our the dojo sessions we do on Saturdays and Thursdays, and scrim, and learn and improve, and bring come back and be stronger. Rah. We appreciate Sorry. the funny as well, like. Uh, optimi optimism aside, we appreciate the funny being demonstrated in chat, so we thank you for that as well. And that will be one of our, what's it set? that'll be our second casualty out of loser's bracket, I believe, because Bash Bros also got eliminated. Well, Bash Bros didn't show up, so I had to just... Oh yeah, Bash Bros got DQ'd, DQ. never mind. Rip. So... Yep. So we have in... We should have eyes on... RMG. Um, state Corrector versus RMG. Alright, let me see if I can get eyes on that. Uh, did, 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 uh, no, yeah, no, I. No, I think they're sorry. They're they're still picking maps. Sorry, my okay. bad. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, that'll give me a moment to get the will, overlay set up. It will be soon, though, I imagine. Um, Got it. I'll be quick then. So quick drink. All good. Yeah. As we can... drink. Mm -hmm. Mistake correctors. I will see how the bracket's going and see if we have any players from these teams who would like to come in and join us for a. Quick chat. Indeed. So while we're getting all of that set up and waiting for eyes, chat, how are we liking the stream so far? Any production problems? Any audio glitches? We liking things? We not liking things? Feedback. We like it. But be quick though, because we have an eye. <laughs> Super fast feedback. We'll send it. We'll put in a um, a uh, survey. Actually, is anybody? If anybody from Mini Meisters wants to come in and join us, because um, they're sitting waiting for their winners final, and this is the semi final. <laughs> So, I imagine Mini Meisters uh, are just scrimming. They're just going to be scrimming with uh, like 2v2s, practicing. I imagine. Yeah, or practicing. Yeah, probably. But if they do want to come in and join us, uh, pop into, jump into the TG Dom Castering Lobby chat. Um, and we will bring you in. You can join us in the commentary. Yeah, I, I, I wish this was 60 frames as well, Nutella. However, my computer would explode. And the, the quality would not be as good. So... It is 30 FPS, 1080p, and it doesn't look like you could reach it and grab the pixels. So that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I, I do wish I could run it at 60, but I, I do want people to be able to at least see things without it turning into a weird abstract painting. Okay, we are on Overwatch. Uh, sorry, Sank Bridge. Words hard. There's bridges. Um, so this is maybe map number two in the set. Maybe map one. We'll see. Uh, it should be map... Oh, let me check. I can find that out. Yeah, you um, can find that for us. I'll, I'll come and say what's happening right now on screen while you're doing the admin work. Both side home points have been captured, and here we go for the first proper team fight of Sanctuary Bridge. This is a tradition. 
that sometimes ends up dictating the pace for the entire bloody match. Darrow, heavy swings with the Cannibal. Although he's starting to get lit up by Franz Bonaparte with some out-of-lock external zones. We're going to see the first retreat as well. Legion being chased by Eternus. Let's actually flip the camera around here to have a look there. There we are. There's the camera shot. I think it's, a uh, it's not a retreat. He Legion is going for the... Is going for the... Oh, uh, the, the back cap. My bad. Yeah, that's not a retreat. Cap. But he gets but caught anyway by Eternus and Harmony kills Setmix. So now they're retreating back to the afterlife. Franz. Now, oh, Harmony's going for the back cap on the Franz point now, actually, come to think of it. And swing and a miss. Unfortunate. And we're seeing a triple cap for RMG straight away. Um, They're the wrong way around. Let me actually. Set makes me thinking better of running in into a 2v2, uh, 2v1, waiting for his teammates, and they're going to go and try and push mid before they go push the side point, which is important because mid does generate a lot of points um, with this passive t plus two, words. as good as boosting a zone. Yeah. So, yeah, something they definitely want to be looking at going clearing. There's also the, uh, the element which is really sort of exclusive to this map of if you hold the mid, as long as you're diligent in take of closing the portcullis on either side of the map, that's a legitimate roadblock to rotating to your home point. Like, that is actually something that's kind of annoying to get through that minion line. So, that can be useful is if you can keep that mid nice and secure. Oh, nice to hear. Tattoo apparently is going to be joining us soon. Good to hear. But back to the match itself. Set mix. Oh, what a deflect! Excellent work there from Liber oh, Sano. Nice. Yeah, we have, I've seen some... Uh, Liber Sano has done some... I've seen some, do some really amazing Orochi plays um, in some scrims earlier. So, like, I, I'm looking forward to seeing more of them. That was, that was really nice to play. Headbutt, doinked. Headbutt baited and dodge light. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Running heavy, go burr. Oh, wait, no, Tetsuo. No, t I thought you were announcing it to the Tetsuo was joining us. No, that's fine. No problem. This is no what worries. I get for reading, chat, and commenting at the same time. I get bamboozled yes. from telling people to do things they aren't doing. <laughs> I'm bamboo. I'm helping with the bamboozling here, yes. so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm partially to blame. All good. Back to the How simplicity, though, with the match. We're going to be seeing a okay split of points. There is a definite bias towards RMG right now in the lead in that regard. Renown is also squarely in their favor. They have two members on triple-digit Renown. That's going to be beneficial for getting their perks online harp. Speaking of feats, actually, Harmony is going to deploy the Jangjun Tier 1 for the extra power, which will be useful for clearing... Yeah, which is a lot of extra damage, considering it buffs given, the, it, like, depending on the number of enemies around, so... A big, big damage buff on a regular basis. It goes up to 25%, which is as much as Battle Cry. That um, scales off enemies point. present or allies present? I don't remember. Enemies present. Okay. Yeah, so that's so amazing. If you're in, and if you're in a 4v4, then it's going to give your team a 25% damage buff. Which is nuts. Oh, I... There is... There is something with the Jang Juns today. There's something in their water supply is making them especially lethal. We're seeing a lot of really nice... like. Zhang Jun seems to have taken a similar place that Warlord's taken in terms of heavy... Well, actually, maybe that statement's incorrect because a lot of people brought Warlord because, like, crashing charge and feats, but now that Warlord's, you know, completely fallen off. Is it... What, what slot in a team composition has Zhang Jun taken up, Spaniard, before I end up putting my foot in my mouth? Oh, I mean, uh, the, the meta really shifted very strongly towards very good team fighters. Um... So, it, I, I don't I wouldn't say that there was a particular JJ replacement. I guess, I mean, I guess, um, Kensei, Lawbringer. Nabushi, well, Lawbringer hasn't been messed for a very long time. Fair. Um, so, Kensei and Nabushi, um, uh, yeah, N Griffin, I guess, yeah. were big team fighters. Black Pryor was also a big team fighter beforehand, I mean, it, but not to the same extent as. You brought like, him because Nabushi. his feats were insane and Bulwark Flip Go Burr. Yeah, I mean he's a good, he's a very strong character still. I just think he's he's just not considered as as yeah. offensive as the characters in the meta. Nice kunai there. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of kunai, able to get that last that last hit on somebody who's like sitting around with one one health. Yeah. Judicious use of that feat has been used many times today. Legion attempted to go for the recovery catch with the GB, but Darrow not playing ball, a little bit too fast. It turned this. 
is going to be most likely dead here with a single GB, yes. But onto that point you mentioned real quick. I talked about this ages ago on, I think it was Honor Bound, the podcast, ages, ages ago. For Honor is now in a weird place where characters are not in teams because they're necessarily bad, but because the other choices are simply too good. Yes. Would you agree? Yes, I do. I would agree with that. I feel like uh, currently, I mean, it used to, where it used to be, there were like five characters you could play, full stop, really. And all the other ones were just... And now it's like there's a, the the top ten or eleven characters are genuinely usable and like it's only it's only improving. Um, so I think definitely we're in a in a situation where a lot of leaf oh. target blown up. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> sneaky little kunai from Legion onto Lipia Sano. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like, in general, there are lots of characters which are good. Um, and if we had a pick and ban system, or a similar kind of system that encouraged, allowed for more diversity in team picks, because you wouldn't have to just pick the best characters, really nice one from Swords there, mm. we would see more of these ones picked. Um, and, sorry, I just want to bring it back like, to the match itself. Look how they... Uh, Come back! Stay correct, they've gone from being in... Really, quite far behind to a, a really massive comeback, and they're gonna just now putting um, the RMG into breaking. Yeah. Which, again, I, I don't know if we could say this. I always thought Sanctuary Bridge had some great comebacks, um, which is one of the things I like about I like about this map. I know people dislike the map, but this map does have some really good comeback potential. Yeah, we've seen um, a couple historic uh, ones in the past, but they're few and far between. Yeah. Absolutely, and but I think maybe with the testing ground, seeing more of it now. Set mix going down to an out of stamina attack. Libasano getting chopped up. Darrow, this is really. I think it's looking like it's going to be GGs if if they're not careful. I'm not liking the amount um, of ledges here. Bye bye. Nice knowing you're a road sheep. Doesn't. Fortunately, the body doesn't go over the edge, so there's a chance for a resurrection there if any member of Mistake Corrector so chooses. And now with two discreet one v ones happening here on the final point. Yeah. Scratch that. I'm going to shut my mouth. I think that was a really big mistake from Darrow. You saw he went for Demon Ball, which did kill the Orochi, oh, but he, it allowed him to get, eat two heavies from the JJ and be at half health, which was, I think, I think he should have his own attacks, which I think would have killed, probably would have killed the Orochi, but also, yeah. more importantly, would have just kept him alive. Because um, you don't want to be eating a double JJ heavy. Yeah. Um, it's, just, it's just not good for you. And we see mistake correctors coming back, pulling it back from a, a really, you know, un... un Un, uh, not a good start. Mm. A really un-something start. <laughs> it is... Um, to take that one, first match. S Sanctuary Bridge, in my mind, like, correct me if it feels like if I'm talking out my backside here, but Sanctuary Bridge has always been a map where the best teams are proven, can be shown, or sorry, have a litmus test on that map because they don't immediately fall prey to, oh, we got triple capped on Sanctuary Bridge. What the hell do we do? They're able to successfully yeah. like claw and fight their way back just on the strength of their team fighting because you can technically flank on Sanctuary Bridge and get a back cap, but it's very hard these days. Most people are pretty vigilant to that. Yeah, where well, they 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 drop the gates um, regularly, and then if the gates are down, they're down for twenty seconds, and you just can't get a back cap without going through mid. And even if you do, it's really really easy to see and stop. So. You just have to to come back in Sanctuary Bridge. You just have to win the whole map, basically, um, which these guys managed to do quite impressively. Um, possibly because given more opportunity to do that by not having such a big renowned disadvantage as you would have previously if you lose team fights. I mean, I'm enjoying watching this testing ground and stuff. These matches have all been way closer. Than... Quick bit of admin, real quick, Spaniard. Uh, mm -hmm. Was that map number one or map number two in that set? That was map number one. So we cool. are going one nil. Second. One nil. Um, right now, Templar. Yeah, that, I, I'm enjoy. I think these matches are looking um, are more entertaining than than um, previous matches. Yeah. They seem to be seem to be running closer at the ends, and more comebacks possible. So I don't know if that's just sampling bias or actually legit is a, a change from the testing grounds. We'll see when There's... we get some of these people for into commentary. For about me, it. Spaniards. It feels like there's been less of a feat snowball so quickly compared to live. Yeah, that's exactly what I would say as well. But like I said, I'm I'm a I'm a data guy, so 
I want to be like, is this just what I'm seeing, or is it an actual effect? Um, I'll we'll have mm. to ask. That's ask the players as well. Yeah. But, the small sample size we're seeing here. Um. <laughs> That's a fair point too, asking the player's perspective at some point after the tournament, because we could sit here on our ivory throne and just look and see what, you know, time it is. But actual enjoyment of the tournament is a big factor. And one of the more contentious points in For Honor right now, it, well, speaking of contentious, what is this rollout? 2-2 two, two split on, ta on Temple really Garden, but for A and B? What? Hello? Yeah, I thought that was a re actually a really clever um, starting rotation from uh, RMG here. They're known for doing slightly weird things, but that was basically allows them to get mid and A to start with. And the first fight, they're having a fight in mid, but the look at the hard point generation, they are with mid and the side point instead of just a side point. So I think that was a really good starting rotation. If you're going to have a fight in mid, which I think they favor, you because they like having like really big team fights instead of splitting up into smaller fights. Yeah. Um, they're also having that fight with a, a larger hard point generation. And look, we're seeing a back cap being some, somebody's going to. Yeah, uh, that is Dero, who's currently uh, run on over. He's going to be assisted by Harmony. Going to try and cap see. This is the exact opposite of what traditionally happens on Temple. Normally, it's one team, everyone bundles on C, and maybe you send someone to B or A. That was essentially a counterplay or attempt or a counter macro by RMG, and it paid off to an extent, but then they lost the fight on mid. I mean, I, I'm not sure if I'd say they did lose the fight in terms of death. Like, they're, look, they're still stalling out on point generation. Eh, and now okay, that's fair. Equal. Like, Toti's doing a really good job here of mm. um, crisp anti-ganking. And we're going to see another... Yeah, well played there, catching the recovery with that headbutt. Um, so I guess that did it didn't pay off for them, but I think that was a really good starting rotation and an interesting one that's maybe more bye bye yeah <laughs> maybe more possible with the shifted point um the shifted distribution point values in yeah, yeah in the testing rounds and also it's far less risky to go and push um you know to go for what Darrow did to go and push a back cap afterwards is far less risky to do because he you're not losing so much. Um, such giving the enemy so much renown. Yeah. You're not going to cause a point swing that hard for going for those kind of weirder plays. Yeah. Dero, Interesting. Dero got held off by Legion. Legion providing a one mana Rochi roadblock up to A, uh, giving time for the rest of the state correctors to rally over to his position, making this a more even Stevens team fight. Toe up mine, however, going flying. Excellent dodge by Setmix, getting around the hitboxes being thrown his way. Although commentators curse, now he's being completely blitzed. They're gonna have to use the roll cancel to get himself out of harm's way before he receives a Dane axe to the shoulder blade. Goodbye, Irene. And now Toad's in the middle of the vortex. Have fun. Oh, he got out! Misplay there! Yep. Yeah. Failed, failed Goki gank there. I mean, his positioning of Harmony's position wasn't ideal if he was on the wrong side of the Goki to get a. Um... Hello? And yeah, so um, Toti popped Juggernaut, which lets him essentially get hyped yeah, super armor and dodge out of it, um, out of hit stun, so he could avoid. He got hit by the attack rather than blocking it, allowing him to dodge the confirmed hug. Um, there we, but here we're seeing it's not going to pay up for Solips. Um, that was that was really well played from from Toti, allowing allowing stall, and they still own the point. <laughs> oh, <Sol> <laughs> that damage though. Absolutely fantastic play from the mistake correctors here. They, they didn't. They managed to avoid T Toti stalled really well, yes. long enough for Solips to show it sharp, and Solips. They gave Solops revenge, and he made that really good use of that revenge. And got essentially two kills. Um, so yeah, really well played by mistake. That is there. why stalling is one of I'd argue one of the better skills to learn as you get better and better and further and further into Ferrana. Because if you can buy even an extra few seconds, the speed of rotations now with the current preferred picks are fast. There's not really a slow rotator except from arguably Black Prior if he's pulled out. Yeah. Um, I guess Kensei's very slow. Oh yeah, Kensei's actually quite slow. Never mind. Lots of people dying, dying there. Mm. Like, uh, like some Casualties on both sides. I feel like Dero's going to die to a minion if he's not careful. Or in instead to Franz's light attack. 
But yeah, in sorry, I was gonna make a point, but now I've, I've just forgotten what it was. You, so, you were gonna yeah. make a point, however, there's violence on screen, and we just got kind of caught up in it. Leah Bear Sonic yeah, gonna demonstrate love, something. Just love seeing the blood spill. <laughs> oh god, Spaniard trying to go full heavy metal announcer. There's a visual for you all. So, well, I've got a, I've got a heavy metal beard, so I think I'll be allowed. Fair, true. I'll give you that. Sonic's coming in with a kunai and dodge lights to take down Libasano then, and then zooming off up to A to heal. Oh yes, that was what it is I was going to say. You, you mentioned about how slow rotating characters. Well, there's another change in the testing round because obviously the cap, you have to cap points. It takes you five seconds to cap, even if you have more players on it. Hmm. You don't have to stall for quite as long to get an ally coming in. Um, and, and sorry, I'm just having a thing. An ally coming in to assist. Um, assist. Yeah. So that we, we saw that happen on A just there a few times. Um, so yeah, that, I guess that's one of the, while stalling is harder with the lack of option select, the changes in the testing around here with the capture speed make it, you don't have to stall for quite as long to be out, to be effective. So, so I'm just gonna deal with that and thing. Oh good, it do happen stuff. RMG has been doing their darndest using revenge to try and delay in that fight on mid, but alas, they end up having to scramble a bit to now go capture points because they've just clocked that mistake correctors are starting to accelerate a bit in regards to the lead. They have friends in mid, uh, harassing Libe Asano, so that's going to give Mistake Correctors some free points as well, because any attack Jang Jung throws is basically going to massacre a small town's worth of minions. And then we've got a fight also happening up top on A at the same time, Setmix and Legion holding off Darrow and Harmony at the exact same time. I said Collectors again, gosh hecking darn it. Thank you, Tetsuo. Tetsuo. I mean, they are L Collectors normally, and they haven't even changed, <laughs> they've just changed their name for this thing, so... <laughs> okay, I know you meant L Collectors in, like, the Spanish EL, but out of context, it made you sound like they hold the L a lot, and that's considered quite rude. <laughs> I think that's what they're going for. <laughs> Wait, really? I, I, wanna, I don't want to say that's the joke. <laughs> oh my god, but, uh, commentator is smooth, do commentary, I'm gonna drink water and sulk. <laughs> Do Don't thing. worry, it's been, it, it, it's been a long, long day for us already, so nice parry, uh, hug off that parry there, well played by Tote Mind. But we're seeing points going back in, ooh, busy, um, points going back in favour of, of RMG. They've been holding C this whole time, which obviously is traditionally the best point this map for, for control of a mid. So maybe that is been um, allowing us to pull back the score. Where, where they were quite behind previously. Hmm. Yeah, so RMG now are almost neck and neck on hard points, where before they, the lead was starting to get out of, out of hand. They have been able to wrangle it under their control with a couple key fights and strategic point acquisition. We're also seeing a heavy emphasis in the mid lane now, you know, putting multiple characters in mid and keeping a side point and also winning fights consistently on points, which does also help you generate a couple extra, because kills you know, still generate hard points. That's some, a little yes, detail that gets lost, but that is a thing. Yeah, they do. And they also generate more hard points. I mean, I think they still do. They generate more hard points if you're on a win streak as well. Mm. So if, you, if you're on a kill streak, your kills are more valuable. Um, I wonder if, I don't know how much players prioritize that, but it is a, an important, a small, a small factor in, in, in increasing your and score you let your allies who are on a kill streak get get the kill solops here doing amazing work with on, a, on his orochi just going for kill kill one give me kill two no good parry from eternus out of stamina heavy from toa tried to get actually catch eternus and blocks them but alas it's too slow really well really well played by eternus there keep um you know oh for that <laughs> um baiting out the storm rush and parrying it that oh, was really well done uh, Toe runs in and then runs out again? I I think I he was trying on. to... Yeah, because uh, Oni Charge doesn't actually stagger anymore. That's not a thing. They removed that. So Yeah, that's gone. I guess he's just, you know, putting some initial D on and listening to the Eurobeat as he's drifting around, perhaps. Where are these blades coming from? I think he just kunai's out of the wazoo. Just, like... <laughs> there's, there's people on fire. Why is uh, it turned this on fire?! I think there must have been there must have been a fire flask used in mid, right? Yeah, um, I'm guessing. Set one. Yeah, it's set mix. Let's actually check set mix. One HP in a yep. dream. Set mix has that available, and uh, it goes down off screen. <laughs> mm. 
Oh yeah, helps if I put the camera on the fight. But yeah, Setmix did have Fire Flask first time in the match. But that's why he was on fire. And now we come to a couple fights which are swinging back towards mistake correctors. Ah, oh, Franz Bonaparte didn't get the right read. Franz goes down. I, I don't know, maybe Darrow's trying to go a long execution, seeing if he's hoping they can get mid and then break. Break before... I it, mean, it might work. Is that exactly what happened? Oh, I want to say I, that was a good... Pick good up that phone, Spaniard there. called it. Yep, called it. Um, I think they will be able to clear soon enough. Yeah, that is they, a blue side fire flask. That was deployed by a turnness. And they, and they haven't cleared mid lock quickly enough. No, because now they... they I mean, both teams are breaking. Oh! What a Blitzkrieg what offensive happened? by RMG! Just feats! Feats everywhere! That's what happened! Feats, I mean, it was just... It was really well played by Dero picking the long execution there. Unfortunate for um, friends making the wrong read on that unblockable and getting executed just before breaking. So, uh, that's not what you want. Um, really well played there. And then, yeah, just Feats, they just got their tier 4s online just as the... The fight ended, and then, yeah, there we go. Yeah. That was a 1-1 one, one now, right? That entire... Yeah, it's a 1-1. One, one. That entire encounter is a demonstration of what is known as really bad timing for mistake collectors. Yeah. Or correctors. Yeah. They uh, had... Well, good, good timing on the half of RNG as well. Yeah, but beneficial timing, because the br the breaking came in for both sides right as RMG got their full arsenal of tier 4s, and they just went, we have all these buttons. Press, 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 press. And then death. I mean, crazy close though, man. Like I, I could not predict which way that match was going. Like at any any at any point through it. I, mm. uh, I mean, I'm really enjoying watching these. <laughs> I'm getting caught up and getting um, indeed. I'm <laughs> confused with what's going on by all let's, the. I say let's and... rest for a moment, Span what? Spaniard. I need to yeah. open, get some more water and open my window because it's getting a bit hot in my room. And we will get the eye up up on stream as soon as we can. Be right back, folks. Awesome. I'll go grab a drink as well. See you in a few. Welcome back, everyone. Ventilation is now acquired. We're going into the final map of this set. It is a 1-1 split right now. Final map to determine who goes through to the winner's finals. Who will be fighting Mini Meisters, who are currently up there chilling, vibing, having a good time. Yeah, RMG won that last game, Halo. They had a last-second combination of all their feats coming online and a well-timed break against mistake correctors and they were able to just throw all their feet into a fight in mid and win it was a complete yeah. 180 sweep in that regard it was a yeah crazy close um really i'm i'm seeing if anybody from inconsist inconsistence in the lower bracket have dropped out now um beaten by um the uh, participation medal and i'm seeing if anybody from inconsistence would like to come and join us in the stream and tell us what their thoughts are about the, how these matches play differently to their live um, version of Dustin Rounds and what, they, what their feelings are about it. Come and let me know and just jump into the lobby chat in um, the Dojo server. Dojo server. Okay, weird rollouts time. Let's see. Legion going to grab A. Libe Asano clearing the mid, and we're seeing a team fight on C. Okay, so a unique rollout for the Attackers third time today. Zone a. Yes, we have, like, Sorts going catching A. So this is the opposite of what they did beforehand, with Sorts going to mid to get the increased point gen from mid. And we're going to have a 1v1 of Orochis on... On A? <laughs> let's keep yeah, let's, the let's, wide let's, angle. Yeah, I okay, actually, yeah, screw it. 1v1 Orochi, let's go. Libya Sado oh, versus Legion. Joining in with a light parry to start off with it. 
Oh, Libe got eaten on the zone attempt. Try dashes round the light. Legion parries. They do not have advantage of healing yet. Legion needs to actually get Libe Asano off the point to get any kind of extra healing. Good read. Heavy. Doesn't kill. One more read from Libe is all they need. They got it. Well, well played. They saw the delayed dodge light catching the kick. That was that was really good. And they've managed to get the they won their team fight on C as well. So now have triple cap. Uh, and but they don't have Ace Renown, so we'll see how we are. Let's see, we are. Um, I mean, really, again, this is what we see. This is a, this is the I think probably this the biggest difference that I've noticed that when you start off with these team wipes at the beginning of a match, previously you'd have everybody on the team the team but one on their tier two versus everybody on the team that lost on their on nothing on zero right now essentially. And now we're seeing it's going like 60, 60 to 30 yeah. instead of 150 to nothing. Which is a really big, I think that's a really big change and gives you players a lot more chance to come back. Which I think is cool. I like that. Attackers going from the numbers to the noise of the fight, set mix, 2v1. What? Uh, oh, Tote. JJ Bash moving someone out of range of Shugoki. That's a new one for me. Sorry, I missed that. I was just checking. Yeah, all good. Things. Brands getting caught. Hugs for everybody. And top top Danaxes as well. Another one. No? Okay. Uh, that was actually a call there by the Raider being piloted by... Not Darrow. Eternus to actually go peel Legion, who is attacking his allied Orochi. Excellent deflect by Legion, and Legion is building revenge stacks during this time. Darrow has revenge. Legion got revenge in that! He didn't get a third tag applied to him, so he was still considered outnumbered. Let's see if he can get anything done with this revenge, or is it going to go out of out of stock? No, GB, not able to actually get the follow-up from that because the Shugoki actually countered Tote with the excellent peel just in time. Eternus ends up dropping because even more hitbox is coming in. Toa, heavy strike. Hug gets countered though, excellent dodge from Harmony. Set mix, tries to interrupt, but Toa was out of range. The Shugo his legs were a little bit too stubby to get the hug. And he got interrupted again. Toa's an having an absolute weezer of a gank right now. Yeah, I think he got interrupted by Set Mix's off big swing and axe then. So, but he has managed to make it out safely to go and heal, I think. Yeah. He's gone today and he's boosting and healing. So, it's not all all bad news for Toji. There are, but it's bad news for Zetmix. Um, mm -hmm. And, yeah, we have an execution for Franz. Looking, not looking great for um, the L... Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call them L Collectors. I'm just sure. going to call them L Collectors. That's their team. Yes. Right. <laughs> Call yourself a thing. Um, no confirm error on that. Um, I feel like that was a communication error because, I mean, really, Solip should have confirmed that unblockable top heavy. But I guess they're leaving him now in a 1v1 whilst revenge stacks on. Gets a kill, gets his um, bounty hunter proc as well. Wrong button, there we are. Legion to get catapulted away. We're going to see fighting on the mid as well, so let's go to the wide cam. Re actual retreat called here. Oh no, a counter rotation, but two members of Mistake Correctors to stop Darrow from actually being able to get a back cap, which is very important because two... Oh, actually, it might have been the other way around. Maybe it was a call from RMG to send someone over to stop Legion and Toep from actually healing. Nice little yes, bit of I macro. Yeah, I Yeah, um... That's, so he, we saw that Darrow got that demon ball and used his recovery to go and and um, just go catch this point. And Legion and Toti had to run back here with no health to mm. um, to contest to contest the cap. So yeah, but it's, triple, it's still a triple cap in favor of um, state collectors. Although, as I say that, it goes that A is captured by RNG. Friends eating a massive raider heavy, a raider zone. You know that they are they are chunky. Mm -hmm. Indeed. But it's the match is looking pretty even now, actually. Again, it could yeah. go either way. There's only a slight hard point lead for RMG, and I say slight because this is Harbor, a map where you can get a double cap pretty fast. And like you said, with the new uh, testing grounds rules, hard points can be generated at a snap. Do we see? I think. Do we see that? Uh, Solid's roll underneath a 
<laughs> I think we saw Sonic roll underneath an enemy kunai, which then hit the <laughs> hit the allied yeah. Jaden. And him. <laughs> Kunais are haunted in this tournament, apparently. There, there is. I love it. I love they are murdering Zoom. everyone tonight. It's such a, it's it's so it's so refreshing to see such a uh, see Orochi played at tournament level. Yeah, I mean I mean hell, Oscar, one of the old like s turn to skeleton age level for honor players, one of the original Orochi mains, came back to the game to stream for a bit. You know, shout out to hmm. Okay, awesome. Yeah, Oscar's back in town. You know that's notable because of Orochi's that's very good. Notable. I was joking about him potentially being playing in the tournament today, and that was a joke. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to see Oscar back. That'd be great. Locks. Oh, uh, ship damage. Headbutt. More chip damage. Darius got to be very careful here. From Toti there. Toti's been on the ball with Juggernaut Pops. And we're really using them really well. Um, oh, no. Someone punished Dero! Oh. He was around the corner. Uh. Dog the longbow. Was that a backwards longbow shot? Because I didn't see anything come out the front. Uh, I just think. I don't know. I, I mean, maybe. Um, Possibly. Feats are haunted. I thought just dodged it. Excellent um, roll there from Toa, having the the battle awareness to see an uh, Eternus coming from the side, and he's able to get out f actually alive because of that. Wait. Who? Oh no, Solips is. Oh my goodness. Oh, Solips got. So Eternus killed his Dero mm -hmm. teammate, and then Solips got a, a, a kunai kill as well. That went from being a 3v1 to a 1 to a now 2v2 in like a snap. I bet there's going to be some interesting cons if Darrow has like something interesting to say. Yes, I imagine there's probably some vicious cons where they were. That's a longbow! Longbow from Darrow King. Ah, uh, He's got projectile feats too, he's saying. Indeed. Set mix being chipped to death. There's a kunai! <laughs> Uh, anyone living in the harbor area in game right now, please close your windows and lock your doors. There's way too many <laughs> iron projectiles flying around right now. I mean, it makes it really hard to know what's going on in comment commentary when there's uh, kunai's flying around like and bows. Wops. There's two kunai's long bows. Everybody's got them. Next nowadays. hero needs to have a trophy system. Just anti-projectile net. Something. Yeah. Well, we also got a shotgun as well for the Shinobi. Oh yeah, um, true. There is the shotgun. Set mix. New iframes on. That was really nicely played then from Darrow. We got the guard break on set mix, and then target swap the light to interrupt the punish from from Franz, hmm. which is a good stall. Good stall there. We saw hit. We saw the raider of attackers breaking. That's oh, not sorry. good. That means mistake correctors are breaking. Heavy. He's out of, there is out of stamina. He can't contribute anymore to this gank until he gets it back. We're actually going to be into a rally situation. Yep, call that. Rally situation is going to be very handy. Franz is that trying to back up here as quick as he can to get HP or at least get some backup because Lee Sano is harassing him so hard. There's the parry as well. This is risky business. That was, that was really, I mean, I'm not sure if it's poor awareness from mistake collectors or just really good uh, positioning from RMG, but they kept all four of mistake collectors in the mistake correctors in mid to potent stop them from going and uh, catching that Attackers either back cap. And whilst they did manage to take a point, it's not enough now and they're still breaking. So that was really well played from RMG and I don't think, I mean, it's possible that Legion and Toti can pull it, pull it back from here, but I think it's extremely unlikely. Yeah, Toti. Especially now they've both walked away from their point, so you know, even when they do get breaking. Yeah, they weren't able to get any healing. Ah, architecture striking once again, killing Toti. And that's going to be a two-one to RMG with mistake correctors going out. So see what Legion's Legion's um <laughs> Legion's Orochi was certainly seemed like he was very angry. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Around like that. <laughs> all, all I'm gonna say in that regard is any any communications right now that can be audible from Legion, probably not PG thirteen. Probably not PG thirteen. Absolutely not PG thirteen. So we will be going on to have a winners final, which is the best of five. 
and it'll be RNG versus Minimizers. But those were some crazy close games um, for uh, the mistake collects in RNG. So, like, we can, we can, we there's a definite possibility of seeing them back uh, that uh, a rematch of that in the losers in the losers brackets. Yes, indeed. So, we will, we will see if that's what we get. So, best of five, like you said. In that case. I need to go take a small break, have a stretch, because we got a Good bit call. of a marathon. I will see if I can get anybody up to come and have a chat with us. Although, I think everybody's got matches now, so they probably won't. I'll just, All right, I'll so just talk be up, yeah. Talk I'll, I'll keep the uh, the audio live on stream while I'll be RB. All right. So, anybody in chat got questions for me? Um, or anybody from Teams want to come and join, join the commentary? Let me know. I need something to talk about. You guys enjoying these? The, the, these matches seem different to you compared to live live game. Thoughts? I'm just gonna let me talk to myself. I do I do do like talking to myself, so that is something that I will be doing. Um, what do I think of the match length compared to of TG Meta Live? That is a good question. We definitely in the first week, it definitely seemed like they were longer. But when they've changed the points gain from mid, I would say it's gone back to being quite close to what the live games are like. Um, but yeah, they're probably about the same, I'd say now. But definitely they were longer in the first week. I, oh, having said that, we have seen some matches where they seem to have gone on Brages. Maybe that's just because there's constant action with the con contesting is happening all the time and there's less downtime and maybe that makes it feel like it's going on longer. Um, but I think they have been... Um, they are about back to normal. Uh, any other questions from chat? I'm trying to see if we can get anybody from... Is the Orochi pick surprising? So, Orochi has been picked in uh, the people who have been screwing with Orochi recently, so I don't think he's that surprising, no. And if you look at Barra's tier, Barak's recently put a tier list video out on YouTube, and he's put Orochi as A tier, along with JJ and Jen Hu. So, um, Orochi has lots of recovery count, like, you can dodge recovery cancel everything, um, which makes him very safe and difficult to punish in team fights. Pardon me, unless you've got undodgeables, and even then, if you've got undodgeables, he's going to be deflecting those um, and getting those sweet montage points. So he's got good peel because he's got his four dodge light. It's very hard to run away from him. He can chase down. He got probably the best chase in the game, other than Shaman, with his. Um, in fact, probably, probably it's probably even better than Shaman's with Storm Rush because it's undodgeable. And it just goes forever. If you do four dodge, four dodge storm rush, you'll just go on and on and catch anybody running away from you. Um, and the worst you're eating is a heavy parry punish, which isn't really that bad. Um, he's got really good peel with his four dodge lights. His zone's nice. He's got kind of fancy, fancy feats. He's got his kunai, which is we've seen a lot of a lot of use of the kunai. Um, his tier four fear itself is 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 good. It's very strong, strong feat for team fights at the end the game and slip through buffs his damage dramatically which is it's 40 percent damage buff every time you dodge which is crazy considering that all of orochi's move all of orochi's move, best moves come from a dodge so you're basically buffing your damage semi-permanently by 40 40 percent which is a massive buff which is why you're seeing the orochi's running that rather than longbow Although we have seen some of the combo as well, so maybe I'm talking out of that. Okay, I am back. Oh, you're back. Fresh water. All good. Use the, co the commentator's royal throne. And now we are waiting for the eye to appear. Indeed. I think we'll be having... It'll be... Oh, I can look at the maps for... I'll go check these maps out. So, we have... Um, Temple is being picked, the first one. Okay. You have a ban banner on Overwatch, Temple is picked, then Sanctuary Bridge, and then Harbour, and then High Fort is the designer. Alright. So, 
Temple, Sank, Harbour. Like, but there's only four. Is there anything one? Yeah, they, okay. They, okay. Yeah, they have, they're having difficulty picking maps themselves, so no wonder I'm confused. Um, we have Temple, Sanctuary, Harbour, and then High Fort, and Citadel Gates as the decider if it goes out of five. Right, sir. So I'm really interested to see how this match goes because we will have a very different, two very different compositions if they don't switch out the characters they're picking. Because Kyoshin and Shinobi versus instead of JJ and um, who's the other one they've been picking? Shinobi? Um... um Oh god, now I'm mentally blanking. Like, JJ, instead of Orochi. Yeah. So, so it'll be, um, there'll be, it'll be a, it'll be, if the if the picks are the same, it'll be Goki and Raider on both teams, and then, a, a, um, Shinobi and Yoshin versus Orochi and JJ. I think. Hmm. Unless I'm unless I'm remembering remembering incorrect. We'll see how and. It, as a, just an update on the bracket as well, we've had Inconsistence have been knocked out by Participation Medal. That was a 2-0. And currently we have, in the lower bracket going on, we have Nam Gloria versus Participation Medal and Mistake Cor Correctors versus CSA. The CSA are um, Herman and Hiran <laughs> and Dublord. And somebody whose name I don't recognize because it's full of numbers. Da ha ha. XD ha ha four twenty sixty nine. So you know, a real gamer. <laughs> a real gamer. DM. <laughs> Drug. <laughs> All right. Yeah, mistake collectors. Yeah. Um, is it in mistake collectors any worse than L collectors? I mean, either either or. I mean, it gets the job done. Both, yeah. You can make a mistake and still win. Um, and then we say your best way to learn is from your mistakes, right? So if you're collecting mistakes, you're learning a lot. True. On the other hand, there's probably a point where you're still collecting mistakes when one arguably would should be collecting fewer. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so still on the eye... Toti, well played, by the way, Toti. I liked your um, your uh, juggernaut uses really, really good uses go. of juggernaut on your on your Goki, particularly. Lots of usage, lots of usage of juggernaut to beat block stun setups of ganks. I think it's very nitty. Completely so well, well. off topic, but just thinking about juggernaut for a second. Why is juggernaut a tier two, but yet slippery is a tier four? <laughs> Considering the power of juggernaut these days. Well. The, the reason is because guard breaks are so good from neutral, right? They're just crazy good. And when the game launched, nobody could counter guard breaks, so Slippery was an amazing feat. I do sincerely and hope that's not been updated in five years. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going, we, you know, going back to that point we talked about earlier of there being certain heroes, or the, the way heroes are judged now, that it's not a case of them being bad, it's more of a case of other heroes being better options. However, there are a few heroes in this game who are outright bad, and it often can be because their feats are bad alongside their kit. Uh, there's a cut, Jormungandr and Shaolin, two of them, that do have the bad kits, but also some pretty bad feats, like slippery level. I think doesn't Sha let me actually quickly use yeah, yeah Shaolin does Shaolin has slippery. Has yeah. slippery. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Which was which was like I mean, slippery was a meme when the Wu Lim were released. So the fact that Shaolin got it and not something like I don't know auto revive or something uh, like even auto revive is kind of meme, but like really I don't know why anything what what possessed them to to put Slippery on a character. Oh, now I'm sad. Max in chat. Why are we talking oh. about Sheldon with Max in chat? We're just going to make him sad. He's going to get his den, son. I, I believe in I believe one, he'll be one of the next One day, 
One day, Shaolin's gonna get a rework that makes him good, makes him viable, and that is the day the baseball cap and ears returns to the game. But until then, Beguiler remains in exile. Oh, it reminds me, I've read your thingy, Maguila. He sent me a, he sent me a really cool rework of Shinobi. The, of Shinobi, of, of, ooh, of Shaolin, obviously. And I read it, and I actually really like it. I just haven't had a chance to reply to you because of getting my accounts hacked and everything. Hmm. Um, so, question mark. But I think they can make Sh Shaolin fun. Like, we've seen how fun testing ground Shinobi is with backflip off everything that's that's fun and and, and uh, Orochi with dodge cancel of everything. Just I let him, like... Key work, key sounds work in the same way, and then he'll be really fun. That's the thing, though. Like the the problem with with Chowlin is he's not fun because his move set isn't great. He's not fun because he's not viable. Like he feels great to use, but however, he just needs to be viable to be fun at all. I have fun playing Shaolin in like my basic MM games because I can hit people with a stick that's got like really cool physics, and I can do crushing counters and stuff. <laughs> but he just needs yeah. to be good at high level, which is the important bit. Speaking of high level, though, Spaniard, winners finals. Winners finals. Winners finals. Best of five. And uh, I think I've mentioned the maps again, so I'm not yep. going to do it again. I can't remember what they were. All good. <laughs> um, and yeah, we. So uh, the picks are as I remembered. So we Identical. have Arupi and JJ versus Kyoshin and Shinobi. So these are, if on paper. The RMG have got the superior comp here, hmm. so I am really interested to see if they, if um, if uh, Mini Meisters can pull this out of the bag, because they in scrims they have been doing really well, but they haven't been playing testing ground scrims as much with Sh Shinobi, so they've been playing a Ro Tetsuo has been playing Orochi instead. Hmm. So if he can make the Shinobi pick work, um, it will be really really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, and they did They made it work last time. So, yeah. Now we are seeing the same split they performed. The RMG used against L collectors hmm. last time, except now Normie is Defense getting trapped between so no. all four of them, and they haven't had a chance. So oh no, they have got mid. There we go. Oh, Kuoko is, is Normie. Oh yeah, Kwaku's normally they change their names all the time. It's really confusing. It's the worst. But yes. So we'll I we'll know. see the results of that ex uh, additional use of that weird rollout once we see this fight play out in full. Antonio already down to half HP, or actually below half HP, actually. Dero though, his opposing number on the Shugoki gonna be there soon. Antonio gets clipped hard by Harmony. Harmony with a very fast target swap, dash heavy. Eternus is chasing, and now the fight is starting to split into multiple discrete ones, Spaniard. Yes, and that we saw then, I mean, Tetsuo did manage to catch up to Eternus before he got down, but that is one of the disadvantages that Shinobi has versus Orochi. He has much worse chase. Um, he's got his double dodges into, into forward heavy, but that's not really all that. And that is, if it was Orochi, Eternus wouldn't have been able to get out anywhere mm. close. And he did land a heavy, I think, on Tetsuo before he could he went back into mid. So that is one of the advantages we'll see with Shinobi again. But then, oh, massive damage coming out. And and then, and yeah, well, Quaco gets a kill. A big, big win here for um, big dubs. Mini Meisters. Yeah. Big dubs all around. Yeah, it's not a complete L for RMG because they do possess a slight lead in hard points, but that is going to rapidly shrink to basically equal standing. What cares Tetsuo, Tetsu, is going to be leading the charge in mid. It, I understand why you want Shinobi in the mid, especially after the new Renown changes, because Shinobi, his zone is actually a pretty good mid clearer. Unironically, that helicopter spin, wide range. Great stuff. Nice bait there with parry. You only use the light punish off it rather than the... Um, I mean, he's going up to pa back out now. I think that's quite a good play for him. Yeah, agreed. Get some extra HP. His team's gonna need healing soon, especially Clutch, oh, who keeps getting fucked no. like this. Yeah. Clutch, absolutely. I mean, he, he tried to get out of there, point to support the back cap, and just lost his entire health bar for us. I, I don't know if that was... I mean, that was well played from Darrow. Really good timing to make sure those four dodge heavies would catch. And Quaco is actually pulling out a... Um, a really good anti-gang. Got two kills on, on the members of RMG then. And now is 
looks like he's doing all right in his 1v1 against Delray. Someone needs to come assist him and allow him to go heal. Otherwise, he's going to get minced here if he's not careful. Really nice off-target heavy there. Getting, flipping Dero, but I think he's going to be... Well, we'll see how he, how he manages. Here's the backup, this. finally. Yeah. Well played there. And we saw Please. there a really nice... Something that Raider has that's really good against Orochi in this meta is that he can he has extremely long side dodge distances and he can externally guard against Orochi's dodge lights and just dodge away from him and really neutralize that pressure completely. Whereas characters that have dodges that guards that follow their dodge or have shorter side dodges like, uh, for example, what's his face? Uh, Goki's got a really short side dodge range. He's always going to get caught by Orochi's kick yeah. doing that. But... Um, Something that Ray, something that Ray can do that the, the others can't. Ooh. Nice. Shinobi tried to stop, actually launch the Raider into the Jang Jun to buy himself some time, but wasn't able to. Excellent parry. Getting his self back into a corner if he's not careful. Guard break. Excellent. That's the button you need to press against Shinobi these days. Just press yeah. the guard break button. Although that did end up feeding enough revenge that we're going to possibly see a 100-0 gank. No! Wait, what? why did Dero just get uh, bumped so, there? So what happened there, he he tried to confirm it with a light, but it's a pin. It's a pinning move. So ah. it doesn't it doesn't have the... It won't um, do the pinning reaction on third hit stun. On sec, or sec, second oh, hit stun. Oh, yes, the one. second and third hit stun rules. That's a thing. Bye-bye, Levi. Nice to see you. Enjoy the water. And... Yeah, and we're tra trading home points though. Um, Tetsuo in a one v one and about to. Well, we just arrived just in time to see him getting chopped pi chopped pieces. Okay. That's um, actually a good trading home point. Sorry to cut in, but that's a really good point to actually mention real fast because it would influence some of the fights. What is the second and third hit stun rule for those people that don't know? Okay, yes. So if you receive your first damage hit that hits you does normal damage as you expect. If another attack lands at the same time as you. Or within the hit stun of the first one, you take 25% damage. And if if that attack causes additional hit stun, any a third attack that then lands will do 75% uh, have 75% damage reduction and only do 25% damage. So that is the third hit stun rule, which means that you can only ever really land one attack off um, a, a a heavy, for example. Yeah. But another thing that happens is that pinning attacks don't will bounce off third hit stun. And if you do third hit stun, you won't be able to. Your pinning attack won't. It won't happen, which is what we saw there with. Um, that with example. The little rain not catching. Yeah. So that is important these days. Admittedly, oh, <laughs> that was bullying. But we, that is important to know. While we're not going to be seeing pinning with like Centurion and Gladiator outside of the first map of the day with Team B pulling out Centurion. The only pinning I think we're actually seeing is is from Shugoki, unless Kyoshin's uh, uh, Fujin cuts is technically counted as pinning. Yes, they do. Oh, okay. Um, and Shinobi's uh, Sickle Rain, and also Orochi's Storm Rite is a pinning move as well. So, and oh, yeah. we also have, <laughs> and we also have a Raider's or Dodge, uh, you know, his, his Stampede Charge. So, actually, pinning moves on pretty much everybody. Okay. Um, I keep forgetting it's fine. Stormbrush doesn't look like a traditional pinning move, but yeah, it no, is it technically like a pinning move. I mean, it is technically a thing. Ah, uh, there's the bug. Plate from what there's there. I've, I'm, I'm, I know we've been talking about other stuff, whilst you know, I'm really glad you have the camera on him, because yeah. he's just doing such amazing work, back flipping in and out, confirming, like, doing these amazing pseudo ganks where he does bash, roll, bash, and confirms an ally heavy on each one of them. Um, it just really, really fun, really fun to watch. So, yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Good, good spectation target. Thank you. Good yeah. kind of work. I wanted to at least keep it on frame while we were laying out some of the ground rules because it is easy, even in a testing ground environment, to forget some of the more cool rules that are now being influenced by testing grounds. Like we're going to be seeing more pins because of Shinobi and more people being viable because of the te the renown changes. So having the fundamentals be known is one good to know for spectating, but two. Just playing. If you guys want to know more about this kind of thing, like the weird little eccentric rules that For Honor doesn't teach you, that's definitely a dojo topic at some point that can be done. Yeah. Um, we saw the same thing happening with the pinning stuff there. Um, we saw that another lot, unblockable sicker rain, didn't get a pin. Mm. And actually, Tetsuo, I mean, you can time it correctly so that you land in the exactly in the 100 ms where you can no longer parry, but it's not <laughs> not in hit some. Oh, that <laughs> demon ball into. Revenge, Revenge lock go burr. <laughs> that was 
That was horrible. <laughs> yeah, that's an example of another unwritten rule, revenge locking. Uh, there's certain moves that will just stop you from pressing the revenge button, and Demon Ball is one of them. It is indeed, yeah. Uh, that being excellently used there by RMG to kill off their opposing numbers. Although, that's a tier 4 Shugogi, Antonio raging with the knockdowns. Set up, the knockdown, too much revenge being fed however, and reinforcements have arrived for RMG. Yeah, and if uh, I think this, there we go, uh, RMG, the, the reinforcement, that, that revenge feed and reinforcement were absolutely critical. They don't think they would have won that team fight. Look uh, at the points. Especially the Goku, he's got his tier 4 up, um, if, if it weren't for that. Yeah, they're real close. Though, the means... points are really close. That could have been a breaking if that went bad. That could have been breaking yeah. for RMG. Yeah, I mean, the Renown's really close, but the points are definitely in favor of um, RMG. the Mini Meisters today. Oh, it, yeah, it's Mini Meisters that are in the lead. RMG are the ones that break. Bro, what's hard? That's a Fire Flask thrown by Quaco that won't end up killing what cares if he stays on the outside. Yeah, and I'm going to be... Uh, uh, that kill there gave enough points to put them into breaking. It was really unfortunate. Um, but this is a critical... If they can win this fight on C, good read from Normie there. If they can win this fight on C, this is like... Major... Arrow style! Value! More arrows though! Arrow for oh, arrow! No. Arrow for arrow, and then... This is gonna be... They're gonna be breaking... With this counter breaking... Timer scammed again! We saw the same thing... Oh, what a... What a comeback! Antonio making a good read on that Storm Rush. Really good tier 4 usage here. This is really, I mean, Antonio's in a really dangerous rally. spot here. They managed to rally. They did just enough points from clearing mid to rally. This is, it's going to get it's so close. There we are. The bush, the heavy, this is the gonna be another kill into breaking, though. Mm. Execution to breaking. Wasn't quite. Yeah, wasn't fast enough. enough. No. Yeah, he's going to get the, re the respawn. Now, it, this is all or nothing. I don't think we're going to see... A rally. There were that was an arrow there from the back line. Alas, not able to find it. What cares tried to throw it from the back. Everyone's regrouping, and now it's an absolute party on C. That's going to be the first fatality of the breaks. That's going to be Mini Meister's uh, Shinobi going down on the point. However, Antonio Defender is going to be using his tier four, I believe. Oh no, that's Dero using tier four. Gets Dero interrupted by Antonio. Four. Great interruption. Stops the knockdown and the bow on top Whoa, of that. that comes out. Oh no! This is this is a really really dangerous situation for Antonio and yeah. And the, normally they go down. I think we've got. What, yeah, it doesn't have the stamina. Alive on... Just bash for the heavy. Bush for heavy harmony. No, he got the res. What is happening? There's the bush. Full heavy combo knocks him down again. That's death. That's what they needed right there. Lean on the tier four activation. And first map goes in favor of RMG. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was so back and forth. I, like, that was a crazy match. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at those point scores. They ended up with a point difference of, <laughs> of what? My brain's 40 me. maybe at most? 30? Or no, like 50 to 40 at the lowest end? No, oh, you're talking about renown difference. Yeah, I meant renown. The, the actual score difference. Oh, it's, score. It's okay, no, yeah. 10. Bloody hell, yeah. It's 10. 12, 12 points. There we go. 12 points difference. Oh, my goodness. I'm enjoying the testing. At least this tournament so far has been this close in matches that haven't resulted in just feats everywhere. Yeah. Yes. That's another really good point. I'm really enjoying. I'm, I'm, I like I'm sort of, if I sort of stop occasionally talking and just going slack jawed at the screen. I'm just getting caught up in the moment. It's mm. crazy. Like these have been they've been so close. I think I don't think there's been a single match that we've seen after I think maybe one of Minimice's matches. Uh, I think the previous one was quite there's a big difference, but the rest have all been crazy close right to the end. Um sorry, I just want to quickly answer a question from Alex Aunt, who okay. is asking um what does it take to become a caster? I mean, if you have things you want to say, um, you know, just hop into the lobby and we'll uh, into the the Dom Cast lobby voice chat, and we can bring you in. Um, a disclaimer, though, this isn't like the last uh, like D Dominion series. Where we're going to have a twenty-five man desk. We're mainly pulling no, people no. in who are either actively playing in the tournament, like who play in the tournament, or people connected to this tournament, like coaches, yes, that sort of thing. Yes. 
So I, I mentioned that because Alexand is a is a is plays and plays competitive duels quite a lot. Mm. So he's not he's not a nobody. Um, not that anybody's a nobody. I'm, I'm being really harsh, being throwing shade around. You know what? Let me give you the abandoned thread option. Let's let's be our yeah. be off the comms <laughs> for a moment and just chill our voices while we wait for the eye to appear. Sound good? I need to get a drink. So, yeah, sounds good. I need a drink. Be right back, folks. See you when the eye appears. We are back for map number Hello. two of the winners' finals here at the Dojo. Verbalosity and Filthy Spanning here on the call. And we Hello. do not have a composition swap. No, everything is identical. Yeah, everything's the same. We've got Shinobi hiding behind that raider. Um, and it's currently 1 0 to RMG. So I'm, I'm not sure if maybe the um, Shinobi Kyoshin picks are not performing as well i mean uh, they are like on paper at a, a, a composition disadvantage because jj's big swing and unblockables and orochi's peel are things that that shinobi and kyoshin can't quite ca like keep up with but considering how close the last match was i'm not sure i can really say that it's one composition better than the other one because like, I mean, it, it was so close that it's it's hard to say to put like, oh, they lost because of this. You know? Yeah, it's it's Cause... tough because Kyoshin is advertised, you know, when you see him play, it's like he's a defensive powerhouse. He wants people to attack his guard with regular attacks and then he can counterattack. But Kyoshin can access a lot of his tools even without someone necessarily attacking him. We've seen Clutch try and utilize that to, for various ganks. So maybe yeah, he has very good game. So perhaps maybe it's more of a case of something simpler. Perhaps just a bad macro call here and there, or even simpler than that, just losing the fight in the moment. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Like the execution that puts you into breaking, and it was a real. They were they were they were heads. They were ahead so much, and then when they had they kind of lost momentum. Yeah. Um, right, going back into the fight in mid. And the classic Sank Bridge classic. Defenders captured zone the classic Sank Bridge classic. It's so classic, you classic it twice. 
Dero, yeah. low on stamina, scratch that, out of stamina, gets clocked for his trouble. Immediate peel by Libia Sardo, fantastic battle awareness there. To get you, you've got to have that game sense to know that, oh dear, my teammate's being hit, I'm a fast character, I can do something about it. And because of that, Dero is not going to immediately be dead. Oh, two for one special on the Raider Heavy! That was so, that was, could have gone so badly wrong. Um, what happened there was, I think, t uh, Normie tried to do the zone into zone max pa max punish on a, on a back throw. Mm. But he input, if you input it too early, you do a light. And that's exactly what happened. And the light prevents knockdown. So then he didn't get the second zone. But then Antonio threw an attack, which confirmed it as well. So it was, that could have gone, that could have gone the other way. Yeah. With one instant difference and clutch gets a kill there as well nicely done he's doing his thing which he loves to do which is stalling on the enemy's home point i've seen him do this on this map a lot good read stays in the kaze stance and now he can get the full gank alongside the shugoki i don't think they get 100 to zero before either revenge or an ally arrives i think they stopped before getting letting him get full revenge there so that was actually really really good play because now they're in a 2v1 uh, sorry 2v2 that revenge like is ah. off. unfortunate. I think he must have tried to react to that parry flash and uh, didn't quite manage to do it this time. Hmm. Unfortunate. Parry's Good parry from Antonio. Antonio reaction monster. Too many indicators. Plus he got caught dodging. Or oh, reinforcements have arrived though. Harmony is really loving that specific lantern execution just to keep people locked in execution jail for even longer. Harmony adores that execution. Yeah, he does love it. Oh, Tetsuo absolutely, like... Rinsing, just potentially? Just impossible to pin down. Uh, and doing really well to stay alive in that situation. Obviously, Shinobi still only has 110 health. So, he's... Despite being slippery, he can die quickly. Um, and I think that's what we saw there. If one heavy attack is enough to really just... Put, put an end to, hmm. to his life because it just it confirms all things. Oh, Clutch is going to go down. Ow. Big damage. We saw the super armor from Demon Ball playing into him landing that stunning tap into Chain Zone. Absolutely insane damage. I mean, I, I really I can't wait for that move to get nerfed because super armor on anything is just so strange nowadays. Yeah, that's unfortunate. A bit of a relic of a bygone age. Yeah. Back to mid, though. We saw it. We were spending a lot of time on C, so we'll hop back to mid where Antonio was trying to tend to the minion garden. There is going to be reinforcements coming in from both sides. Antonio has revenge almost ready, but he can't get an extra tag or two required to really lock it in, so he's going to take the smart option to move back. We've got Quaco going to be using the inspiration to try and buff himself and his minions up alongside his fellow teammates to try and get some extra damage applied to the forehead of the enemy. Now going into the 1v1 with oh. Dero. Yeah, something we saw just a, just a moment ago, I think I wanted to call back to what I mentioned in the previous match about how Raiders' sides were really good. So, um, the uh, defender Raider, I think it's Turner's, yeah. did a side dodge away from Shinobi, Shinobi's forward, dodge roll, forward roll mix up. And even though the Shinobi did the undodgeable, undodgeable heavy correctly, he made, so he made the wrong read essentially, mm. um, he was able to go, get far enough away that the undodgeable heavy actually missed. So, you know, that's one of the benefits of Raider having <laughs> okay. really long Okay, Quaco should be dead, but Architect just screwed Eternus. I'm just declaring that now. Qu this man oh, should be dead right now. Oh, nice read on that parry. Oh, come on. Clean Get up your business, good. Eternus. There we come go. On. There he goes down. Really close stuff, What's though. The and spread? then finally we're seeing a push on the home point of the defenders, mm. which... Uh, He's thought better of it. Fair enough. I just realized I've had the team names the one going around this whole time. Whoopsie. There we are. Fixed it. Back to the fight itself. Antonio, once again, on the home point. So, okay, I've got to call this out. It is so bizarre to me to see constant 1v1, you know, 2 by 2 hurrah, hurrah, plowing onto the enemy home point. Yeah. But it's not the bad call, necessarily. This is at the start. It's such a weird yeah, paradigm so now shift. That... Yeah, now with the testing grounds the way they are, that's actually a really good play. I mean, okay, the worst thing that happens is you, you die, right? You give a bit of renown to the enemy for dying. I mean, it's not nothing. 
And if you're going to assist, you're going to give 30 renown. So that's the most you're going to give, essentially. Yeah. But you're contesting, so you're gaining renown the whole time, which is, all, which is more than boosting. And you're, and more importantly, you're preventing... <laughs> more importantly, you're preventing them gaining any hard points. So, yes, you lose a bit of a bit on the renown, but not nearly as much as you used to. And you stop them gaining any hard points by, being, by preventing them from boosting. Um, so... Like, I think that's the reason why it's a viable strategy, and I'm, I kind of wonder if this is, like, a big brain play from the devs, and not only does it improve, you know, it gives you, allows you to push the enemy points more at a high level, but also, on a casual level, you know, we know enemies love running, uh, you know, you, your, your casual players love running into enemy home points into mm. 3v1s, um, and now them doing that isn't necessarily a bad call. So I wonder if that was part of the their reasoning for those for that change. And if it is, they really have big brains. Going from big brains to rapid small incisions from the Orochi Shigoki combination. That's gonna clean that up. Really nice ganking there. Really nice. Order restored on C point, at least for now, but Look at the point total. I only just glanced up now. So much time has been spent defending their own home point. RMG has not been able to stop Mini Meisters from just basically playing Farmville. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying just, just a little bit earlier, that if you can run onto the enemy's point and stall there for long enough, and if you don't, if you have a mid as well, then they're just getting nothing. And even if you die a few times, who cares? Mm. And the renown difference at the moment isn't really... I mean, look, there's tier 3s on a couple of people, um, no tier 4s, whereas previously, RMG would have their tier 4s by now just by winning two fights on their home point. Um, but they don't have that feat advantage anymore in the testing grounds. Yep, more feats being deployed. Harmony only has the tier 1 available. Didn't have to run away after that. Quaco Revenge deployed. Revenge is gone. Clutch is going to keep Eternus locked down while Libya Sano is going to be fighting to keep control of the mid because they know if they lose the mid, breaking procedures will begin and RMG will be on the back ropes. If this mid come, Ah, oh, no. Antonio wasn't able to get the execution. One minion stopped that. And that's very get good down. because if the minion... The one. Get down, Mr. Yeah, President! It's literal get down, Mr. President, because if Antonio wasn't stopped, he would have inevitably done an incredibly long execution, right? And if he yeah. was able to do that, we would have seen a you know, a breaking overlap, that maneuver we've seen earlier on today. Yes, yeah. Um, like they are aware of it, and like using long executions just before you're about to break is a really a very strong tactic. Now we're seeing this. This is the kind of situation that previously on these maps, on this map, um, uh, Nemesis would have been, would have been into. Like they're Difference. getting the, the. Why isn't sorry? I've got Eternus has got Battle Cry. There we there go. There we go. All the minions run away. Free mid capture. Some suspect uh, feet usage. I'll admit, but they, there we are. Order is restored. Tier yeah, four. well, that's what Battle Cry does. Battle Cry makes all the minions fucking run away. Yeah, you would have um, imagined they would have used is... it faster. Yeah, I thought he was going to go for a little bit earlier, but maybe he was just waiting to get in position. Yeah. And um, now we're mathematically locked in place now in terms of breaking. You see the little lock icon on the top right of the screen? Yep. Now there's no physical unbreak for RMG. They've just got to completely man mode this for as long as hard as they can. That's the only way they can take a second point in this set right now. Yeah, um, but they, they... There's the oh there's the technique again! Using the Holy breaking crap. overlap. They just... They, they were just... That is... We were just <laughs> talking about that! Just talking about it! They now, they really need to break mid. And now, I bet now... Re the, look, Normie is running Fury. Mm. And doesn't have... Uh, it doesn't have Battle Cry to just get a free mid clear. If RMG can hold it back, the Fire Flash is gone. Is that enough to... Oh, they got back, sending a back cap. No, it wasn't enough to get the unbreak. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Rip Chuckle Brothers. Lunch yeah. <laughs> will be wanting on top while Normie's trying to do what he can in the mid. Oh, the big damage from that crushing counter. Like a 48 damage health swing. Arrow strike. Oh no, that's really bad. <laughs> that's one. Gets the scale, gets one. Leave Asana with the... With the Fear itself. Normie's still fighting in the mid. He just got a kill in the mid at the same time. This is coming down to the wire. This might be a 1v1 between Lee Bay and Normie at this rate. Normie, Normie's going. He's going. Hello? Oh, no. What happened? For honor, what why? Happened? What happened? What? Okay. 
Apparently, we're not allowed to get hyped about the results. Oh, come on. Why? <laughs> Oh, we've got, have we got Clutch's stream, maybe? We're available uh, to go Yeah, okay, we're just gonna YOLO it. Uh... I need to find out what happened then, and also probably for, like, score reporting. Yeah, okay, let me, let me, uh, I can, I've got a backup here. I can pull the stream up. Uh, here we are. That's an advert. I don't want an advert, I need the score. Who fucking rage quit then, at the end of the map? When, and... Was it a rage that's quit? What happened. Someone rage quit. Co Left the lobby and then killed the, killed the. Okay. Oh, Norm no, Normie's game crashed? crashed. Okay. No. no. Oh. oh no, that's awful. Well, shit. Oh man. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, at <laughs> least that was at the end. Oh wait, no, that was even worse because oh, no, it was a one v one. That's even worse. That yeah. No, oh. no, that was the one v one. We almost had our clutch one v one finish. Well, well, I poop. would have won, yeah. Because normally crash, you would have died. Oh, that is that sucks. So disappointing. So, oh, I'm really sorry about that. Can you get confirmation on? Is it a two zero right now? I mean, yeah, it's two zero. I mean, there's, I, uh, I don't know what to, to. I mean, they didn't raise a dispute in. Yeah, and that's just. I feel bad though. That's bollocks. Like, I mean, I, honestly, I they should dispute that and replay it because that is that is. You, too close to call. That's too close to call. I'm in. I'm going to tell them to do that actually in in their stream because that is, like, you can't call. You can't call a match. Yeah, that is probably the first time I've seen a match in Frona where a re a, a replay right at the end of the match might be valid because that was a yeah, literal one v one finish. And they don't have to necessarily if they don't want to if they don't want the tournament to run longer. But that is the first example I've seen of a. Of someone could actually make the case for that. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'm gonna like, they need to raise a dispute and ask for it, but if they ask for it, that would be a replay. Like, no, no, no doubt. All right, we're gonna make them do a duel. Maybe, I don't know. Tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we totally fucking could. Because there's could. no reward. There's yeah. reward at the end. We could. There was no respawn. <laughs> there was no revive there. That was. Okay, oh. so to explain for people in chat while we are molding live on stream, that that second map of that set came down to a 1v1 finish. Yeah, like Beguiler said, it's the Rocky 3 freeze frame of For Honor. And then, unfortunately, Normie crashed. So, something which should have been a 1v1 decider was decided by someone having a technical problem. Yeah, I mean, technical problem... <coughs> um, people have been... have raised... I'm not gonna. I don't want to say it on stream because that's. I don't want to pause. It's, it's a, yeah. Spe needless speculation, but it's all um, good. Yeah. Yeah. But, so well, they've, they've started the next match anyway. So okay, we're just we're like, plowing through. Okay, fine. They're just plowing through. I guess that's they. They feel like they can win three. They can win three in a row. I mean, power to them if they can. If I mean, I honestly feel like I would have given them. I would genuinely would have said they can do a one v one for the win. Yeah, one v one for the win. That'd be a new precedent, but I'd be down for that. But okay, so be it. Let us, we cannot you know, dwell on the what ifs for too long, although, you know. Yep, they've already started off, so we'll let them. We'll let them. We'll play it, it out. We'll play it out. All right. But yeah, genuine, genuinely, I would say, I mean, that, that was that was so close. You, they had neither, they'd all use their feet up. No, the right, the team, um, the re, was the teammate up, up there? Um, uh, maybe. Kind of the team We'd have to there. go back and watch what, however, let's not, let's not try and start doing yeah. rulings on stream. Like, let's. We're in the next match, well, so a bit. Yeah, what happened has happened. They've moved on. So unless they they didn't raise a dispute, they could have done. But um, yeah. Oh well. Like the idea, clutch clutch had just killed him, but Normie was close enough up there probably to contest yeah. a, uh, a a revive. Well, that is so. yeah, that is a decent point, Alex. Let's let's move on before I start putting myself into circles. Yeah. Well, they moved on anyway. Yeah. Matches. Um, that's happening. So. 2-0 on Harbour this time. So, oh, oh, damn, though. That would have been so clutch. Yeah. Oh. That would have been a love that first time in a while we've had a 1v1 decider match, but Harbour. Oh. Harbour. We're in. No composition swaps. Let's see what the rollout's going to be. Survey says... Well, I hope that the the Mini Meisters use that ending there as a, a you know, they really... They, 
double down on their resolve and really, oh, really pull it in for the. Okay, Darrow, gonna go for the 1v1, attempt on Antonio. Antonio is not in any extra position to uh, get stopped with a wrench because Eternus hasn't attacked him yet. So he's still getting just the two stack, but now with the rest of the teammates piling in from the rotations on mid, that's gonna allow things to equalize at least a little bit. No one in position to hold revenge just yet. Heavy swings from Antonio. Gonna keep Darrow locked down. This is a 3v3 that's gonna go to a 3v2 fast because Darrow will be the first fatality, followed swiftly by Libiasano over in the mid lane. Well, that was happening. Libiasano and Kawaka were fighting in the mid this whole time. And a complete <laughs> map clear for Mini Meisters. <laughs> Did you see what Tetsuo was doing? Like, <laughs> uh, over and know. over, forward dodging into kick. Put dodging to kick, and he was doing the same thing. He was like landing his forward kicks and flipping out of there without getting any punishes. Mm. I don't know if I was just like hoping to confirm ally heavies, but this is a very strong start for um, mini mices here. Yeah, with a triple cap and big point lead. So the first, first, first team fight goes to them. Hard point generation is at a steady but hasty pace. Darrow. Back in the old stomping grounds, has Lee Biasano to assist and Harmony. Everybody's here, never mind. Da, 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 da. RMG, here to assist. Antonio. Revenge? Yeah, that's going to be a problem if Clutch can get a single lock in with a couple of Fujin cuts. Lots of damage. Not all. Oh, Clutch got hit with that, got hit by Lee Biasano, but he couldn't respond with a counter because he was locked onto the wrong person, unfortunately. No, I think he just, I think he uh, fainted out of it and tried to dodge out. He was, ah, he yeah, play it safe. Okay, that makes much more sense. Well, yeah, and it was he should have he should have kept in because he would have got the counter. He just he just um he like thought they was going for a kick, dodged dodged and ate, ate the damage. Yeah, those judgment calls in the moment can be hard though. Yeah, especially on a map. Oh, yeah, like... no, I mean, that's not like uh, that's not at all a criticism of the man. Uh, hmm. Like Fair. these these kind of reads in these these uh oh look at that gank there. These kind of reads in these these situations are really hard to pull off. You know, like you know one bad read it happens and that's just how it is. Um, so, help me out here, Spaniard, for a sec. Now now that I've seen this more and more, I kind of want to see if this could be a thing. How, mu how much iframes were present in the last real meta? Like, how many characters had a ton of iframes in their movesets? Like, Sifu, Sh like, Shinobi, that kind of thing. I mean, before, in, in the last, um... Uh, well, I mean... The last real meta. The last major, in the last major, there were JJ. Obviously, JJ's got loads of iframes. Yeah. Um, on Sifu and his dodge attacks. Goki has... It's weird, it still seems weird to say, but Goki's kick... Goki's headbutt had loads of iframes. Yeah. And then Zhan Hu, who we haven't seen at all this tournament, which is a bit of a shame, um, has crazy... Also, like, you know, dodge cancels and everything, so he has quite a lot of iframes as well. But those were the main sources. This certainly... I do agree, though, if you were going to say that this... Um, Meta seems like a lot of iframes on everybody. Yeah, because we saw in that last fight on C, Shinobi was able to literally roll under Raiders Unblockable. One, it's cinematic as hell, but two, more like we're seeing iframes everywhere. So I could feel that might start influencing the way gank procedures are laid out if there's so many iframes so readily available. Yeah, but they also used... Oh, that was really well played. I mean, they messed up that Goki gank there. I, I would say like, three times in a row, and I'm amazing that they didn't manage to give revenge to um, to Antonio. He, he he's really really good use of Juggernaut. Nice light parry there. Really good use of Juggernaut. Positioned well to make sure he was out of range of the hug off wake ups, and like he, um, he, they just they just just the wrong with the guard break into unblockable. Um, here we go, in the blender, although yeah. positioning may screw Eternus over here a little bit. Oh, it did. oh, oh dear, that's... Positioning, one of the most important factors when it comes to a gank, especially when you look at the environment. If you're not in the right place, that something which should have been 100 to 0 like we saw there, ends up being someone gets revenge. Yeah, I mean, this is the disadvantage with Raider, because he has... His biggest damage moves have really wide hitboxes. That's the disadvantage of having really wide hitboxes sometimes, is that you're going to hit your ally, and it makes it a lot harder to position properly. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, yeah, that was that was one of the. That, compared to JJ, for example, who's not the other character in this meta who you're ganking with a lot of, the Raider has that as a bit of a disadvantage. So I'm getting pings from. Oh, well, good, yeah. If you need to respond to pings, by all means, I'll take no, them. No, no, they're not. They're not it's not a ping I need to respond to. Somebody's like, hey, what happened? 
<laughs> Stop being nosy. We're trying to do things. Oh, God, Harmony. Oh. He's going to get hit in the nose with an arrow shot there. Courtesy of Antonio. And so low health on everybody apart from what cares here. Um, they need to get out there and try and try and heal, I think. Bye bye. Oh, no. Ooh. Backflip garbage vulnerability. So much damage coming out there. Try and he goes uh. to the kick rather than trying to maybe like a full, a, should have backflip then instead, but take the long execution. But we're seeing that there's no, like, then even though RMG have been winning these team fights on nice deflect, seeing these winning these team fights on these points, they're not trans they're not converting those into into hard points until I guess now they take and see. Hmm. Attempted bow shot there from Darrow, but gets interrupted. Doesn't matter. Just get the one-two punch instead. Hyper armor on that attack, by the way. You need to be wary of. Bop, bop, bop. Single hit. Okay, good. I was... <laughs> what was that? Building? I was a little scared Antonio was going to be a bit too slow there, but he got it. the disadvantage of the really, really long executions. Very funny use of Juggernaut. Off. That was nice. Count the Juggernaut. <laughs> That's almost the same thing, except... Didn't. Yeah, a little Shotgun bit too slow on the draw. Everybody's dying from hyper armor for everybody. Any tier fours and anybody? I think we're all. It's all just like projectile yeah. tier twos and, and longbows and stuff. Yeah, at most it's tier threes. Yeah, Antonio, Clutch, Tetsu. There is a tier four for Antonio now. That just came online. Now, yeah. Testing. Oh god. And I'd say I'm amazed how well. Uh, RMG have been holding on. They were at such a massive points advantage to start off with. Yeah. That could oh, suck. Right. Ow! Oh, 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 from Tarot! Yes! Saved him, and that's a really, really big save. Because obviously, if he kills... There we go. Antonio's down. He, uses, he didn't get all the use out of his tier 4. That's really big. Fury popped here to give him a damn, uh, you know, defense bar. And while what happened getting the res in the background... I wonder if actually... Oh, a resin <laughs> <lobo. laughs> And Libe got screwed over by the architecture again! Normie swinging away. Well, I don't think he did get screwed over, actually. He managed to get survive with... Oh, that's nice. That's gonna well suck. One more GB. Ah, oh, a little bit too slow on the GB. Libe's gonna get revenge, but that's only gonna help you out for so long. There is enough reinforcements on the point to be able to kill him, even with that helping... He'd be able to slip his way out of the gank in the corner. He's still alive somehow. There's the shooting star. Okay, Tetsu had enough of that. <laughs> Use Kunai for shooting star trade. Hmm. Good dodge. Normie able to slip under return as his hitbox. Points have, the points have gone so much back in favor of um, RMG. RMG. They've really pulled it back. I don't yeah. know. This fight on this fight on A is just going on and on. Yeah. And nobody's able to capture points. And look, they're coming in again. It's not it's... gonna they're still not gonna cap this point. Screw it, we're going over to A. I'm making executive C, I'm making an executive decision. We're going over here, and of course the fight oh. ends immediately. <laughs> oh. We need a change of scenery. Clutch versus yeah, Eternus. And they are managing to cap A as well, by looks thing. Yeah. Defenders. That was Clutch. a scrap for Mini Meisters. Well played, well played Mini Meisters actually managing to pull it back there because it's because I guess in a small map like this, yeah. where capture points with you still need five and a half seconds to a capture point, it's really hard to win a fight and or, and get like enough time without getting a uh, rotation. Oh, that was a really good gank there. Mm. Without getting a rotation to come and uh, to contest the the recapture. One Normally, really stay on point here because if he he really can't lose this. Um, Libe needs to slow down. That's twice now he's accidentally screwed over oh. Darrow uh, hugging. Well, no, he doesn't matter. As we've seen, because Raven, because the bug on um, the the uh, what's his face, Demon Demon Ooh. Embrace doesn't give nice. Demon Embrace doesn't give uh, revenge tags on on missing. He can actually just carry on, just going for confirms, and and he'll basically won't feed revenge until he lands. It's not a revenge thing, though, anymore. Like, right now, this is a time management issue. Yeah, like, the way yeah. this match is going, revenge is out the window to an extent. Now it's time efficiency. You need to get the enemy off the point as quickly as you can. Darrow, though, speaking of 
feet. We're going to be actually, or re not revenge. Uh, now we're going defeat territory. Tier 4 used. Darrow knocking people all over the shop. The JJ tier 3 there. JJ tier 3 oh. saving Darrow's life and winning that fight for them. There's revenge. On the one. Pop. GB. Confirmed. Go for the easy one. You've got a wall. That means full punish. <laughs> Still not enough to actually get the kill. To get the point capture. They've got to be careful with mid going. Mid's going to be generating points quickly for Fury Flask coming out there. We're starting to see the tier fours, but there's a tier, there's a Fury Flask is also available on the opponent side. Yes, I'm a little concerned about that. We'll see how that ends up functioning. But we'll see what cares. He wasn't able to use iframes because that wasn't a dodgeable attack. A dodgeable goes through iframes. Deflect. Wise choice not to opt to use the teleport. That would have gotten Tetsu killed there. Tries to go for the double side dash, but a little bit too early. Doesn't mean he gets a deflect get, frames. Be, no, I don't want him to be breaking into being executed. Oh, thank goodness they get mid just. back again. Sorry. I've just seen I've just seen sh sh the Shinobi get executed into breaking three times already in yeah. this in this <laughs> in this set, and I just don't want to see it again. It's just so disheartening. Oh, uh, he got stuck on the wall. That's unfortunate. Let's go to a wide shot. Harmony teaming up with the Turnus versus Clutch and Normie. And Harmony actually got clipped. Ooh! Almost gets clipped by the arrow as well, but alas is able to get out of the way. Clutch label to secure the kill. Shooting star says Lamal. And now we're into the last stand for RMG in map number three. It's going to be a th two versus four on their home point. That's a Raven Flask if ever I saw one. Oof. <laughs> oh, no, it's all right. Leave a sign. I got kicked Defenders into it. Yep. So, absolutely okay. Strategic. This, um, yeah, strategic. Strategic Raven Flask, yeah. Defenders win. Oof. 2 one. Oh, me. I am... <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> okay. It's so intense. It's not S fair. Spaniard, you sound like you're going oxygen loopy. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Oof. Tell you what. If this set is going at least one more game. Do you want to, like, take five? I can continue. Because I don't want you going oxygen loopy. I'd rather you be <laughs> present for the, f like, further in. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I think whilst we're loading up, I think I'll manage to get a chance to calm down. Oh, and, and people say, like, I see people saying on the ramp stuff, oh, competitors, competitors boring, this, that, and stuff. Oh, yeah, that was, um... Oh, yeah. Map. Yeah, it's 2-1 currently. We're on the fourth map is is High Fort. If this goes to uh, Minimeisters, then they we will see their fourth choice is... Uh, the, the tiebreaker is Citadel Gate. Yes. But no, I see people like saying, well, oh, competitive is boring all the time. Like, how is this boring? <laughs> We've seen like every single match has come down to double breaking in this set so far. There have like, been some uh, somewhat yikes tournaments in the past, especially during sort of like the dark ages where it was one team consistently winning with the same comps over and over again. But this... This feels refreshing. I, I mean, yeah, this is, I like, this is super hype, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love, I've really enjoyed watching the last Dominion series, but like, calling this, how can, how can anybody call this boring? <laughs> I'm hyperventilating here. <laughs> okay, take, take like 60 seconds and take a drink. I'm, I'm not actually hyperventilating. Okay, good. I was scared there for a second. <laughs> Considering the week you had, I wouldn't be shocked. All right, moving in. Rotation is going to be a split. Libe went A. What cares? Rotate is rotating back to C to help the rest of his team who are fighting on C. Yeah, I think that was the better rotation because he ends up with all... They have a 4v3, which is favorable here for much longer. Libe is not going to get here until... I mean, it's going to be another, like, 10 seconds before he gets here. Big time for these guys to, to really do a lot of damage on, on RMG. And I think I think Levison is concentrating on. He's going to clear mid instead. So... Yeah, let me spin the camera around and have a gander. Uh, he... No, I think he's rotating back over. He's now he's just arrived. Yeah, he's just arrived. But uh, I mean, actually, having said that, like, it, this has not gone nearly as much in favor of, of minimizers as it should have done. Yeah, given their number advantage. But this is one of the disadvantages I think of Shinobi. Shinobi is just not that Defenders great team fighter and actually this is pardon me that went about as badly as it could go for pardon me again for, um, 
mini meisters because they, the, instead of that numbers advantage, being able to make the most of it there, they Attackers lost that fight. They've zone. had, they're about 100 points ba back on, on hard points for that. Renown, they're behind on Renown as well. That was, like, the fact they couldn't capitalize on that team fight was a, a real, real blunder. I mean, oh, lovely deflect there. Himathano still eating loads of damage for it though, so, uh, trade it. I'm not sure if necessarily, necessarily a lovely deflect. In, in I, the game. I am noticing in these team fights there is this composition. I wouldn't say deficit, a, a composition disparity in the way the damage is being done. Minimises has been able to catch RMG on the run multiple times in the more discreet fights. You know, the 1v2s, the 2v2s, off point. But when it comes to these big ginormous bar brawl team fights, the strength of RMG's composition of running the Raider and the Jang Jun is starting to show itself. Yeah, I mean, the difference here is, is Jang Jun and uh, Orochi are just much better team fighters than Kyoshin and and um Shinobi. And Shinobi, really. Those are, I think uh, then that's that's really there's no there's no two that's what's causing them to be winning at these big team fights. And and what they're doing is that they they're rotating really well to force these big team fights. Where they have the advantage missed Hunt Garbreak there and causing damage reduction on Levasano. And clutch goes down as well. So yeah, I think that's their Ah oh, that was a misplay from Antonio. Definitely misplay there. Didn't have anybody to peel for him. He got the kill, but at what, uh, you know. At what cost? It, so. Pepe yeah. hands. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would have zoned. I would have, I think, zone was the. Like, maybe he pressed it and it just came he, out. He, Antonio may have assumed Lee Biasano was actually leaving. Because looking at the way his camera was, Lee was leaving via that left side ramp. So maybe he thought Ooh. he'd have enough time? Maybe, maybe. And hard points, they're bringing it back. They're not too far off now. Um, they're behind on soft points and they need to get mid. But, like, we'll see. Maybe we'll see how this is playing out. Sorry. Oh, good. Again, like, I'm hey. trying to see, like, we'll see. And I, what I'm really saying is, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, good. Take a moment. Chill. Clutch and Harmony are going to be eyeing each other up for potential vengeance, but Clutch is, keeping, uh, is occupied with Darrow, and Harmony's occupied with Death currently, so they aren't able to meet in the middle. Meanwhile, Clutch is I able to meet. I don't think that maybe that was a minion strike, but the credit went to two players, uh, Tetsu and Clutch, able to get credit there specifically. I think it was a minion. I mean, either that was shooting stars from behind, but mm. uh, it was shooting stars. I've just seen it on cooldown. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Libe has full feet usage available to him outside of his tier three. That is a fast feet acquisition, I must say. Yeah, Libe is doing really well. I, th I think if you look at the kills, I think he died like once, right? Yeah, kill streak oh, yeah, is going to be giving him a nice bit of bonus. Yep. So he's, I mean, he just got his tier three, so he's quite a long way. It's a long way to tier four, and that's the difference in the testing grounds. In the live version of the game, the tier, the difference between your tier two and your tier three, is significantly higher than your tier three and your tier four. And now in the testing grounds, it, the tier four is a lot further away. So mm. it kind of it makes sense. Um, it was, was weird that you could get your tier four easier than your tier three. And now we're seeing that a lot of games, even though they're going quite long sometimes, like the last one was 11 minutes long, they aren't getting tier fours on everybody because they, 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 there's quite a big gap between your tier three and tier four. Almost identical in scores are both teams here in the fourth map of this winner's finals. This is not grand finals, by the way, folks. This is just winner's finals. We still have a loser's yes. bracket to go through. We do. Um, although that is probably progressing. I'll just check on that, actually, whilst we're whilst you're... Good idea. Libe Asano going to be in the 2v2. Tetsu taking discretion as the better part of Valor and moving away to go heal. Good choice. Oh, Norby getting fire hecked, we'll call it. Getting shoved into the fire multiple times. <laughs> Darrow target swaps. Gets countered by Antonio. Arrow strike from Clutch is going to be some good value. It's, that's going to put Eternus on the back foot and actually put Libe in the ground because Normie's able to follow up. That's a two-piece and a biscuit. Antonio able to get the full piece. Mid-clear needs to be nice and hasty. Unfortunately, Kyoshin and Shugoki can clear that relatively fast. How many teams have played? This is an 11-team bracket, Pogquook. This yes, is an although one bracket. didn't show up, so I guess technically 10. 10 team bracket, yeah. So 10 teams playing today, and we are in the winner's finals currently. Best of five. 
Um, and it looks like it might be going... I mean, it could easily go all five matches as best of five. Because they... This is very close. There is 2-1 currently. I mean, if this, if, if um, Minimizers win this one, then it's another... Then we go to a decider. Ooh, Libe's in trouble. He's pinned. He does have a teammate backing him up, but he needs to get out of the way of any hitboxes. Okay, good. He's going to try and get away. But can he slip They're in time? Nope, oh. Tetsu's chasing. Tetsu. So we'll see. He's got Shinobi, the these are the, see, Shinobi's got significantly worse chase than Orochi. Another of the, like, comparative disadvantages. Oof. Hello there. Oof. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Oof, yes. As you were saying, though, so chase disadvantage. Yes. Uh, like, Shinobi, I mean, he doesn't have... His, his running attack goes really long way. And... Oh. Ow. Just one health, like... One HP and a dream. Harmony has yeah, the tier and... three, but does he want to use it here? Or does he want to save it? I mean, I, I think if he uses it, he'll get killed for it because it's got a long activation period. True. Cheeky! There we are. Excellent throw by Libe Asano coming up the ramp off screen. Kills Antonio and peels his teammate at the same time. Defenders wow. rallied. Just wow. <laughs> Headbutt feel, takes Normie down and um, the defenders have gone out of breaking because the, the mid has gone back in their favor. But it looks like... Yeah, no, they're going to get, get mid off this as well. Someone needs to clutch needs to go down to there quickly and make sure they don't get mid because it's gonna be we're gonna be in a double breaking situation very soon if, if they're not careful. Mm. We're gonna be seeing a penultimate clash on mid unless a last minute break ends up being coming into play, which may happen because B keeps getting tipped back and forth, meaning to actively being killed, and both teams are actively generating hard points at the same time. So any death here could be potentially permanent for the rest of this match, depending on how things go. Three kills against RMG Minimeister sweeping the middle of mid lane with their corpses. Harmony, though, still alive. Super dangerous to them because now we've seen. No. Oh, well played by Antonio. Okay, they're going to get the cap on C. I was going to say that's super dangerous because what happened is look, they've all respawned on full health um, and they're coming down, and Mini Mices are on low health, but luckily they managed to go and cap C before. That was a really good rotation. They really good map awareness yeah. to go and make sure that they didn't put, accidentally put themselves in a double breaking situation where they were on half health and the enemy were all full, which would have been a nice one. Let's ride along with Normie here for the potential second uh, final confrontation of this map, but not of the set here if Mini Mites are able to get the dub. They're searching for one final kill to get the momentum going. Make that two in a row, and they are now surging forward. Clutch goes down, but Antonio has the tier four available. Can he stop any resurrections? Eternus charges, but Tetsu comes in, rotates round for Peel, stops any resurrections. Arrow used, Darrow is the last man standing. Peak rotation and peel enables Mini Meisters to pull this back to a 2-2 from potentially a disastrous beginning to the set. Oh, what an ending to that. Oh my goodness. I mean, they... Luckily, this wasn't a double-breaking fight, but it still felt pretty pretty intense there at the end. Um, lots of... I mean, and I think this is a nice thing. They're not... There wasn't fire flats get everywhere. Um... This is a, probably the difference between not having Jean Hu and only having one fire fire feat at the end. It doesn't end in a, a um, doesn't always end as a Michael Bay film. Hmm. People seem to dislike apparently. I mean, I guess it's we guess once you've seen one explosion, you've seen them all. But um, two two, we go down to a deciding match. It's going to be Citadel Gate. All right, so we're going to chill for a moment. We'll, I'll keep the audio on, but I need to BRB. I need to go close my window because it's late here in England, and if I keep commentating, I may get a brick through my window from the neighbours, so be right back. <laughs> I thought you were going to say flies coming in, um, but yeah, I guess bricks are a kind of fly if you live in a bad neighbourhood. Um, all right, we'll see. So who? just as an update on the lower bracket, we've had, a, because this is a best of five on the winners, and it's gone all five matches. We are probably not going to see many losers bracket matches because they've all progressed. Nam Gloria beat Participation Medal 2-0. Um, Mistake Correctors beat CSA also 2-0. And then we've had the losers semi-final. 
mistake collectors correctors sorry against nam gloria which mistake correctors won 2-0 and now they are in the losers finals or lower bracket finals waiting for the results of this um match here so uh that's the the i guess the um update on <coughs> the lower bracket <coughs> pardon me i'm back there we are oh well Oh, Window. I'm just, I'm just Win an update on Thank you. Window closed. No chance of angering the neighbours. Okay. Two two. And map is going to sit at the gate. This will be. Okay. All right. I'm going to curse this by saying this, but this needs to be mentioned because this is the first time I've only ever actually thought about this because of how fluid this tournament has been. Composition change. Yay or nay, Spaniard? Well, according to the rule set, only the team that won, lost the previous map can change their composition. So only um, the uh, RMG could change their composition, even if they wanted to. And I don't think they will want to, because their their composition is much more favoured in team fights than the than um, uh, Minimeister's composition is, where we've discussed already that. that Kyoshin and Shinobi are both comparatively weaker team fighters than JJ and Orochi. But we all see what if I mean, Citadel Gate is a very classic team fighting type map because it's got a very big mid lane. Um, it's a long way between points, so you end up getting team fights. We'll see if if they go for like if I think what Minimizers will have to do here will be to try and push for scenarios which aren't team fights. Yes. Like they'll, Go for back caps, go for like two v ones, one v one, two v ones, and one v ones on points because their ganking is much better than the RMG's competition. Both Shinobi and Kyoshin are both very good gankers, so if they can leverage that into the, the, those kind of scenarios, then I think they can take this map. But if they get pulled into team fights, it's going to be very hard for them. And Citadel Gate, because of its sheer size, is conducive to... Oh, sorry, size, but also the arc, the layout, and the floor plan. You can get a lot more of those discrete, you know, 1v1s, uh, 2v1s on C, on, on A, a lot more frequently than you can on, say, High Fort, where even though it is the largest map on footprint that is competitively in the map pool, or in the competitive map pool, you can, will expect teammate needs to get back pretty quickly because it's mostly just straight runs. But on Citadel Gate, there's ladders and hallways and all kinds of twists and turns that just kind of get in the way. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we can see that. I mean, if we're talking about the compositions, we can see that the, the map, the the two most team fighting maps, Harbor and Sanctuary Bridge, RMG one, and the two most and the two most like the biggest maps where they can make most of one v one type rotations. Um, Minimizers have won. Mm. This first 1v1, this first team fight, low, low health on everybody, but what cares has got really high health and is. <coughs> Good interrupt. It's able to juke oh. him out. But oh, um, staring nice. against the Raider, that's not good. And the Raider's got the point, but he slips in because the Shinobi's hit hitbox is smaller, so he's actually able to maneuver in. What cares has got to do some really good stalling now for. He's got no assistance yet. I, allies are still on the way. Yeah, Antonio is yeah, zooming. Hit. Oh, good bait! Oh. Iframes! Oh. What a stall! <laughs> what a what a survival there! Tetsu's I mean, still I going. Luck might run out. Yeah, but it was oh, enough. It was enough. Antonio's here now. Now, can Antonio survive this gank? Here, we're going to see again. Like they're, they're initiating, they've got plenty of time. They're initiating with um, the hug because that doesn't feed revenge if you dodge it correctly. And Clutch is back. Yeah, Clutch was tied up in mid for a really long time, but now he's here. And it looks like that uh, there's going to be a majority rotation by most teams over to here. We do see. If I flex the cam around. What cares is back. Tetsu is here to help. And there is someone coming out of spawn too at the same time. I mean, these are going into these big team fight scenarios. We said that they probably don't want to be going into. Ow! Clutch and what happens just getting absolutely blown up. Um, I mean, I think Clutch is there. Clutch is down. Yeah. But they have got a big hard point lead, so maybe that's again. This is the kind of rotation that you just would not see in 
in pre TG uh, game without yeah or and if you or if you did it would be give the opponent such a massive renown advantage but everybody's on tier ones despite the fact that all four of RMG were on team on home point and got two, two three kills whilst defending like whilst all four of them were there that would have been a crazy amount of renown 120 renown for the whole for the whole team just, yeah just from the defender bonus which is just they're not having anymore so oh. parries for everyone everybody they really don't want antonio to leave they want him stuck they in the really minions don't. but antonio is going to be able to flee however normie got left behind kuwako let's see what he can get done here 1v2 doesn't have any heals but one of his assailants is low, but staying back to avoid revenge tag. Stays out of range, keeps out of the camera, lunges him with an unblockable, with the undodgeable light. And I think he's chosen to retreat now. Yes, he has. Although I think we see someone getting stampede chance. No, see ya, Tetsu. Gets put into the pit by Eternus. Oh no, I missed that one. No, nice right, light. Right in the back, sh oh, back of shot. You could barely see it. Good stalling by Normie. He able to hit for long Ooh. enough to get revenge, and now the tides have turned. That was a crazy long stall. It's one of these weird ones because you think like stalling in the corner of mid, like, is a really weird place to stall. Yeah. But but he was keeping the opponents off going for back caps or going for to to go to A. Mm. So maybe that was like a really good play. I mean, what are you going to do? You're just going to kill yourself, let yourself die. So it's not really like, he didn't really have much of an option to not score, but he did really, really well. It says and something where an Orochi could do this in a tournament setting. Oh, Leave his Sano with the way of the blade. Yeah, he's going, he's going to have an anime conflict here. What cares? Normally would be able to use range heavy to get you off a ladder, but <laughs> yeah, that's gone now, Crab Rave. Thank you, that's TG. Now, thank you. <laughs> Clutch having nice none of that. Bounce guard break off. Clutch then. It's heavy anyway. Being really... Oh, it's getting a bit crowded here by the brazier on the blue dome. Clutch trying to get hit. Oh, get slapped by the Raider. I've got to give props to the Raiders on both teams. They have been the really subtle. I say subtle for a Raider. It's funny. But they have just been consistent extreme damage in all team fights. Raider in yeah. TG is insane with all the collective buffs and the removal of option select parries. Yes, and I think people have been saying that the um, unblockables in the game at the moment are just very powerful. Yeah. And Raider is... I mean, Raider and Goki... Both of them have just insane damage on their block balls, and with any buffs, it just turns. It goes from being it's like pre 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 CCU levels of damage, really. Yeah. Um, and I think there is an understanding amongst the competitive community and probably the game, the wider game in general, that this damage kind of needs to come down. Possibly, yeah. It's so high. I will say, it's not just the damage... Oh, nice deflect. It's not just the damage that's strong, in my opinion, at least. It's also the combination of easy access high armor after that, specifically for team fights, to where you can whiff or get a hit off with a unblockable with Raider and then immediately fast flow into an attack with hyper armor, and it could save you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I we're talking about, in terms of his big damage unblockables, the chain zone is a big damage unblockable. You yeah. You can't whiff that, unfortunately, that was a real yeah. bad Wall architecture but and the and the the chain link from his neutral zone he can change from his neutral zone into his um into his unblockable or into his chain attacks yeah which is a big change for raiders want to make things and make them so strong but the chain link there is actually really slow pardon me it's only 500 ms it's 500 ms chain link so it's actually really hard to use your neutral zone and then chain into hyper armor oh no excellent step back by eternus but clutch took the bait Ah, okay. That was he a. There. He went for the the full block to see if he can catch the storming tap, hmm. but uh, made the wrong read. Yeah, that you can't. If you react, trying to he was trying to react to parry flash. Was he? Okay. You can't with a full block because you've got to make. You know, you can't. Yeah. If option select zones were still a thing, that would have been an entirely different exchange. Yes. 
Normie fighting. Here's the discrete 2v2s we were talking about before. This is where mini mice really thrive. Admittedly, we did see a couple unfortunate moments there for Clutch, especially getting messed up by the architecture. But here is where mini mice really can get the work done. And you can see by the hard points, they've been valuing keeping mid and then having these discrete fights and just holding an iron like grip on points. And yeah, but they're not what they haven't got mid. This is oh, this not is... anymore. Yeah, I take that back. Not anymore, at least. I mean, it's again, it's getting super close in. Normie alive with a like it's so low health. My goodness, three people on one one hit from death. One taps from anyone will do it. Boop. There oh, we go. There we go. We've got a longbow coming out. Oh, good dodge. Oh, and Tony dodged it. And he gets the kill. Andero, really well played by Antonio. There we go. We're gonna have a. Uh, oh, he just, unfortunately, he was just out of range for his hug. That would have been a, a guaranteed kill if he had managed it. Nice light parry. That's what he needed. Incoming. Eternus used the rush feet to get back quickly. Yeah, Raider has really good rotations as well. Antonio not happy with that gank. He tried something there, but no dice. Good parry. Eternus has been doing some excellent work this game. I've got to give props to them. They have been able to consistently win ones and twos and not allow RNG to completely sink into the dirt. Although, I say that, commentators, because that might have just started. I think we just saw... Did I just see a, a bleed? A nail bomb. In mid? Yeah, that was uh, nail Tetsu's bomb. nail bomb in mid. I think that's the first time he's got his tier four this entire tournament. That we've seen, at least. Uh, yeah. Seen uh, Tetsu has had it a few times, but he hasn't been able to use it in a massive way in a team fight. And Harmony had to... That was actually really big, guarding mid. He had to go back and heal because he's taking... Oh, that was so close! That was so <laughs> close! Don't taunt Harmony. You almost just got killed by that. Attackers are Can he 1v4, everybody? Um... No. no. I, I don't know why I bother with asking that question. Um. Architecture. And this... There's has... a lot of orange going around. Attackers win. And Mini Meisters take it. That was down to the wire for every single match. Well, like, I don't know if this was all down to the testing grounds, um, making things closer, but these were pretty exciting. That and Mini Meisters just focusing the heck up after that 2-0, especially with the way that second game went. I would have been completely understanding if they just floundered and went down to losers, but that was a hell of a reverse sweep. 3-0. Yeah, to get three, yeah, three matches back in a in a uh, in a row. That was a really well, and with all of them being so close as well. Damn, really well played, excellent play. So now we are going to have the losers final, which are going to be mistake correctors versus RMG. All right. The first time did they? No, they they went down two one to them beforehand, but again it was very close. Both matches, um, all three matches again. Yeah, it's a run back. Anybody from? Does anybody from Mini Meisters want to come in and join us in Commentary? the camp for a bit? I would love to have you. Um, I mean, of course, I understand that you guys are probably kind of pretty amped after that, so you might want to be on the. Yeah, focusing, they but... may just want to either just practice between themselves or just rest. Like they've got a free rest yeah. period right now. They have a rest period, but yeah. But if you do want to come in, um, just jump in. There's the cast lobby voice chat in trials um and then you can we'll just drag you into the chat hmm. yeah no on no worries tetsuo wants to say a state of rest yeah i can imagine yeah <laughs> uh, under, yeah just take a moment chill I, i'm exhausted watching this and <laughs> casting it because it's yeah, been to be fair so you're also commentating and running admin duties yeah yeah it, uh, yeah, yeah but, uh, i feel like the admin stuff is going really smoothly. Yeah, um, no we had a few issues at the beginning of the tournament, but everybody's been playing really nicely and getting things sorted. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have to worry too much about that admin stuff, but um, I'm still getting tired just watching this because it's crazy intense. Man. This is best of three again, just letting you guys know it. Losers, uh, we're only yes. back up to best of five in the grands. That, that is correct. Thank you for giving that information. Cool. All right. And now we wait for the idol here. Yes, I will go and see what the map picks and bans. Lovely jovely. We're going to chill for a moment, folks, and we'll be back on the call when the eye appears. And we'll let you guys know the uh, picks and bans before that. So, be right back.
Losers finals on the docket. Back to best Hello, of three. Yeah, best of three because um, well, the way the reason I did the best of five winners is because losers takes a time to progress normally, so we normally have that, and, and it's worked out rather well because it means we can go straight from the winners finals to the losers finals. Um, so map picks and bans. We've had ban on Overwatch and then a ban on High Fort. And now we have Sanctuary, Temple, and Harbor. Nice. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go straight into it. I don't think we'll have any peculiar rollouts yet. Both teams sending their resident Orochis to back cap. Matt, remember when shamans were the resident back cap? was like the days of Otto. <laughs> that was a oh, thing. Oh, man. I miss Otto and Shaman. Yeah, where's the doges? Defenders. Bring the shamans back. <laughs> Big damage coming out already in this team fight. Like, Toti and Darrow both really low already. Um... Semix eating damage, get a guard break on the turners, parried by Dero, and a Geet's heavy for it. Semix getting blown up in the middle there. Trying to use his like side dodges to move around the team fights. Can you see you can see how Raider Raiders such long distance side dodges give them so much maneuverability. Team fight is broken up into two two v twos, which have been Semix has gone down. It's incredibly close over with Toti and Franz. Oh, le a really good, well executed gank there on. Draw? On, on Question COVID. mark? 2 well, 1, just... 2 2. Okay, so one more kill technically for Mr. Uh, for RMG, but no one's got control of mid yet on Sanctuary yeah, well, Hacking Bridge. What we saw then was two, the two 2v2s two end with both teams so low, they decided to just run back and heal rather than carry on fighting and potentially lose like with one from one light attack or minion kill. You know? Yeah. Um, and that was a good play. That's that's the kind of thing you expect to see in this level. Of, we go again. It definitely would have been a mistake to stay and gamble with such a small amount of health. Set mix low. May consider moving away, but there was... Oh, wait, there's the arrival raider. Nyeom! Moves in to cut him off. And notice he doesn't go for the kill. He's going to specifically get better positioning, more favorable attack area, attack vantage on set mix. But set mix still fighting. I'm going to try and push Eternus out of the zone. No! He got hit with the mully! He got... I think he went... I think he went that, that or the storming tap parry. He got one good read, but it wasn't enough. Oh, he didn't get mullied? That looked like a mully, but either way, oh, he's dead. Been. Either way, he's dead, and I think they're gonna... Oh, no, they have managed to get somebody contesting on the point. Oh, are they? Cody is... Oh, yes, they mm -hmm. have. Let me zip over there. Yeah, Franz Bonaparte is now over there. And, like, this is an extremely winnable 1v2. Oh, that... Oh! Spaniard, you are not allowed... Spaniard, that... you are not allowed to talk for the next 60 seconds. You literally just cursed that gank. <laughs> That's the disadvantage of Raider heavies. You gotta be careful of those side heavies, man. <laughs> You're in the commentary corner for 60 seconds. Leave. So jumps down. He's gonna be looking for a flank potentially. He is gonna get caught by Legion. But Legion is basically just marking him for the entirety of this match. That is Legion's job. Keep Lee Bay from getting too fancy, and if he starts to run, go catch, because what's better at catching an Orochi? Another Orochi. <laughs> Here comes the Turnus from the flank to potentially get catch Legion in a double. But no, Lee Bay left a little bit open in the side. That allowed Legion to roll through. Okay, you're unbanned now. You can talk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, am I still in the corner? You're not in the corner. Uh, Toti coming in with a respawn, like... They are pretty. So I'm not saying like. Notice that. Sorry. Okay. Um, notice they the points are again very close. Hard point advantage for uh, L collectors. L collectors. They seem to be winning this two v two. Franz coming up with very low health to heal and buffs with Inspire. So that's gonna he's gonna get assist tag as well if any, for any kills that go on here. Oh so, yeah, that's a mechanic, isn't it? Feats give assist tags. It not necessarily you have to damage them. Nicely done there. Well, well, they did really good to finish off there, and but unfortunately they are, they have lost their points lead with mid. Oh, we have a back cap being pushed from Set Mix. Set Mix, who decides he doesn't want to hang around and he's going to run back to clear mid instead. Okay. So here's where the scoreboard lies after that fight. Slight. Lots of renown. Hmm? 
And we say that, that France Bonaparte has got the most renown here, probably from those assists. Um, yeah. yeah. Just gonna, just gonna be like straight in my tie and go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, mid goes back in favor of L Collectors, and he's using those tier one, his tier one there. Actually, both teams have used their tier one. See all those damage bo boost symbols. That's the JJ tier one. He's incredibly powerful. That really nice guard break from Dero. Ow. Into, yep. I think a chain zone would have caught, but. Uh, didn't want to risk a parry, revenge. especially when Franz almost got revenge. Look how close he is yeah, to a full he might shield. Have been to not, re not risk revenge, actually, rather than not risking a parry, but. Well. He's still he's holding this. Away. He's got revenge yeah. almost available. If one person tags him the wrong way, he actually will get revenge in offensive fashion. Instead, he's deciding to go off from the heel, which is on this map that is often the best call. We've been noticing how back caps, pushing back caps, is way more frequent. Yeah. With, I mean, like for example, right now, this is in live. This would be a bad push. Yes. You've got two people going respawning. They've got hot, low health. They're going to be in a really um. Unfavorable situation. Very Bye. Oh, let me get the ledge kill. <laughs> See ya. Uh, and Toadie dies. Like that would have given defender renown. It would have been a really bad push. Except in this meta, in the in the TG, I think that's a good thing. Good push because it stops them generating points for a small amount of time. You know, Toadie comes back and he gets to come back with he'll rotate back in fairly quickly with full health. I think that was a good push. It's, it means that the enemy have to focus on the home point and they can't just go straight into mid. Yeah, um, we haven't seen a, like a sanctuary bridge siege. You know that classic scenario in Saint Bridge where a team physically cannot push through the mid because they just keep getting feated to death, and then they try and put someone through. They die. They get a back cap through, but they die. Defender bonus, and it just gets worse and worse. We haven't seen a single instance of that at all today. Yeah, it's I, I've been really pleasantly surprised to see how not snowbally the game has been i was still i've been worrying about renown still being a win more mechanic and because you, you get renown, renown for successful actions nice tier 4 usage there and so it makes it is always a bit of a win more, a win more mechanic you know you, you die you don't get any renown you kill you get renown and it's always hard to come back and i was a little bit worried that we'd see snowbally even with the changes in the testing ground. Well, I mean, pleasantly surprised to see that actually, with how close these teams are, that snowballing aspect hasn't really happened yeah. really as much. That hasn't reared its head. Like, the most snowballing match we've seen was literally the first map match today with Team B versus... Uh, yeah, I, uh, Lord, yeah. yeah, like, but that was... That was a fun game. That was... Yeah, I mean, that was... We appreciate was TB sacrificing the game of humor. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure I'd say that necessarily that was snowbally as much as it was a stomp, which is always going to be one-sided. That'd be one-sided regardless of however... You couldn't... There's no uh, comeback mechanics that'd be strong enough to Fair. make that not a stomp. But the point stand, um, it's all or nothing right now, it feels like. There's no middle ground of that traditional stomp. Oh, that's breaking! Okay, that's bad! That's very bad, yeah, actually, for RMG. Him. That's really oh, bad! Comes and hits, gets double kill, and there we go! L Collectors collect a W on this, on this one, at least, when they go 1-0 in there. In this... Best in of this three. Loser final. Best of three. So, yeah, they need to win one more, and it's their... It was their choice. Map, map now, it's their choice. So, we go to Temple Garden... Um, and yeah, they win this map. They go through to the finals. Which, I mean, considering how close... I don't know what... I don't know which one I want, really. Yeah. <laughs> and I shouldn't be allowed to say, even if I did. Okay, um, let's, let's let's flip things from uh, bias to statistics for a moment. Something that'll excite you. Do you think yes, if you, you like? were to like take like some time with some people, look back at this VOD and see the average time for tier fours to come online and then the average time for tier ones do you think they've changed because to me as someone who is horrendous at stats and just kind of like makes it up as i goes along in that regard it feels like tier fours are coming online way later but tier ones and tier twos especially tier twos are coming online faster yes i wouldn't i wouldn't disagree with that um, I mean, the the tier, the level to get the tier two has gone down. They've changed the way that the the feet breakpoints are, so yeah. it is 
long it does take longer to get the tier fours and i would definitely agree that tier fours are oh, we're not seeing as many of them come out um in the game and most i would say most of these games have ended despite how close they were most of them have ended with at least one with several players not having access to their tier fours which is interesting to me hmm. um because that's not something you see very often in a live game and when it comes to tier ones and tier twos unlocking faster i don't no, tier ones and tier twos unlock quite fast in the live game as well. So I, so I can't really say. Yeah, it's I, I'm trying to. Th oh, there we are. There's the eye. Fight already. You get your answer, slimy kitsune underscore com. They're fighting. <laughs> yeah, we, when the eye happens, we have, we observe, and we can't go any faster than that, unfortunately. Yes. The, I mean, it's not unfortunate. How can you go fast? Yeah, it's 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 the evanescent eye yeah. that appears. Any composition swaps? No. No. Um, Semix's radar looks scary, doesn't it? Yeah. Battle cry. <laughs> Tiff. Yeah, he's got that. He's got the bear trap. I do enjoy that Semix has been setting up some pretty disgusting bear trap spots. Like ever since yeah, the one, we... the first game we saw him today on Temple Garden, there was a trap placement on the A point on Temple Garden that was like, excuse me, that's not legal. <laughs> yeah. He's been doing some pretty... Did they... Did... I don't think... Um, well, uh, what did Normie run on his radar? He was Normie, running, I know uh, Mark for Death, I think. He's running Mark for Death? Yeah, okay. Mark for Death. I didn't know, I, oh, fair enough. I mean, I like Raider has good tier twos. He, I thought... Actually, no, wasn't he running Inspire? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, Inspire. Who was running Mark for Death? Because someone was running Mark for Death. There was a uh, raider uh, in here somewhere that was running Mark for Death. Chat, help us out here. We have been a number of raiders today, so... Yes. I think there's maybe, like, two games at all that have had no raiders. Raiders been a pretty ever-present presence throughout today. Indeed. And, the, and it's definitely the case that... I mean, we have this quite a lot in front of Metas, that we have one character that is that's considered mandatory and one character that is not that is um like, or multiple characters that are mandatory and yeah. in this case raider and shigoki definitely are the mandatory characters ah. now, the... same gag but this time legion counter pokes by going to a Attackers leaving libe asano in the mid yeah so is libe asano gonna go to let's to find out this fight or is he gonna go and try and deal with solids he, he considered it to... legion stayed on a for a bit he didn't immediately run so he thought that was gonna happen as well I think he must have been called here because the team fight here is not going in RMG's favor. Harmony very low goes down to set mix. Dero half health. Well, something is pretty low now as well. Slobs yeah. is hit has managed to arrive in time. Um, I... Toe mine has run is running off to go and heal. Mm -hmm. A good call, I'd say. Yeah. Semix goes down. Dero is one hit from death. He's going to be going down sometime soon. Not if not from if not from his enemies, but then from his allies. Or. <laughs> Casa's curse. Uh, uh, he <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna live forever. We're gonna see. We're gonna see a zero kills, de a zero deaths game from Dero. Libe and Dero yeah. both in a really bad place. They can't uh, contribute much in this fight unless they get set up for Eternus. And I'll shut um, my mouth. They both got the kills. We keep cursing things, Spaniards. Well, I, I went with one way. I was like, oh, Dero's surely gonna die now. And then I said, well, he's gonna live forever just because. Oh, yep. That makes gets yeah. Bloop. Those piranhas are gonna be happy. Nom, 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 nom. That makes running into a. I mean, this is a scenario you would just never see, like in in the live game. Yeah. This is not something you see. And yet, that makes decided. You know what? I'll run in to two people on a on their own point. I mean, it's certainly more exciting to watch. Yeah. Like. A little bit less organization, which can cause some more chaos, but chaos is fun. Set mix almost very close to revenge. Needs one extra tag to do it, but he gets one extra bop on the head, courtesy of Darrow MD M MB. And because of that, he's gonna go down. And now it's two v two effectively. Although Libo Asano gonna be heading to the Shadow Realm. It's now a two v one. Yeah, Salts was just out of range. Really nice dodge there. Unfortunately, um, he's gonna go down. Uh, Salts was just out of range of that uh, of that charged heavy, and. Uh, didn't manage and, and avoided eating like 30 damage to the face. Yeah. 
34 damage to the face. Backup has arrived, yeah. though, for mistake correctors. They've been leaking in slowly but surely, trying to keep assert control over C. They don't want to lose it. Yeah, I mean, uh, certainly it's a very valuable point, and we've seen how how much we're getting from mid at the moment. Mm. And oh. so I think they definitely don't want, they definitely want to avoid losing it if possible. Gero, excellent defrag from Lee Bay. Gets the target swap light, but unfortunately Setmix was in hyper armor, so he trades unfavorably. Turret Mind has come on over. Lee Bay was thinking of going for the follow up zone on confirmed off Kunai, but. You got, well, you got that's not confirmed any. That's oh. not confirmed any longer. That hasn't been confirmed. For that's not confirmed. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Who am I thinking of that had that? Never mind. Well, he did have that uh, pre CCU. The CCU oh. got, uh, nerfed the zone down to final mess instead of by ancient uh, knowledge. Of ancient. Also, I think Setmix died to his own bear trap there because Harmony triggered it with him inside. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Riptide! Riptide. I don't. We have not been seeing them use Riptide. They love the side dodge lights, but they haven't seen any Riptide. I think that's because Riptide's really vulnerable to faint to neutral, and faint to neutral is one of the main things you'll see these days. Oh yeah, but so is the side dodge, um, side dodge light. They're both light parries. Fair. Um, I mean, I guess it's the the reduced peel and small hitboxes. It does slightly too. more damage. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice to see it. It looks very stylish. Yeah. So. No complaints from me there. Ow. What is not Ooh. stylish is being bullied in the corner. That's not great. Franz Bonaparte is going to go down and make this a 2v3 on A. Inspire is available for Harmony. So he's going to be able to have that additional damage on top. Big damage buff. Does Darrow use the bow? That's what... Darrow's got the bow, has he? He's got longbow available. Does he want to fire it is the question before he dies. Before he dies. Or if he dies. Oh, oh there he dies. Oh, mutual. I think they both head bothered each other at the same time. Um, it was a real, like, five-head moment. Oh, really nice guard break to confirm that unblockable. We're going to see the long execution on Solus now. Oh. Giving out of the game for as long as possible, whilst Turnus and his team heal up on point. We have a it's field side team. reporter, actually, Spaniard here real quick, from Tetsuo in the chat. Mm -hmm. Riptide can catch people off guard in team fights because they see you back dodge thinking they're safe and eat it. Yeah, so the mind oh. games aspect is something I completely blanked out on. Yeah, you can make someone just think you're back dodging. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, very good point. But I, I was saying that I hadn't seen it used very much in this tournament. Maybe I just wasn't, didn't have it in, wasn't looking out for it. Yeah, like I'm in control of the camera. I've been keeping an eye on a lot of team fights. I, Riptide's probably something you see more in 1v1s. Oh, we've been seeing plenty of deflex though from Lee Bay Asano. Oh, that was that's a really bad. good use of that guard break there. Oh no! That's a lot of damage! That's gonna be so much damage! Zetmix just got completely rolled and smoked by doggies! Franz Bonaparte are gonna try and crusade his way through, but Legion and Libio Sano are gonna be 1v1-ing in the meantime. Discreetly, because the 2v2 really has started- Oh, never mind, I say that, they come back together. Mutually trading back to back, one to one. Legion is gonna start going all the way back round to the back of the team fight, using the undodgeable heavy to track. He's got Kunai. Listen to the, sm the mashing sound from Legion. That is Legion's mashing, not from anyone else. That's an audio bug with Spectator. He really wanted that Kunai. It just wasn't coming out? Damn. That or it was yeah. Lee Biasano mashing. He just wasn't watching his cooldown. I mean, why would he be mashing? I think it was his. I think it must have been Legion. Sometimes it just doesn't come out. Ow. Now that was really nice. That's one of the things that Orochi can do. Dodge canceling his finishers in. Semic put himself out of stamina there. Good catch. Oh. Kill steal oh, them out. Nero comes in to get the kill as well. Unfortunate. I have noticed that Mix has a tendency to go out of stamina. Mm. Um, and both when he's playing Raider now, but also playing Ward. You don't, I feel like if there's one thing that I could say that Setmix's weakness is, is, is um, his stamina discipline is uh, something he could probably focus on. With more, seem to be a friend. with more assassins being, uh, side note completely, with more assassins being on the board, that's a long bow from Toad off screen. The, we're seeing a lot more deflex coming into play, which is actually a nice way to counter the m higher prevalence of undodgeable attacks being in the game, which funnily enough are coming from the assassins primarily, from the Orochi and the Shinobi. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, def that's one of the nice things about having a rope. Hopefully, like, I'm sure this meta will be maintained until the next testing, until the next... I, I, I feel unless Orochi and Raider get heavily nerfed, which I hope they don't, um, we will see but these characters in the Dominion series majors, and I'm sure we will get a lot of people going, Woo! Raider legendary! That was a questionable roll cancel. 
Eternus may have just killed himself there. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. And there we go. This is the, that's what they needed uh, to get all these kills at one moment. Pulling it back into... So they have the chance to capture the zone finally, because that team fight went on for such a long time. Semix, he's been listening to me clearly because he didn't put himself out stamina then. Well played. JJ did. Oh no! The Stop JJ... opening your mouth! He ran out of health now because of you! <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good de de demon ball getting your two heavies and then the long low afterwards as well. I mean, really. There's nothing you can do about it, but they did, he did use up his feet, so maybe he won't have it when they if they go into breaking, which either team will do as soon as mid goes one way or the other. Yeah, and it is now the L, L collectors which are breaking, and they've gone. Oh, no, oh the do... shield went at the last moment. Defenders captured zone that's really un that's really unfortunate. They didn't have anybody on C point. I don't know if that maybe it was a bit mean to say donating, but they didn't have anybody there, and that's gone. Their chance to pull this back is going to be going to be really, really hard for them now. Ah, oh, nice they little bit of tech there from Darrow, using the corner to off the demon ball to guarantee the demons embrace. If you got them in the corner, that's guaranteed. Yes, all a wall. Um, attackers captured C, but the thing is, they've had it. They've had it so long they can't unbreak now. Even though they could lost, they took mid and. Double, double breaking. Oh, again, it could go either way. Yeah. Let's go to the wide Dero shot for the final match. Four. But if Darrow dies before he gets his tier 4 out, then he that's a major loss of, of, of value. Utility, yeah. He's in no position to go for it. There's the fire flask from Franz Bonaparte. That's going to be killing himself in the process, but how many other people can he claim? No, that was Eternus' that was fire flask. Oh, it was Eternus'? Never mind, I take that back. Spicy feats either way. And mistake. Oh, there go, and they managed to pull it all together. And the Darrow surviving, not even getting uses tier four. That was incredibly close. Another just nail biting match. And once again, we're going to final map. I think, I mean, looking at the bracket, we've had it going to deciders on more matches than than we haven't. I would yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, well, no, okay. I'm, I tell like there were lots of matches in the in the lower the lower brackets, but in terms of like the teams that are closely matched, we had a two one from Mistake Correctors versus Participation Medal, two one RMG Mistake Correctors, three two Min Mini Mice and RMG. We've had okay, it's just those ones. All right, just the ones we've watched have gone to have gone to <laughs> um, the deciders. I, so. I was about to open my mouth and say. Testing grounds definitely is resulting in e more equal matches, but I think we need to get an average of like at least three tournaments before we can really say that. Yeah, it is true. We we like all the the conclusions we're making here. This is only one tournament. There have been scrims on the testing ground, so it's not like they're coming into this completely blind. But there haven't been all of the scrims on the testing ground. They have still been doing a lot of scrims of regular Dominion. Um, it's not. Whatever conclusions we can draw from this are going to be limited by a smaller data set. It's just one tournament. Yeah. There's not been a chance for the mess to evolve to the testing ground as much. But I will be very interested to hear what the players have to say about it as well, because obviously they have they closer to it on the action on the ground. Alright. Now we vibe for a bit. Minion vibing. We see the rollouts. What's it going to be? Legion might make a break for A, or is he changing strat this time? He's changing strat now. Oh, the teams are just swapping now. Lee Bersano's taking A, and Legion's taking mid. They did the exact opposite of this the last time these two met on Harbor today. Yeah, it's really weird what makes them decide. I, 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 I'd love to hear their cons. Yeah. Whatever the winner's interview ends up being with either of these teams, I really want to ask them about these rollout choices. Yeah. Well, I hope we're not sure we'll be able to get a interview if RMG don't pull this one through because they all speak Russian. Ah, and okay. I'm not sure. I mean, some of them have good English as well, but I'm not sure how confident they are. To we don't need to pressure them on the comms because currently they're pressuring, getting pressured hard in the on the A point actually, on C point rather. RMG are getting the final little kill here on Friends Bonaparte. That's all they need. 
play. I mean, this is a winnable 2v1. Um, if he can pull it off. What the well heck? played there to get out of it. They didn't quite manage to get the timing on the unblockable to guarantee it. And now this man is basically ungankable. Oh, he didn't wait for his own tag to expire. This is going to be... Oh, he's always... Bounce off the guard break. Yeah, yeah th that's a Probably. that's a thing that's understandable though in the heat at the moment because that uh, revenge tags aren't displayed anywhere. You have to keep mental track of them, and after you see oh, your no, teammate you go down, you can see your um the the, the health bar flashing. Yeah, you can see. Although the... I guess when it's your on critical health, it's much hard to see when it's got the red glow around it. You can't see. Yeah, the you can see the revenge really. progress, but you can't see the amount of tags on someone though, right? That's... No, but you can see if if their if their health bar is flashing. The revenge bar is flashing. You can see if you, that means that you will feed revenge and you hit them. Oh, so you can see if okay. you are going to feed feed revenge. Oh, that's good to know. I actually didn't know that was a mechanic. Nice feint there from Eternus, being patient. Doesn't go for the optimal punish. Goes for just the simple top heavy to preserve spacing. Nice GB to confirm the heavy yeah, and execute. Yeah, they did that with the perfect timing, so as not to let them set it for revenge. Sorry, you still have. 100 ms of revenge activation time so that's why oftentimes you might feel like you're getting leave a son i just point mm. out. that's why you often feel like why can't i put revenge it's because dinosaur arms oh no that is the disadvantage of storm rush it's ever since they got rid of the soft paint actually the soft paint was storm rush as well but you do have tendency to whiff those hello i <laughs> set mixer off screen nice to see chase you. the chaser who, I am back. Who is the winner? There is no winner yet, Sweaty Kintama. We are in the losers' finals still. Oh, attempt by Leeshin. And it's 1 1 in the losers' finals right now. Yeah, it really could go either way. The the winners' finals were very uh, were very close. It went 3 2 um, in favor of Minimasters. Hmm. So RNG are playing. Um, Turn this. Half HP. Going to try and assist Harmony, who is incredibly low. Needs to be wary of what he contributes in damage, because Raider can very easily kill a 1 HP teammate with a rogue unblockable zone. Oh, that's revenge, though. Libby Asano had enough tags on him for the previous 2v3 before his teammates arrived. And now he can just start decimating Setmix with the help of his teammates. Toet is coming. Um, I Good really choice by Libby. He didn't go for the execute because he heard the zipline Spaniard. Yeah, that was really good awareness. Either that or good comms, mm. but he managed to avoid that. And then they don't carry that fight on. Let Toti get the, the respawn. So I guess they, don't, they feel that that was a, like a, a 2v1 they would lose. Mm. But um, still interesting. Oh, Franz Bonaparte eats the bear trap. It was just over the hill, so he couldn't see it. Mm. I think it must have been just over the staircase. And that is... <laughs> that bear trap uh, was mean. Well, yeah, it was, it was. The results afterwards were as expected. Uh, I think the stair banister stopped De uh, Dero from actually getting that distance for the hug there. Unfortunately, who won the mm. winners finals? Mini Meisters won the winners finals. No care. Uh, Nox, just to let you know, and everyone else know. Toe at mine, however, going to be wishing he was in Winners Finals right now because he's getting bullied by Blades. Revenge deployed, oh, 1v1. Can he get the kill on Libe? Just not quite enough for the Kunai to kill. Mm. Throw, but here comes back up. Oh, oh! <laughs> it turned this with the clutch macro play, rotating oh. at the right time. We could see it coming in. It was like, no, don't you know? <laughs> You just hit. Watch hit. out behind you! Du, Another du, bear du, du, Franz du, will get caught by that one again. Um, really nice parry there from Franz. Gets the. Anybody who says you can't punish that kick. It, you can punish the kick, but it's. It is a very finicky thing to do. It's not like certain other punishes of the game where you just hit the same option every time. You've really got to yeah. make reads to get the right punish, and it's very character specific too. It's it's a, definitely a safe, a safe-ish kind of uh, offense to use. Yeah. Um, but it's not to say that it's unpunishable. It's just, it's just like that. Yeah, that's just not correct. I will complain to anybody who says that, <laughs> especially as this thing here. Shigoki doing. Oh, great! Let him solid. Aww. Oh, oh. long word for his trouble. Can we calm down with the feet, please? I'm trying to swap to the correct person. Who? What even happened? Okay, so there was a kunai used by Legion, which killed someone. Someone killed him with a, a kunai, and then Toet used the bow to kill the person who killed Legion. 
But he deflected the guy with the kunai, right? So he, it must have been Darrow's longbow killing Legion and then Toti's longbow killing Darrow? I guess. Answers on a postcard, please. Yeah, if anyone knows what happened then. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Set mix. Oh. Set mix not. Oh, he did get. Uh, did manage to get the heavy off. Actually. Just in range. Say, not quite enough range. And that's really big to capture a point on this map where it's so hard to capture these capture these points. Really nice play from Sorts there. Sorts has been grinding 1v1s with like these characters and you can see that his people are really scared of him when he's running into he gets into 1v1 with people and like he's been really playing really really well. Because Legion was mainly known for like the heavier characters. His Black Prior was pretty famous, so him switching to assassins, like I, I'm not massively knowledgeable on Legion's entire play history. So, if he had an assassin background before now, I mean, fair play to him. But yeah, his Orochi has been lethal so far this tournament. He's a, I mean, he played Gladiator. We saw him playing yeah, Gladiator. Yeah, that's true. Um, Someone oh. ban Noxatel. Kick isn't unpunishable. As we've seen, undodgeable dodge attacks can punish it. You can faint into light to punish it. If you you can light interrupt it, it's just it's just completely inept. If we miss the kick, you can dodge attack. I'm, I'm not going to get into this. Okay, go yeah. watch the freeze video. Don't be wrong. Don't go down the well, Spaniard. We've got us game to commentate still. But if we're talking yeah. lethal Orochis, Libia San, that was clever. Using the that kunai to get the bounty hunter proc to get rid of the fire. That oh, was really. smart. That was really nice. But I don't think he got there in time to stop the cap of C. And that's going to be really dangerous because they're about to be breaking. If Toti can hold off this until until his allies, we saw the target swap bug. Then Semi is going to get here in time. Incoming. Really dangerous. This this could go. This could be it for RMG, and they've got a big point deficit here. Bear Trap is the only feat available for Set Mix. He doesn't have enough for Battlecry, and Battlecry would be a nice attack boost. But fortunately, we'll friends will get it any moment fight. now. Ah. Oh, it's quite too soon. Someone killed him from somewhere. Darrow killed him with a longbow. Yeah. Um. Harmony, meanwhile, though, he has the damage buff still up from his fight for the Fallen, his tier one ability. And that's a complete wipe in favor of RMG. They're able to pull oh themselves back from the brink. Yes, they do. They pulled themselves back oh from the brink. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on? Well, that's what happens when you just win, like, the whole whole map. Just win the whole map. It's easy, forehead. Yeah, just, just win the whole map. Yeah. They, okay, so... L collectors have got to be really careful now. Yeah. To not lose mid, catch back another point from somewhere, pull back this to. I mean, they've got feet advantage now, I think. I believe so. Let's go to a wider shot for a moment and we can get a uh, count on everyone's feet. Uh, it's okay. Asano's got a bunch uh, into the fight on mid, but we've also got a fight on C happening at the exact same time. We'll try and keep both in shot. Toe at mind very low on the mid fight. Meanwhile, health totals are okay. Never mind. I'm going to shut my mouth. Legion and Eternus just went decently low themselves. Setmix spit into win. Hyper armor trades with Harmony. Legion comes in. But the revenge on Harmony. He got another tags. And now he can throw Setmix for the kill. Legion oh, wasn't no. looking where he was going either. And they're breaking. Oh, oh breaking no. Wait, why didn't Setmix get the res? Hello? Well... Just because if you're in the still, if you're in the like flopping around, I'm dead on the floor animation, you don't you don't get the that is the most one of the most unfortunate breaking moments I've ever seen. Animation based robbery. Absolute scenes. Oh, feel... Scenes here. Absolute scenes. Absolute scenes. Yeah. I mean, it... ow. Yeah, this is not. This is. Oh, I. Momentum My is a goodness. fickle thing. Absolute. I'm speechless. Here. Is he going down the pit? No. He's going down. Wow. Going down. Oh my goodness. That. That was so unfortunate. Like, there's no two ways about that. I mean, to be fair, they lost that. They. I was saying it was really hard to come back from. They lost that fight. They lost the whole map. I mean, look at the kills total. Actually, yeah, mm. massively in favor of RNG. So. That is, yeah, I'm not mentioning Harmony's emblem. <laughs> yes. I'll, have to, I'll have to change that before the Dominion series. We'll put it that way. Yeah, I, I, I will say, though, it is surprising oh. considering the stat line in takedowns that 
the point totals are so close because we're not seeing you know, defense bonus increases and you know so much of a feathering to that snowball style. Mistake correctors, their renown is not that high compared to their opponents, but their actual yeah. match total is. But here's a point though, I, I do have to say, Spaniard. What is more valuable in this day and age of Frona where feats are so powerful? Having a close match score or having feats faster? I mean, feats are what win matches, except we've seen in the testing grounds that you don't always get your tier fours before the end of the match. Hmm. So I'm not sure I can answer that question with any confidence because yeah. maybe it's changed. Uh, previously, we they would have said I would have said feats and renown is the more important one almost like 80% of the time. But now, it could be either way. It honestly could go either way. Um, and I and I'm oh, I think I'm actually falling down that point hard points are more important than, than feats at this point with, with in the testing ground. Yeah, it, because you, people you you're winning before getting the tier fours. Yeah, or, anyway, that is yeah. gonna be RMG go up to the winners final with the absolute most. I think that's probably the the tightest. Losers final, I think I've ever seen. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna see if we can get some some of L collectors in to join us in in a in, a, in a in, in the interview. Oh, an interview. Interesting. Okay. Um, you know what though? Let's let's vibe for a bit. Let's cut to break and let our voices rest because we have. Oh yeah. At least I am betting five maps, at least in this, if not bracket reset. Yeah, could well be. Um. So we'll be right back. We'll have the... Actually, we'll keep it in-game screen, uh, but we're going to shut up for a sec, and we'll be in-game as soon as I appears. Be right back.
Hey folks, just an FYI, we're uh, waiting on the eye to appear. Map bans are going to be concluded very soon. We have... Oh, I'll put you live, never mind. I was, I was going to make the... Okay, you're live now. Alright, hello. We have a... Um, the maps are going to be the... We have a ban on Overwatch, and then it's going to be Temple, Harbour, Citadel, High Fort, and Sanctuary Bridge as the tiebreaker. Righto. And I have got myself some popcorn. I'm quite literally eating popcorn now. Um, and we have an eye as well. We're oh. ready to spectate. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Uh, it's probably for the best these days that uh, we just vibe us two on commentary. Because, uh, yeah, there is some uh, exchange of fire across the bow is how I will put it <laughs> in For Glory. Well, those matches were incredibly close. Yes. And, like, you could say that for many of them, you could probably pinpoint a single mistake, which yeah. was the cause of it. But, like, there's, like, of multiple... It's not like there's one mistake that caused all of them, but, like, any one thing that is a mistake, because they were so close, you could say it was that one mistake that took the cost of the game. Hmm. So there is a lot of of understandable... Uh, emotion going going on behind the scenes um so we will see how that these things are resolved but i have to say i thought they all played really really well and it was they were super fucking exciting matches um so like thanks for being very very entertaining even if even if it is losing is not a great feeling i mean not that you've lost you came third so you're in the money yeah. Exactly, you in the money. Big um, is a their share of a twenty percent of a seven hundred dollar prize pool. So pretty awesome. Happy days. All right, let's go. Grand finals today in this testing grounds Dominion tournamentation. Split is going to be between Mini Meisters and RMG. Mini Meisters have the golden parachute from coming up from the winners, but this time the split is going to be Raider versus Orochi on A. Hold on a minute, this is new. yeah. Let's have a look at this. Oh no, if it's not gonna, if it's going to be okay. All if right. it's pillars, do we swap back? Yeah, if it's pillars, let's swap back. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, be more entertaining. Ooh. But yeah, unfortunately, that is that is a part of the map that is a bit, you know, yikes. We saw it before earlier on today. Those pillars, you legitimately can just kite around. It used to be a problem on this point too, on the on C before they opened it up and made it so you couldn't kite around one of the tree stumps. But fortunately, that's gone, and when we're seeing a nice healthy team fight here because of it, Antonio keeping Gero in check. We say a healthy team fight. Um, looks like there's going the um, minimizers are taking a lot of damage and go. Oh, actually, I did that. I spoke too soon. Mm -hmm. There we go. They pull it off. Well done. And they get the res as well. Or they don't get the res because they've got somebody on the top coming in to contest. Oh, yeah. Looks like Normie won on A too against uh, his opponent. Normie won on A. All right, they decide to stop bothering around the pillars. Well, do it faster next time and we can actually see it. <laughs> another head goes off because of the pinch hitter, Antonio, claiming another skull for the throne. Well, do do mini meisters skulls that are claimed by Clutch's allies go to his go towards his throne as well? Or, Possibly. Um, I mean, they might have a contractual sharing agreement with the skulls. I'm yeah. not sure of the logistics, especially in COVID. I mean, do you have to clean them before they go on the skull throne? I don't know. I feel like I mean, they're, they're offering the corn, not Nurgle, right? Mm, yeah, corn specific. If it was Nurgle, that would be a massive health and safety hazard. <laughs> Warhammer lore in the middle of grand finals. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. This is why it's late in the day. Um, I hope anybody watching has anybody watching has no idea what we're on about. <laughs> we're going loony. We've been commentating for this long. Antonio. Been doing quite a long time. Antonio versus nice Lee in the white shot. I think shot. there's a gank going on on C. Yeah, there's a 2v1 currently going on. But... Oh, let's watch that. Yeah, uh, did it. there we are. What cares? Trying to think of the right number. Be really careful with guard breaks here in this ledge. Oh! oh but because he was unlocked when he got grabbed, he didn't manage to get the knockdown on that. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's a little known thing with um, parry, with you know auto parries mm. for revenge. Oh! And came in to help. And um, good read. Again, clutch super close to the revenge here. They're waiting for tags to peel off. 
Will he have time to get a rotation back in? I mean, and he's... Ah! Any allies? Kill. Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough time to recovery cancel that, and they're going to have a... But this... They will cap the zone, but we're going to see what Care's able to contest before they get to heal. And, and Antonio's here as well. This is an extremely winnable 2v2. Mm. Not... And he gets one kill for WhatsApp. More reinforcements coming out. in as well. Darrow's here now. But now here's Normy. He's come f like running in as fast as he can. It's all party party at sea. And everyone's invited. Using Inspire here rather than Bear Trap. Oh, the damage on that. That's a 45, 45 damage roughly from that. Oh. Yum. Yeah, the damage with damage buffs on these unblockables just turn them insanely up. Oh, oh no! no! Harpy got caught with the pin. He was out of lock and didn't get revenge. Didn't get revenge from that, and is going out of lock stagger is longer than when you're in lock. Remember that, remember that kids? When you're rolling around, um, you're gonna eat more damage for it, and that's exactly what happened then. Yeah, the um, out of lock punishes are a legitimate thing that are different to in lock punishes sometimes. So the state of your target can influence that. And as we see there, out of lock usually means death. I was right. Oh, value from Clutch being launching that from downtown all the way on wow, C. Wow, good aim. Yeah, Clutch, that's kind of become a little bit of a signature of his, is well aimed oh. arrow strikes. He did it with Nabushi too, back in the day. Yeah, that's why when I was seeing him scrim earlier, they were he was using the um, unique there too. And I was asking about that because I, because I know he's so good with <laughs> um, arrow strike. But um, he clearly he, he switched it up for the tournament. Did he just parry a kunai or a shooting star with the Kaze stats? That's not how that works. I don't think so. It must have been a shooting star from... Um, yeah, from an ally, possibly. Nice parry there. There we go. And good awareness from Antonio to get the to get the kill off that parry as well. Yeah. In comes this. This should be... Oh, we're going to see... We're going to see a gank using the... Well... Huh? Well played. Dero there used the externally guarding to make sure the hit stun from... If he did get third hit stun, he was going to block the Kazakhstan flight from Clutch, which is exactly what happened. Hmm. Um, flight mistiming from there. Rage Judging deployed. This is going to suck for anyone who gets hit by any raider unblockables like, like that, for example. Eternus just had most of their HP completely deleted from all of existence. One, two, heavy follow-up. Antonio gets the credit. And another use of a feat, this time Rush, is going to allow Gorby uh, to contest. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That could have sucked. Let's see it. Heavy. Storming tap. Storming tap. Still being blocked. Good defenses, but that's not good enough. It's stuffed by Normie. Any reinforcements on the way? Nope. It's actually reinforcements from the enemy, so Eternus gets nothing. Uh, actually, he did have reinforcements coming, but he's like. Yep. Execute into breaking. He, that, they're basically doing what uh, happened to. Uh, these guys in reverse. Yeah, RMG had the same gag happen to them. Oh, sorry, not RMG. Uh, mistake Collectors uh, had the same thing happen to them last map we saw. They got hit with the long execution tech. Another one. We'll see here. You saw even Tetsuo delayed the input of the execute? Okay, he didn't do the longest execute possible, so maybe not. Day. Never mind. I'm talking on my backside. Yeah. Never mind. Defenders are breaking. Oh, that was really nice. Hyper Armor, Soft Faint, Hyper Armor Heavy to trade with the the um, dodge attack, and then Soft Faint to the Garbage kept the recovery because he didn't change it. Hmm. Well played. Good read. He knows that, that, that Clutch could have Soft Fainted his he could have recovery cancer into the full block to, to superior block trade with that dodge attack. Arrow Strike! Value, kind of. He hits himself, but he did it oh, harmony in the process. <laughs> There's evil within available, but it's too risky to activate it. That's why. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you got fear itself is only beneficial for as long as you're alive. And if you're not alive, it's not beneficial. Donk. One fatality. Four. Gurgi's here. Four. And he has Juggernaut popped as well. Not Add a stamina. He's got to stay on this point and, and prevent them from healing and unbreak. Eternus is deciding to zoom. I think he might be thinking of grabbing A off of the enemy, but it looks like Normie's actually seen that. 
Yeah, that would have been called out from Antonio to go and stop them tapping eight. I think he'll get there in time to contest. He does indeed. Excellent so bow shot! Long bow from Dar on Darrow. Oh! oh. Evil within one value! Oh. And Normie won his 1v1 decisively there as well. He didn't, he didn't even use his tier 3. He didn't even use tier 3. Yeah. 1 0, well Mini Meisters. Well played, Mini Meisters. I mean, like, compared to how close the matches were previously, this was not close. This was very much stomp. But in terms of. We didn't have a chance to look at the scoreboard, which is fair enough, but the Renown was actually quite close the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I wanted to so get through guys though, quick. Yeah, no worries. We've got we potentially potentially have many matches to go through from now. So, that is something close. I did want to note that the, despite the score, that match really being very one-sided in terms of overall score, in terms of renown, it wasn't nearly as one-sided. And I don't think we saw tier fours used by everybody on uh, minimizers, and certainly not twice. Whereas you would kind of expect in that kind of with a score difference that much in live to expect multiple tier 4 uses, I'd say. Hmm. No, I immediately, huh? Oh, oh never mind. Shut my mouth. <laughs> I see you. I think Tetsuo... Oh, God, that gift. Please, no. I think Tetsuo using TG Shino as a smart play. Complex still experimenting with Shinbob and learning countenance. Yeah. Testing grounds... I don't think we're going to see anything truly locked in until... Well, until it hits live. And even then, they could even, you know, mad lads, make tweaks on the life build of what testing grounds could be. They could alter numbers again because, correct me if I'm wrong, Spaniard, some of the point values in this testing grounds are different from the one before. In terms of... In terms of, uh, for instance, the point control, uh, map control, uh, mm. to do with yes, so... now. Sorry, I was just using the opportunity to eat some quick. Oh, yes, they have released a patch mid um in the first week of testing ground to change the point values yeah so we what um, mid was only worth one capture zone and that's no longer the case and they've changed the, the increased the values of assist and they've juiced what else have they done they've done some very simple things nice mix up of what care mm. is getting into this the bay needs to be careful that, oh yeah, that does actually ledge now. <laughs> uh. So yes, they, they, they um, kept, thank you, Kemba, for reminding me. They also reduced the renown gain from contesting and increased the renown gain from boosting. Although bo contesting is still more valuable than boosting. Hmm. So Defenders there we go. Can we see? Have they managed to get capture C, or they've got another person? They have, they have capture C. Yes. I did enjoy watching the skip, skip rope there. Yes. I would stay there the whole time, but unfortunately, we've got some fights going on over here. Antonio, GB? The... Unfortunately, got fights going on, yes. Uh, unfortunately. What can I say? I'm a fan of emotes. Antonio is a decent... That, there's the bug again. You, that's where you're seeing the funny animation. That is a known thing. Revenge deployed by Harmony, but won't be too much value. I'm going to shut my mouth. He almost killed Normie with it. Didn't manage to get the full kill though, and oh, wrong one. There we are. Another one. Well, what's cares? We just jumped into a one v another Orochi Shinobi one v one, and like what cares? Doing really well to win two of those in a row. You don't see this very often in comp matches where somebody comes in to test the point as a one v one. That's a. It's actually incredibly rare in mid game. You see it in the starting rotations yeah. where they come and. Well, oh boy, one only one person is sent per team to each to each um, just a side point, for example. Oh, we're doing this, are we? Rarely see, yeah, you very rarely see two people coming in. Like, sorry, one person coming in. <laughs> <one> <laughs> oh, did get the drop attack? Yeah, that's bait. That was hella bait. And speaking of drop attacks, woo! No, too slow. But enough to keep them off the point and get a captured. But that's going to be. I'm sure there are going to be some interesting comms there. Hmm. Clutch. Yeah, that was that, that was kind of I kind of saw that one coming as well, to be honest. Yeah, clutch now, one v two, low HP, no reinforcements. Watts is trying to get over quickly, but he might have been called over to instead farm mid. 
before seeing that clutch was only going to hold up for so long in a Raider Orochi gank. That is quite potent. So let's hop over here yeah, to see good. point where the actual bar brawl is happening right now. Architecture! Oh. He bounces off a wall in front of him because. Architecture. He Architecture, yeah, reasons. Shinobi gets a kill. Another good mix up from. Oh no! Oh, too late! No. Too late to get the heavy off his allies heavy, and unfortunately that's going to be revenge trigger. Nice parry. Yum. And they managed, and yeah, managed to stay alive really well there, actually. That was a very dangerous situation to be in. Not ideal to give revenge, but well played once it was given at least. Hmm. A quick check at the scoreboard here while there's a general fight going on in the mid. Yep, Renown in favor of Mini Meisters as we'd expect, but not by a massive blowout amount. Again, uh, an effect of the testing grounds. We are not seeing those feet snow, you know, avalanches, snow, snowballs, that's the word. We aren't seeing the feet snowballs that we are used to. That is probably the number one takeaway, I think, from this tournament is we are not seeing feet s snowballs, avalanches coming in to nearly the same strength as we've ever seen before. The clutch just landed a Fujin Force. Nice. That, 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 that attack never lands. Yeah, it's one of the <laughs> rare ones. It's like Riptide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I enjoyed seeing it. Yes. Rare. It goes back to heal. It's a nice thing to say, though, Spaniard, like real talk for a second, that a character can have a button in their kit or a kit is more expansive enough that there's a rare button we rarely see. Yeah. It's I mean, to a certain extent, that's because Fujin Force is a bit lacking in terms of... Uh, yeah, like, it's... But we've got there, oh, this, this is a mm. huge damage coming out on Darrow there. All from... That was all from Shooting Stars. Yeah. Shooting Stars confirms a kick if it's done for uh, close range. So it's a... It, it is a, essentially a 40 damage projectile. That's what I was thinking of from earlier. That's where I got the uh, the kunai into zone thing. It's now it's shooting star into kick. That's confirmed. Yes. Thank you. That that's the confirmed. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey! There we are. Bash confirms the Good kick. Timing there to get the four revenge. Well, well played. So these are the kind of things that we see in these comp matches with comp players that you just don't see in in. Uh, you know, casual matchmaking. Yeah. And people also say, oh, well, how come we didn't get revenge? That was really well timed to make sure to coordinate the, the, his heavy with his allies bash within a 100 MS window. Like, that kind of stuff is really hard to do. And people don't appreciate how difficult that is, to be honest, um, when watching these things. You know, we're not in back in the day of like last frame fates or anything, but you know, that kind of type precision is still very much a factor. Especially when it comes to playing around revenge, you know, outside of, you know, revenge holding, grumble, 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 that really needs to go. Yeah. Uh, back to this team fight. speaking of revenge, multiple people have revenge. Very pretty Kaze stancing from Clutch, tries to fish for the unblockable timing, and he does end up getting it, I believe. Clutch, 1v1ing, sword versus sword. On the exter on the periphery of this, let's go to the wide shot Spaniard, because this is a little bit more of a discreet fight. Yeah! Now that's a matchmaking move, have I seen one? It must have it must have been on a read that Clutch was gonna do something, but still a strange oof, Clutch eating huge damage from those unblockables. This is a very, very close team fight. I mean it could really go either way. But we saw there the external side dodges, because of faint to guard break is not enough to catch these external side dodges if they if you're being side dodged away from. Harmony anti ganging here, really nicely done there to get a kill. On who is it the raider as well? Yeah, Nomi. I mean, oh, oh, he tried for the gamble and it didn't pay off against the Shugoki. Yeah, that's not a trade you want to be making. Yeah, it's like we're not in the Shugoki as a character loves to trade. Be fortunate <laughs> that Antonio is not running that perk thing. What the is going on here? Nice roll there, avoided the um, arrow strike. Didn't hit anybody other than his allies. Ooh! And, uh, oh! and he got revenge as well! Let's go, Lipe Asano! That becomes a revenge, gets the GB Let's throw, go. full damage punish, and the extra additional follow-up from Deru. Excellent communication. That was... I mean, that was intense, and I think that could be a mo... Like, I don't want to put a 
make predictions this early in the match, but that could have been something that cost these guys. That, that's a team fight there. They needed to win. A momentum shifter. Yeah. Libe now, 1v1ing Normie. Tries with the kick, stuffed by a light. GB, the heavy. Faints again. It's good. Got the reads. Yep. Mix ups. And this is going to be an execution into breaking. It is. Yeah, you're right. That is a really unfortunate breaking moment for these guys. <laughs> They had their, they had a, a fortunate breaking moment last match, and now in their losers final. Oh, um, there's the rally though for RMG. Now, what? Oh, holy trap! Hi, nail bomb. Nice to see you around here all of a sudden. Antonio in the mid lane. Let's try and find the bugger. There we are. Dero, Antonio, one v oneing. Clutches there for the assist as well. Revenge is available though here, Spaniard. No! <laughs> what was that? Oh, too much, mate. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, that's another one. Oh, no, it's the a disaster. Of... What are we saying about revenge holding being too powerful? Um, maybe maybe, maybe it isn't. Okay, don't say that. Uh, we're going to get a visit from Daddy Law. Don't. Don't. That is just unfortunate circumstances and bad decisions combined into a festering stew. Yes, that was something. <laughs> yeah, popping tier four in re like, okay. I need to I need to like line the events up in my head. Also, by the way, two zero mini meisters. They're on tournament point. But back to what I was saying. Yep. Oro the Orochi there did not have revenge popped. He had it stocked, but he got grabbed for the kill by the Shugoki. Did the enemy yep. Shugoki have revenge up or not when he was popping tier four? He, did, he did have revenge available and didn't pop it. So oh, he didn't pop he, it. Okay. So he he was killed during his tier four pop. Presumably, he wanted to get revenge. Pop. So he wanted to pop his tier four, use revenge, and then have his tier four active while he's in revenge, so as not to waste any time of his revenge buff. Hmm. Yeah, whilst in in an activation animation. But unfortunately, that gamble didn't pay off, and he died during the activation. So, rip. Rip. And for the Orochi, well, hug is a reven reven revenge locks until until you take damage. So if you're holding revenge and you get and you you get caught by a hug, you can pop it before the hug hits you. But if you don't pop it before the hug hits you, you're gonna you're gonna eat the damage, and that's what happened there. Well played though. Um, that one seemed very much more in favor of. I mean, compared to the first their first set in the winner's final, these matches have been much less close. Hmm. Although, if I think about it, are they the maps which they won last time? Possibly. They won they won harbour they won on harbour for certain. What was the first map? I'm it's all blurring into one a little bit. Yeah. Temple. Yeah, Temple was first, first was Temple. Harbour was second. Yep. Yeah. I'm not sure not sure did they, did they play Temple last time? I'll double check. Here we are. I feel like they didn't play Temple last time. Citadel Gate, speaking of maps, will be tournament point territory for Mini Meisters in this Grand Finals. Mini Meisters coming in from the winner's side. RMG have to pull a three straight comeback from this point on. To knock Mini Meisters down to losers, to then play another potential five maps. Yeah. So, well, we did see Mini Meisters do a three game sweep in the previous. Um, the, the, these these teams met previously, so we know it's possible. And this is a very team fight heavy map, Citadel Gate. They lost on Citadel Gate last time. Um, didn't they? I believe... No, they won't. Okay, so it's okay. I'm getting all confused. The last time they lost on Tem Temple and they lost on Sanctuary Bridge. But, um... So, oh, there's a ping in uh, in the Discord chat. You may want to have a look at real quick. I'll cover the commentary for now, but yep. something interesting there. Alright, so... Tournament points on the Oki for Mini Meisters. In the W phase, Citadel Gate will be the chosen battleground of choice. What cares? Gonna be going to see Grabby quickly. Libe Asano for the opponents. 
grabbing A, and then everyone's gonna go meet on B and have a good old fashioned fight. Clutch, Quirko, Antonio starting things off for Mini Meisters. However, Harmony, Eternus, and Darrow gonna be the mid control for RMG for the initial start. Darrow took heavy critical damage, now lethal damage by Normie using the extremely wide hitboxes to full advantage. Clutch and Tetsuo considering a kill onto Libe, but nope, there's too many wild hitboxes coming their way. Multiple retreats called here by Mini Meisters, not one but two members retreating. Eternus going up the ladder, moving away from the fight against Clutch. Nope, reconsiders is going to try and pin down Clutch instead, but they need to make a call. They need to move somewhere now. Get the kill on Clutch or go contest C. Because right now, all that's happened is they ju RMG just gave Mini Meisters some free time to heal up their troops and potentially pull them back. Clutch finally goes down, but not before another full fight is going to happen. have to happen on C because of the heal. And they're both pushing in with no health. They're pushing in with less than a bar. And, well, that clearly doesn't go very well for them. Hmm. Um, we'll see if Eternus lasts longer than... Nope. There we go. The pushing in with bar, like <laughs> attacking, is obviously the, the you could push defenders' home points a little bit more now, but no health. It's still not a good idea. Um, yeah. What is Libra Sano gonna? Is he gonna? He's gonna try an anti gank with his. There we go. Yeah. I don't really know what he was thinking there, to be honest. If it's the the the. It's the post to get out of there and decide not to. Yeah, the, it's the post testing ground mindset. Like before, in pre testing ground, you should have left there. Oh, oh yeah, they should have gone in there, um, pre testing ground. Yeah, you... and I guess they he decided. I think he, what he might have seen was that the A point was being contested. So if he'd run out there, he wouldn't have been able to heal. Get, get any points. I mean, I think in general, I would have taken gone down the ladder. Farm some minions and die to minions. It's still beneficial, better than just feeding renown. Because you are going to feed some renown from dying. On just but not tactical renown. suicide is the best option there. Yes, that, that, that certainly would. I, I say that would be. That Ooh, option. clean guard break there from Norman. Shout out to the precision. Gonna use the lateral, the large lateral movement of the raider to heavy use. Deflect into the unblockable. That is a yikes. That Def was no. Wokez went for the deflect and chose to go for the actual full deflect animation so he wasn't able to save his teammate from the execution! Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just, I was just, I'm still like in awe of that amazing yeah. gang pulled off a deflect. It was deflect into light, into, into ally heavy, yeah. into kick, which was confirmed off the... Oh, nice! <laughs> oh, Tetsu's on deflect. fire right now! Gets the parry, gets the kill, so he heals. Ah, oh, in comes the cavalry. A oh, valiant effort. Valiant effort there. And they got somebody on point to contest again. Yeah. The I feel like I feel like something these guys have been not been necessarily been doing is they have been running onto points to contest, which obviously is you know, something they can do a lot more now, but they have been ignoring mid. Hmm. So Antonio would have run past mid to get here to, con to contest. And I think it would... Might have been I believe like they're relying on Clutch to defend mid. I don't want to move away from the fight just yet, but Clutch also, in the previous time he was here on Citadel Gate, was also being the main person responsible for farming mid with Kyoshin. I think that's what they're relying yeah. on here. I think he was, but you can see they just got mid now. The entire time we've been talking, that's 30 seconds of mid, which is giving you um, 1.5 points per second. Hmm. So how many hard points is that gonna that gonna be? Like it's 40, 40 odd hard points yeah. just from mid just being there, and they could have got rid of that sooner. Oh, this is whew. okay. He that was telling. There. That there was telling. The f they chose to get Libe off the point with a three man rotation. They Mini Meisters wants a hard front line at all times. They do not want to deal with any back capping shenanigans. Yeah, I think you're right. They're really, that's what they, that's their strategy they're going for, is, is trying to back cap. Oh, missed time there. Value! Go strike! They're, they're going for p constantly pushing the opponent's home point. Even, I said, with, like, to ignoring the detriment of mid, for example. But they are, they are really strongly stopping anybody doing the same thing on them. Um, which, I mean, I guess is a, is a valid 
That's what you do. Nice bait of that flip there to punish for its recovery. Oh my days. Look at look at the points. The strat is actually working out incredibly judiciously. 833, 933 to 376. Like, what's the kills looking like? The kills aren't even that disparate. 7535 yeah. versus 6723. That's not a massive steamroll. No, they've been and I feel like I don't know if they've they worked something out from the last from their last match, but all of these have been, again, close on kills. But really not on points. Like this has been the op the opposite of what we saw earlier in this earlier in the tournament. Yeah. With much closer points. Oh, we didn't that longbow shooting stars made that not be confirmed anymore. I think. Hmm. Heavy so, hitboxes. I wonder if they've yeah a, a, a switching up switching up of their tactics so as to to focus more on hard points i guess yeah because b provides two points a second now it like it's like boosting a point then you get minions on top c is also their prime the he primary healing point for mini meisters and you still get two points a second off of it yeah that might be the solution at least for these some of these larger maps is a key, establish a bulwark establish a front line and hold on to it for your dear life oh <laughs> the pushing cuts into longbow gank ow We've got a matchmaking gang going here, like all four of them spamming attacks. I mean, it works. Darrow fired their own longbow into the fray. Juggernaut available, but that might not be the play here considering you're on your own. Save the activation for a last chance situation that RMG may be falling into here soon. Oh, that was a kunai throw from... Kunai flying off le from left, feet, left field. See, now they're doing... RMG are moving into the same strategy of pushing really hard on their opponent's home point. Yeah. And it looks like they're constantly gaining points hard points now this is a really good push for them and instead of instead of going to for all their for all their um Efforts. resources into fighting over here on their home point they've gone to send somebody over to i think clutch has gone to contest yeah a even though he's on low health uh actually he's that's uh normie and he's currently running around the pillars <laughs> map design but yes, that, that's that particular point. You'd be sending someone at least to contest, decent idea, like you were saying. Yeah, so I think that's really interesting. And again, he's stopping, he's despite, he's just stalling there. No, they Stopping them from gaining any points and making sure they keep up with this, uh, like oh, their point advantage. Libby Asano low, has revenge though. He got it in time. He could potentially save himself if he's able to. Uh -oh. Ah, uh, Antonio, that was smart. He could have push pushed him forward, but pushed him back into his own team. Libe wants to avoid the execute, but that's not the way to do it, my friend. One I confirmed know, I thought, kill. I thought he was going to go for the demon ball off a cliff, um, honestly, but... Yeah, I... I, I hmm. Oh, they are broke. Okay, good. Actually, fantastic situation. The one is from Eternus. Going to mid and clearing it with a battle cry and a couple of quick hits. Oh, he used Battle Cry as well. Yeah, Good Battle, battle yeah. Cry's on the go, and that was used to clear it out faster, but you have to do a couple of hits on top because the minions don't immediately retreat. There's a slight delay. But Eternus, with the great feat use and situation awareness, buys his team an extra life. Yeah, will that? I'm not sure that extra life will be enough, and they've got a long way to come back, although we've seen them come back. Oh, from... that was disgusting value from Clutch there. Hits Harmony hard in the dodge. Antonio uses his own feet. Arrows raining down from everywhere. And Mini Meisters setting themselves up for the 3-0 in Grand Finals. They just need Eternus to stop moving for long enough. I don't think... I think we will be seeing that very shortly. Parry. Revenge. Revenge. Get revenge. No Oathbreaker this time, thankfully. Um, will Normie go down? There it is. Nope. Oh, Normie did go down. I think to his teammates. Unfortunate. 3-0 Grand Finals. Mini Meisters. That, uh... It's Blade? Mini Meisters. It seems that unfortunate scenario of losing that 1v1 to win the match to a DC on Overwatch last map game we saw them put a fire under their belt because they just took six well, straight did. maps in a row. Six maps in a row after that, yeah. Fantastic play. Well, can we? Let's hope we can get some of them in and join us in the winner, in a winter, winners interview. I'd really like yeah, that. Let's see if we can get them so in. But things. yeah, let's see if we can get them in. But if we can't, that's okay. I'll... If we can't, that's okay. But I would very much like it. So yes. please do. Let's see if we can get them in. But while you're organizing that, Spandit, I just want to say 
Thank you all for watching. We do sincerely appreciate it. Opinions from the chat. What do you guys think about what's happened here today? With how is the testing ground feeling from a spectator point of view? I am very curious to hear people's opinions because we're really enjoying it because there's lots of action, 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 and it's close and there's not too many... There's not too many stops. So from, you know, a TO and a commentator's perspective, yay. But how's it coming across from a viewer's point of view? That's something I'm wanting to hear real quick. If anyone's willing to share. Nemesis needs to get nerfed. Okay, that's a nemesis <laughs> issue. That's not a testing ground issue, though. <laughs> hey, Normie, hello. Hey, everyone's piling in. Bundle. Uh, bring, I'll drag him in. Yep, drag him in, drag him in. Uh, hello, hey. GG's, congratulations. GG. Oh. Well, it was all planned from the beginning, even the three two. Yes. <laughs> I I have to say that the first, your winner's final was one of the most exciting ge games we've seen in uh, a long the most time. Exciting games that I've seen. Um, so thank you very much for being entertaining. <laughs> oh no, it was planned. It was rigged. Yeah. Uh, we uh, planned the army before and yeah. said like, uh, can we you also force to lose uh, the first two games? Uh, second game we almost won because I won my one v one, so I just ulted for it. Yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah, it was all planned, and then we were like, okay, well, let's uh, let's turn on our monitors, and uh, we did. So we came back. <laughs> I mean, you see, that, like Spanid even came into my stream, being like, oh, you could dispute that if you want. I was like, nah, nah, it's more exciting with the reverse, uh, the reverse sweep. Yeah, fair yeah, enough, fair enough. I mean, it was very, a uh, very unfortunate. Um, uh, Legitimately, crash, the first say. case of a end of match DC that could be disputable I've ever seen, because it yeah, was a literal one v one photo finish. But our I um. I executed Daryl, um, and uh, my game froze. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, GG. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right, so yeah. let's actually kick this off because you guys have been spending a lot of time and we don't want to keep you for too long. So my, my only question personally is, now that you've had some time to play on testing grounds, has do you guys feel there has been a change in feet, at, like the pace of attaining feats? Because us on commentary, it feels like that Feet tier one and tier two have been faster, way faster, but there's been a, a much more of a higher drought of tier fours unless the match goes for a really long time. Has it felt like that for you guys? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I could just say that even tier one and two are like stupid hard to get. It's just you don't even get feats. If it's like a really lengthy game, you're going to get them for one use at the end, and that's about it. I mean, I think the only yeah. difficulty is tier four, personally. Yeah. Yeah, like 75% of our scrim games this week, we were winning like 1,300, 1,400, or even more one-sidedly, and just we were almost never getting our tier 4 feeds, like, ever. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Very bad, I think. Everything. Very bad, very bad. Especially example, because... Uh, oh, you want to go on, Army? Was it? Yeah, yeah, I was on, on uh, Harbor against Star MG. I don't remember which one, but me and Tetsu were on, on C, and we fought off six people, and barely got, like... I don't know, like 60. Yeah. On. We 2v6 two two forever and got nothing. So the fact that Shugoki never gets his tier 4 unless like he overperforms and like it's really hard to like mm. play super well sh with Shugoki in this meta. Yeah. Being, like, like, mid, though, being plus two points. Mid is good, but I feel like point cap should be faster or like uh, Maybe Defender Noun should be a little, uh, should, be, should be a thing again. Like 10 Defender Noun for like standardized for every character, for every for every kind of class, because like not getting renown after winning so many team fights or even getting ace renown for killing four people in a row, feels like super super bad. Like you, you don't get re you don't get rewarded for killing people. That's uh... well, I mean you. So we you, we're used to a meta where you get rewarded for winning, but you're that you're already being rewarded in terms of hard points, in terms of you know your some renown for killing people, and also. You know the fact you want to fight that's beneficial to winning winning the match so i understand that it feels different for certain and I'm, I'm i'm interested to see if you feel i mean i guess you said that you said it feels bad but is that because you're used to stomping as it were and no, you're not no. stomping anymore oh, what, no, what i'd say about that like you were, you're saying how you still get an advantage because you're you know like getting some renown of killing people but the problem is because like contesting renown is like so high for every character now like if you're just fighting on your own home point constantly fighting for a long time yeah you get some extra renown from killing people but it's not that much so the renown value stay fairly close even if you end up winning a fight like normie was saying like he they 2v6 and didn't really get much renown for it 
and uh, you still get extra renown for killing people like on kill streaks and stuff, right? So you you yeah. can literally end up in situations now where like you can end up losing a big fight like that, and then if you kill someone on a kill streak, you could theoretically be right back to the same amount. And I don't feel like killing one person off of like a mm. because of revenge renown really justifies all the lack of defender renown and all the other things that have been taken away. Like you should you should be rewarded. Like it's okay to have a comeback mechanic. But I think it's a little too skewed with how okay. difficult it is just to make renown in the first place. And I think if people do win early game, they should have a, a big like a, an advantage because of it. Okay, All right. fair enough. I mean, from a from a uh, at least from a viewer's perspective, it felt more exciting with these matches being very close together. But I mean, of course, it's it's how I quite enjoy the match. Yeah. Here, can I? Here, hold on. Uh, what I was going to am add... I getting am I getting feedback or something? Because I keep on seeing my no, but it's all right. What we say, Nobby? Okay. Um, what I was gonna add to what Clutch said is that, yeah, since uh, st uh, not contesting renown is so high, you can say win three team fights in a row, three four v fours on the same point. They can keep flowing in, getting renown for uh, contesting the point, but you don't get to heal. So across four team fights, you're going to get low, and they just keep respawning and coming in. You're never gonna get to heal. So at some point, they will take the point, and I don't think that's okay when you lost four team fights. Yeah. So are you thinking that the maybe the hard point reward for getting kills should be higher? So that at least you... Because currently the hard point reward is 5 points per kill, and you get slightly more if you're on a kill streak. It goes up to, I think, 8. Yeah, it's... I mean, I don't think that should be the fix. Like Antonio said, having Defender Renown exist is not bad. It's something to stop you from brainlessly feeding into a point. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, if I'm stomping the enemy team in three team fights in a row and they lose every time it's not fair for me to end up losing like the fourth one just because i'm one bar that is a fair yeah, point. it also it also would like reduces the skill ceiling as well right because if defender renown is in it means that you have to be a lot smarter with your pushes and it also means that players have to prioritize positioning when they're pushing points or if they're trying to stall on enemy points to stall their point gen trying to stay near entrances so they cut they don't get isolated like if if you're not getting punished for like dying on enemy points, you don't have to worry about positioning anymore. You don't have to worry about leaving the point. You don't have to worry about where you are on the point. Like you don't have to, you know, like really find mm. perfect times to push and reduce that likelihood of you know potentially giving extra renown to the enemy team. So like I, that's yeah. why I also think having at least some defender renown, not as much as what's on life, because that is it does become too snowbally. But having like a fixed value at ten for every class would be I nice agree. because it, at least it at least means that players are once again prioritized to watch dying on enemy points to like it yeah. adds a little bit more skill in as well as also rewards defenders if you know the other team makes mistakes or messes up yes, so yes. uh so as a corollary to that do you think so we've seen a lot more of of yeah you might, you might call them brainless pushes but i guess in this meta where you can push there'd be much more mu much more pushes onto enemy points and that does at least make the game more exciting to watch do you think that if there were to be defend the like the way they've done it so far is remove defender renown completely, which as you said has its own problems? Do you think they should have defender renown and attacker renown as well, so you get a, an extra bonus if you push onto an enemy point and you do manage to get a kill there? Uh, to incentivize pushing as well. I mean, I think the reward for having a successful push should be whatever kill renown you got, and the cap renown. Maybe that could mean like a bit more in the cap renown, or yeah, like you said, like five or ten um, attacker renown, depending on what's happening. Because uh, mm. if it's a one v one, you win a one v one. You get the one v one renown plus the cap renown, and that well, be... kill bonus renown is removed, so you just get a flat twenty every time you kill anybody. And there's yeah, no, no mm. bonuses from anything else. The thing is, it's not bad that there is no. Uh, I don't even know how to say this. It's bad that they're not getting punished and they're not, uh, they're not, I don't even know how to say this. I'm certain. Okay. They're not getting punished for pushing the same point over and over and over again. They're not getting punished mm -hmm. for unga bungering. We saw a good bit of that yeah. today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I actually, yeah. I commented to Verb that maybe that was a, a big brain move for the devs because we know the casual players love to run in over and over into a point with three enemies on it and maybe that was a way to make that strategy a little bit more viable but it does you are right in that it does reduce the um, thought required for those kind of pushes it's so, also a matter of maps like uh, harbor is impossible to cap like uh, once you cap the point on harbor 
and like uh, the enemy don't kill you immediately like you kill two people in a point and like the other two people are respawning you're never gonna cap a point you need to kill like two person immediately before like because yeah, of uh, the 5.5 5 5 se second standardized mm -hmm. i think i think it's okay that it's a bit more standardized but i don't think you should be like if i'm with two teammates on the point and win the point we should cap it faster i think that what was before which was like if there's three people or four on a point it's literally a half a second cap yeah, but that, but, to be honest, the okay. three and four. Uh, sorry to cut off here. Really. I, oh, yeah, this sorry. is meant to be a yeah. winner's interview, not a debate. So let's cut things yes, off yes, here. Yes, you're right. You guys <laughs> have been playing, so the fight for the final. The floor is yours, gentlemen. Anything you want to call out, commiserate, anything you guys want to say as the victorious team, say now. The floor is yours. Uh, let's take uh, turns. I'll go first. Okay. Uh, Legion is trash and should quit the game. That's all I have to say. Well, I need to get him on to give Hello. a counter to that. No, 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 he's fine. Uh, I'm giving it to Antonio. Alright. I feel like Daryl is pretty bad at the game. Should probably uninstall. Legion is probably like uh, MM tier level uh, of player. And we're just too too strong. That's it. Uh, that's you want to go this one? next stats. I think Legion was better off on BP. 3 and 8 moments. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And I quest. agree. Uh, <laughs> Just wanted to say it was it was fun to play some uh, some Kyoshin. I genuinely do think the character is really good. Um, I saw saw some people saying that uh, he's a worse version of BP, but literally everything he does is pretty much better than BP. Like pick anything he has, it's better. And it was it's nice to actually showcase just how good that character can be. And I've had a lot of fun playing him. And Legion's also complete trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you all very much for playing. I hope you had fun uh, playing on testing grounds. Uh, could I have one more final question for you? Yeah. Do you think testing grounds are an improvement over the live game? And if we saw this go live like tomorrow, would you be disappointed? Uh, Some changes. Yes. It would be, be it would be marginally better, but I'd still be disappointed because it could be so much better. With yeah. so little yeah. changes. Changes yeah. must some, be made. Some things from Lively this day. Yeah. To a lesser like, extent, like Defender. Like, I'm, I'm not saying Defender Round should be like 20 right now. But like... All right, we're discussing again. Stop. Uh, that's <laughs> it. Sorry, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> right. No worries. I know we're all very passionate about the game, so it's great to hear the discussion. But, all right, well, yeah, thank you very much for playing. You're free to go now, gentlemen. GG's. Congratulations. GG's. Thank, thank you. Uninstall Legion. Yes. <laughs> also, this oh, was a very like, good wait. tournament, by the what, way. One, one quick correction as well. Uh, Tet said three and eight moment, but it was actually three and nine in the final game. So Unlucky. Yes. Yes. It was a three and eight somewhere, though. <laughs> I it mean, you're in seven two, but a lot of a lot of negative, kitty. Oh. Yeah, GG, I'm going. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> that was uh... a lot of shade thrown hmm. out there. <laughs> Temperature just drops Le slightly. <laughs> Legion is only is powered by the haters, so he will only come back stronger, I believe. Um, or there is especially... about to be some things said in FG that it will never be shown on stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also had a uh, um, what can I say? It's, it's meta where the caps apparently in our is back camp meta. That's what Legion loves to do best. Uh, I really enjoyed seeing his 1v1s with, with Orochi, some pretty pretty great stuff. So, yeah. Thank you very much, everybody who joined us on stream. Um, everybody for playing, thank you much. I will get to sending you guys the prize money as well. It is, uh, there'll be prizes for the top three teams, and a special role for the winners in the, in the trial server. Uh, Verb, thank you so much for coming and casting with me. I've had an absolute fab time. Always and... having to help. Well, it's been marvellous, so thank you very much. And I'm sure we will do some other tournaments in the future. Indeed. I want to try out this um, this sort of conquest mode tournament thing. Catch picks. Hmm. And yeah, that's it, I guess, from me. Right on, yeah. But yeah, that is the testing ground tournament. Hopefully we got some nice data out of it. I heard rumours that devs may have been watching, so enjoy. You know, that's what the game looks like at a bit of a sweatier level. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> and you can all go now. Yeah, I'm certainly very sweaty. I need to have a shower. <laughs>